Hey guys, Fear back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 20th of March, 2022. It was a Sunday, and so we were farming transmog, because that's what I do on Sundays. I hope you enjoy it. If you would like to catch us live, twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you tack on a forward slash schedule on the end of that, you'll be able to see when I am next going live, converted automatically to your time zone. Very convenient. If you're feeling super generous, I would love a follow over on Instagram. Uh, also, I have Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, all the fun stuff, and there all the links are down in the description box below. So you can uh, expand that and have a click around if you so desire. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy, and hopefully I will see you live in chat next time. Hi. How are we all? Skin chest. Oh no, we're starting off with a skin chest. Oh no. Who made this terrible decision? Certainly not me. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Certainly not me. I would never make a decision like this. Never in a minute. Nah, it's... Yep, yeah, okay, good. Uh, be sure to place your units because we need to win. Community challenge 95% complete. Goodness gracious me. Let's do it. Today's your last day to get it done. FYI. If it doesn't get completed today, the Mage Tower Challenge stream does not happen in April. It's that easy. Place your units. Be sure to place as many as you possibly can. Uh, it is... Uh, it's, it's battle one and it's a skin chest. So make sure to jump in, if you, especially if you don't have those, uh, those last couple skins from this event. Uh, but also because... There is a reason. Uh, because we're probably going to lose otherwise. <laughs> There's the reason. Good. Sorry, I just realized I still had a whole bunch of windows open that I wasn't supposed to. There we go. We're going to do Ludipresa challenges. Because we can, and because I want to actually play with you guys, because I'm not going to stream again until next Friday, because I've got surgery tomorrow! Good. Uh, and I'm playing the Paladin. Because just don't, don't even. Alright, so we're going to Forge, Pit, and holds. Except we're gonna make this. I'm not a paladin. Uh... We're gonna make this a 45 minute one. Because then we have time to get to the next place. Um, I'm gonna send. Am I offline again? I certainly am. <laughs> I'm like, why is this not working? Can I do it like this? Will that work? Yes. One. Three. Ah, oh, ah, yeah, much better numbers. Good. Okay. Um, wonderful. If you would like to join in the Ludipresa Challenge, so we're doing, it's Forge of Souls, runs into Pit of Saren, runs into Halls of Reflection. And the reason for that is my lowest percentage currently is the Paladin in Pit of Saron. And it's in the middle. Uh, and so to avoid getting stupid loot, lockout, dungeon-y what's it's, uh, we're going to run through all three. Um, it just, it makes it a little bit easier that way. Um, so, prepared. start heading over there. Um, if you are on my friends list already and you have your Ludipraiser and Ludipraiser Challenge add-ons installed, you will have gotten the invitation. If you don't have any, like if there's a step missing somewhere or if you don't have the invitation, first things first, make sure that you have Ludipraiser, the add-on, installed as well as Loot Appraiser Challenge. It is two separate add-ons. Loot Appraiser is one word, but Challenge is a separate word, as far as I am aware. Uh, so make sure you have both of those add-ons installed, and then you need to be on my friends list. Um, if you're not on my friends list, you can type exclamation add me into chat currently, uh, and you'll get my battle tag. You can join into these challenges regardless of your faction, Horde or Alliance, and you can join into these challenges regardless of your region. So if you are an EU player, you can still join us because we don't have to be in a group. In fact, you don't want to be in a group, you want to be solo because then you get more cash. Um, but you can, you can absolutely join us. This is open to everyone and anyone who is capable of zoning into these three dungeons. Uh, so... There's that. Hopefully we can get a bunch of people joining us. Um, but yeah, I will, once I get there, I'll jump in and I will send out another 
round of invites. Uh, and then once we actually kick off the challenge, you can join by, once you're on my friends list, you can scroll down to where I am, Fiamma, on your friends list. You can right click and then it adds a couple of extra little um, bits down the bottom here. We're invite and send request for invite. So if you, um, if we have already kicked it off and you want to jump in with us, you can find me and go down the bottom and click that one that says uh, send request for invite. It'll automatically accept your request for an invite and just land you on that list. You can jump in with us and uh, and start going. Uh, it doesn't matter, like even if you if you jump in part of the way through, you may not come first unless you get a ridiculous world drop. Also, screw you if that does happen. But <laughs> but um, e even if you don't come first, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, we're all getting gold out of this. We're all getting transmog ticked off our ATT lists, and it's a little it's a little bit of you know semi competitive fun. So I hope that people I hope you'll join us because I have a lot of fun doing these. So I hope you'll join us. Okay, let us have a read through chat. Well done, Zam, on the failed first. Um, uh, Koalatron was sleeping, uh, so I woke I woke the bot up. Uh, <laughs> well done, Yori, on last. Thank you, Kitty Mitten, for your contribution to the Mage Tower Stream Challenge. Well done, Zam, on actual first. Uh, Seeker with uh, last was taken, as was first, but well done with second, Seeker. Go figure, indeed. Uh, yeah, look, people have their favorites that they grab, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell them they're wrong. Um, how are my bags looking? Good! Noted. Thank you so much, Fia, for checking your fucking bags before you zoned in. Good lord. What spec am I in? Right, yeah, that'll work. Uh, thank you, Seeker, for your contribution. 10.86 more 2k contributions to get us over the line? Indeed! 1,732 more one ember donations. Love that. I don't think I'm gonna get that many people jumping on stream today, but we can always dream. We can always dream. So uh, that, that, that. Step closer and don't mumble. Hello, Axiom. Uh, Jas, V, and Coin with your contributions. Getting close, we are indeed. Hello, X. Well done on 69th and with all the hydrates, of course. X with the contribution also. Hello, Zeren. Oh, and a chair stream. Thank you. I'll probably be using that. Zeren and Bone on your con thank you so much for your contributions. Do it for Seeker so we can do it, Jafir! Yeah, look. Little bit. Little bit. Um. Ah, <laughs> uh, Desia with the contribution. Oh, and Shy. I missed Shy's. And Shy as well for your contribution. Many appreciates. Um, battered hilt drop. Yep, that too. That too. Best of luck to all. Uh, Jacko, thank you for your contribution. This game is dead. Can't believe people still play. It would be dead if no one was playing it, but that's clearly not true, considering we also have... Hang on, how many people were watching the World First Race? Just a moment, please. Oh, they're usually in my recommended. They're not today. Maybe Twitch got the hint that I don't want to watch. Um, <laughs> so we had 14.8k viewers for Liquid. We've got 4.3 for Method. We've got 3.9 for Echo. Uh, 1.9 watching a separate Liquid stream. Look, I don't think it's dead. I don't think it's as dead as you think it is. But then again, people have been saying it's dead since Burning Crusade was launched, which was literally like 17 years ago. No, not 17, sorry, 15. 17 was the launch of the game. So people have been saying it's dead for 15 years, like, you know, you know, that's, you know, if we're still having fun, we're still going to play. Um, I have to get a ridiculous world drop. Correct, we all do. Hello, Nano. Thank you very much for your contribution. No, you won't. What in the fuck is Mage Tower? If you had actually paid attention to WoW, you'd know. There's a there's a part that was, uh, it was part of Legion, part of the Legion expansion. Uh, Mage Tower was a thing that we had to unlock using like contributions of bits and pieces we'd earn through world quests. I had an unlock for a certain amount of time and it was solo challenges. So you'd go in, uh, every single spec had a different challenge. So there were 36 very, like very slightly different uh, challenges. Um, there were seven actual like, uh, 
seven seven scenarios, but each of them was catered a little bit differently to, to different specs and stuff. Um, so you'd go in, for example, as a fire mage, and you'd face a challenge that was quite difficult to do, and you had to use everything in your, your toolkit to be able to defeat it. Uh, and if you got it done, you earned a special thing. Uh, and if you got it done across all of the characters, you earned a really big special thing, as well as, of course, all the individual special things for all the different specs. Uh, so now that we have Legion Time Walking, which is a an event that lasts a week every so often, where your character gets scaled down to Legion level gearing and, and uh, level and stuff like that, and sends you into Legion Dungeons, so they're as difficult as they were back in Legion, back at the start of Legion. Um, uh, they also brought back Mage Tower. Uh, so we get scaled back down again to legion levels of power, and so we can attempt to do the uh, the mage tower again. And there are because there are, like I said, seven different scenarios that are catered to different specs and stuff like that. Uh, if you can complete all seven of them, so it requires seven different classes in specific specs, uh, you get a mount uh, for for doing each of them. So that's what I'm going to work on. And I'm terrible at playing anything that isn't a fire mage. <laughs> So the, the fire mage one should be okay, but the other six of them will be absolute trash and I will fail miserably and everyone will get to have a bit of a giggle. Uh, so yeah, we'll have a bit of fun. Um, Mid, thank you for the contribution as well. Use these mages on her palette. That's not at all how it works, X. Good lord. Uh, 40k when both guilds at a raid war first front runners are offline is not a bad viewership. No, no it's not. Not at all. Uh, what did I come in on? A stream, as always. Uh, Max was holding 30k a few hours ago alone. There you go. There you go. We've been holding embers for ages. Yeah, well, you should see Jas's numbers of how many embers he's got. Good lord. Good lord. Ah, uh, the very start of Shadowlands. Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, you should see Shadowlands. Give up for them as you could. You could indeed. Uh, brilliant! Caught up on chat! Alright, um, so I don't want to sell, like, that's a... Oh, I definitely don't want to sell that one. I need to keep that because that's what I used to do... What's it? Where is the Ghost Dragon Link? There it is. So I need to hold on to that to do Visitus. Um, I think the rest of this can be... Bond. So... Not everything in the ocean is as good-looking or nice-mannered as I am. Um, I have entirely too many scarab bags. Ah, uh, patient explanation. I'm feeling I was close, right? Nah, not really. <laughs> I hate to say it, but but not. I wish wish I could say you were, but you were uh, a fair way off the mark. Community challenge complete. Amazing, incredible way to start the stream. Fantastic. I am going to hate myself. I'm gonna actually read a guide or two, maybe. Maybe. Might be better if I just wing it, right? Wing it, then read a guide after I fail miserably. Get some good clips. Doing three dungeons and ones. We are, correct. Um, so you're gonna zone into Forge, clear that and go through the portal into Pit, clear that, go through the portal into Halls, and then clear that, and then wrap around and start again. Um, it just because it's the easiest way to get out of the dungeons without, um, uh, breaking things like your lockouts and things like that. Um, I'll hold on to that. Uh, do I have a guild bank? Not on my bars. Uh, not that bit. It's my spell book. That's the one. Ah, <sighs> mobile banking. Let's do it. So let's stick in idle, idle, that's a pattern I should send to my magic, it's scarab, scarab, idle, scarab, soulbound, scarab, idle, scarab, idle, scarab, scarab, scarab. that's a mount I've already got. Oh, I got a mount today. I got a mount today. That's a pet. That's a pet. Okay, uh, I think... So I need that one for the leg guards. I can vendor that. I've got the 
auction house, auction house, auction house. This one here, so it's really obvious that so I don't get rid of it accidentally. Oh, that's what I'm vendoring. Yep. Um, soul bound. Soul bound. Soul bound. Soul bound. I need that one. Soul bound. I mean, this is getting everyone a chance to like get online and get ready for the the lack, aren't, isn't it? I mean, you know, th this is actually exactly what I'm doing this for. It's so that everyone else can uh, get their stuff together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure. Pop it in a cage, and then this one is where my pets go. There we go, and then I can mount back up and sell this crap. And my bags are empty. Woo! Things that would scare you shellless. While I'm here, I should also pull out all that I usually carry with me. All right. I'm not scrolling in here. I wanted to scroll up here. Uh, we're doing three dungeons at once. Hey, indeed. Well done, Ice. Congratulations. That's what they said. Legends, Surfer Stream. Get some good hashtag content. Correct, Nano. Correct. Community Girl, thank you very much. Congrats to you guys for all of the the, the bits and the stuff. Who's not allowed on days that aren't Monday? You know the rules. I know, but I was helping Jas. I helped Jas. You heard that correctly. Uh, I helped, helped him with the level 4 Torgasty, the new thing. It was not... Uh, it was alright. Everything, like, level uh, floor 1 through 3 was painful as hell. But once we got past floor 3 into floor 4, it was fine. Um, so I'm just gonna... Hi, Scarlet. Something Lorge. What, okay, what would you consider Lorge? Because, I mean, the drakes are pretty big. Hello, V. Doing well. How are you? Uh, what about... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've got a good one. i got a good one. How about, how about, how about, how about, how about? This one. Do you count this as Lodge? Is this... Is this Lodge? Does that count as Lodge? Small, oh, brilliant. I don't even know what I can't choose that. Correct. What do you reckon of this one? Do is this big enough? Good. Okay, we'll go with that then. Um. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do one more resend of invites, and then we'll do a ready check. Rudo boy large. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that's okay. have a little bit of Pepsi to finish off, so I'll use up some hydrates to that and I'll refill it with water. Sound good? Yeah, Bruto can't fly. Uh, give Pepsi. Um, it's Soda Stream Pepsi. Made it ourselves. Alright, so I'm gonna start on Heroic and then do because you can only do heroic once a day, and then I'll do normal after that. But there are some that only drop in um, in heroic. I really don't like the only way to access this is through um, is through like the escape menu. Sounds good. Perfect. Love service stream Pepsi. It is pretty good. Just streams on the weekends. Yes, Axiom. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kay. Hello, and thank you so much for the boost in the Discord server, actually. Thank you for that. That reminded me. Um, I posted in general channel in Discord um, that we're losing a couple of boosts uh, tomorrow. And so part of that is that we will lose our custom link. So the discord.gg uh, forward slash Fiamma will go bye bye and we'll go back to the, the nonsense link. Um, and Kay has dropped a couple boosts, so thank you so much. Much appreciate your generosity. So if anyone, I think we've got five to go. I think it's five. Um, mm, so if anyone has a Discord Nitro and you've got an unused boost sitting around and you wouldn't mind tossing it into the server, I would very much appreciate. 
Uh, yes. Research and soil circles once. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, we found a couple of so uh, the the syrup bits at Woolies uh, a couple weeks, a couple maybe a couple months back now. Um, and I was like, huh, interesting. It was kind of next to the cordials and stuff, so I guess that makes sense because you could technically use cordial uh, as a flavoring for it as well. Um, yeah. Armored chosen to roll us. No. So the mount that I have on my face today, I have the mount. It does not fly. It is a ground mount. And I have a brown that's a little bit reddish, if that makes sense. So kind of like an auburn sort of shade uh, up around in my crease. There is some like maroon sort of color around in the outer corner. And then this beautiful shiny, like good lord, it's almost like it's, it's a silver. But because it's picking up on the, uh, the colors underneath it as well, it's turning into this beautiful like pinky silver sort of shade which is which is gorgeous but um the the actual color itself is silver so there's like a brown and a bit of maroon and uh and some silver there's a ground mount and i own it um hello cha hello welcome in kicks down door <laughs> hello brita boy does not fly so i guess that one yes brita boy does not fly um but no i do not have the, this makeup is not inspired by the brita the brita boy is green FYI. Uh, I've been straightening out fresh quail with monkey feet. Little tape boots. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Alrighty, uh, we're going to do a ready check. And we're going to kick off. Uh, Desire's Battle Gargan. Good guess, but no. It is a good guess, though. It's very much this, it very much that kind of color scheme, hey? Alrighty, here we go. Starting the challenge. Oh, for God's sake. It always puts stuff in the way. Um... If you want to join the challenge, we have kicked off, but if you want to join, uh, you're still welcome to do so. Down. You can just, uh, if I'm on your friends list already, you can jump in there, right click on me, and uh, all the way down the bottom it'll send, send request for invite. That's all you need to hit. Uh, if you're not on my friends list, you need to start by doing that, so exclamation add me. Uh, add me to friends list. Let me know in chat so I can see and I'll jump into my friends list and, and approve the friend request and then you can join um, by finding me on your friends list and doing the thing. Um, shit, is it? Well, never mind. It is. But hey, you've learned something new, X. Fossilized raptor. No. Haha, <laughs> all the add me's. Yep. That's it. The swirly, the swirly hammer is fine when they're all grouped up around me, but when they're like a little far away, it's like, eh. I'm already behind. Brilliant. Just watch, just watch. I'm gonna get a battered hilt and everyone's gonna go wild. It'll be fantastic. I'm so, so pleased as well with the spreadsheet. Um, the the AT dart sheet that Jack has improved beyond anything I could have ever dreamed to do. Uh, I, w I was jumping on to check whether or not the paladin was going to be the one I actually had to start on today. And all I had to do was just, yeah, like, you know, grab the copy paste the data into the spreadsheet and then it told me. It's like, yep. I was like, oh, okay, fine. But yeah, that felt really good. So I'm, uh, Thoroughly impressed with that, and it's going to be great. Like when I when I do this, and when we tick it, when we push it over thirty percent, because I'm going to get something to drop from Pit. I swear to God, uh, when we push it, when when the loot appraiser challenge is done, all I need to do is pull the data out again, paste it in, and it'll update and tell me what's next. Like it's just so clean, so clean. Mm, Tawny Windrider. No. It is not X. I'm sorry. In your area today. We have a handful of Quonax for you to smush into her face, for instance. Her turn in. Look, I mean, surgery's tomorrow, and I'm gonna be feeling pretty damn sorry for myself, but no, it's. Oh, that's adorable. Next time. Next time. Let's see. Come on. Uh, Crimson Shard Hide. No. No. 
Okay, we'll put it out there. This stream is starting off strong because Fee is playing a pally. All things are right in the BuzzFeed universe. Why am I in a BuzzFeed universe? I hate that. Okay, nothing from Bronham. It's alright, this is this is not pit, this is forge. I don't need I mean I do need stuff from Forge as well. Um, but I don't need like bonus extra stuff. What I want is from Pit. So we'll be fine. No good drops yet though. Nothing over a hundred gold yet. <laughs> so far a low scoring affair. Ah, they're in Bev I see you. Don't want to open the incubator. Of course, of course. Hello, nurse. I want to say, like, Tundra Mammoth? No, but I can see why you would say Tundra Mammoth. Oh, also, I was discussing something with the uh, head moderator today. Being, uh, Jass. Good, perfect. Um, and so we've decided to to mark you, Jack. Just FYI. <laughs> it's a good thing, I promise. Um, but with all of your redonkulous, amazing, generous contributions in terms of programming and jumping in to random raids and Mythic Plus and all that kind of stuff and just always being so bloody willing to help out. Um, yeah, a shiny badge. We're also discussing um, bestowing something similar upon Sheebs for the emotes and stuff, and then I realized you can't be a mod as, at the same time. Yep. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> I've never actually used my VIP badges except for giving one to, I think, Mum. I think that was it. Um, and and Jas was like, yeah, I feel like I feel like we should. I'm like, okay, I can I can I can do with that. Do with that. I got something. I got a I got I got boots. Recovered reliquary boots. And on we go to pit. Here we go. I. I will meet you on the. Oh my god! Did I not do the dungeon, and so I can't get the. I didn't do the goddamn quest, so I can't use the goddamn fucking. Oh my god! I. Wait. Hang on. No, I have done the quest. Surely. Why can't I use the portal? I watch. I listen. I mustn't have done the quest. Oh, for God's sake. I'm an idiot. Good. Great. I shan't be on top of that leaderboard for long now that I have to run the fuck back. That's fine. That's fine. Um, where are we? From Pit was one group pull. Killed La Hilt. Yas. Um, the D here now has more tier than the monk. Damn you are, Jesus. Amani Battle Bear. No. Good speed. Been feeling pretty sorry for myself. Dentist trip on Thursday. Supposed to be a deep clean. Uh, wife of the guy who does the deep cleans tested positive the previous night. We decided to do my last filling. Wisdom extraction, which ended up having complications. So now mouth stitches. Yeah, oh. Mouth stitches are the worst. Can confirm. I'm so sorry, Kay. And like, and not for me. I would have been like, nope, it's fine. We'll do that another time. Like, I'll just, I'll just write off the appointment and I'll book him for other stuff another time. Like, I wouldn't be able to work. What with all the the silly. Oh look, sparkles. Uh, what with all the stupid stuff that like the the phobia and stuff that I deal with, I I would need time to like prep for that. <laughs> so I would have been just like, nope, I'll go home. So good on you for like actually doing the thing, like just being in there and being like, yep, yeah, okay, sure. Let's, this is a massive change of plans that I was not prepared for, but let's do it anyway. Like that's huge. Good on you. Well done. Um, You are marked indeed. You are indeed. Uh, back to Tazavesh. Have fun. Enjoy. Uh, I'm trying to trap this cat that keeps him into the yard and rush chip the trap. It was a goddamn blue tongue skink. Oh, <laughs> oh no, not not the intentional. Oh no. Oh no. 
Uh, cat to the bait and switch. You guys need new tactics. Oh dear. Um, we mod check. Why? What? Um, sorry, I don't understand the mod check thing, Shy. Um, it's Molly. No, it's not Molly. The mount makeup is not Molly. Uh, hello, Panda. Isn't there two quests? There might be. There might be, but I just didn't pick it up because I assumed I'd done it on this tune by now, but maybe I haven't, which sucks, but that's fine. That's my own fault. Um, that's my own fault. Did you care? We only got one brain cell running around. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, my, my red hair is fake anyway, it's fine. Um. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing Android tomorrow with the DK. I'm so mad this time to shift my teeth, but wear money. Look, pulling them isn't too bad unless, like, once they start screwing your teeth up, they get real expensive real quick. Um, like, getting, getting them done isn't, I mean, getting them done before they start causing issues isn't too, too bad. But as soon as they start causing issues, it gets really, like, so much more expensive so much quicker. Um, and I know that my dentist offers, like, they have the payment plans and stuff, and they do it through an external company, but there's, it's interest-free. Um, there is there is a payment, like, there's a fee every time you make a payment, but it's small. Like, so it, it is, it's manageable. It's a lot more manageable than a few grand up front. Let me put it that way. Uh, which is why I've kind of, like, I've always got in the back of my mind that if I don't get my 23 grand together, I can use the, the th and I wouldn't be upset about using it because there's no interest or anything like that. Um, so maybe finding somewhere that does those kind of payment plans would be good because, yeah, the moment they start actually getting impacted or something, you're screwed because you have to actually go in and have surgery and the, the like, price skyrockets. My anaesthetist for tomorrow cost 950, and the hospital fee was one, uh, one and a half grand. And then the, the the surgeon's fee was two and a half grand. So like, you probs want to get it done before I get to that point because uh, it gets real like a lot more expensive, a lot faster. Uh, all right. Oh, my insurance. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, I'm gonna pop down an archer. Let me go turn in some. Oh no, I'm on a timer, aren't I? Yeah. Um, should I dance with the weight? To get it out of the way, don't waste some head to have a third in third route. So the curved route, essentially a Nike tick shaped. Yep. Yeah, I had a similar issue with one of my teeth that needed a root canal, not a wisdom tooth, like an actual molar. Um, but there is the wisdom tooth grew in to replace it. So I have a wisdom tooth sitting in my mouth, acting like a molar. It's just like, don't tell anyone we're here. The other one, there's one that's like still inside everything, but it, I'm just not going to say anything. Uh, all right. So pet of Sauron. And there's no quest here. So does that mean I'm going to be fine to use the portal at the end or I don't know. It's going to be fine. Intruders have entered the master's domain. Signal the alarms. <laughs> Father, not even fit to labor in a quarry. Relish these final moments. I know there are a bunch of like nothing zone drops in here. Undead. Although it doesn't look like I have any zone drops from Eric. Uh, which is good, I think, but I still need to kill them for the greens. Agonizing pain. Otherwise, I will lose the challenge. Oh, bad. Pathetic weaklings. Minions, destroy these interlopers. Can I? He's gonna leash. Stay a while and listen. Indeed. You will have to battle your way through this cesspit on your own. Free any horde slaves that you come across. We will most certainly need their assistance in battling Tyrannus. 
I will gather reinforcements. The rep you join games. Me on the other side of the quarry. Always lock it up. I the way You painkillers, yas. I have a feeling I'm going to be getting another one of those prescriptions tomorrow. But we'll see. Many people will accidentally hit the boat. It's more concerned with the P3 healing requirement. I have to fight us with the devil's taint, not gonna lie. Crimson Primal Dire Horn, new. No. Wait till Mythic. Spin Strider, new. Climb out with a passenger seat to get. That's a good question. I guess it might depend on your definition of E. Easy. Although, do they actually do they still have um, the refer a friend? I know that one of the rewards for refer a friend used to have uh, a passenger mount. I'm not sure if it still does, but that requires like you can do that solo if you pay to open a bunch of accounts yourself with the using your own refer a friend link. Um, but that's really expensive. But it's really easy. Um, there's also uh, one you can buy off the auction house uh, that's crafted through alchemy, but it's it's so easy to get, but super expensive in terms of gold outlay. Um, there should be. Does Wowhead not have like a passenger mount category that you can like a filter that you can just see the mounts that are passenger mounts, and then you can decide which of those is your personal easiest to get. Um, let's see, it's just, it's just, yeah. Well, if you're on Centrelink, you should be eligible for dental hospitals and stuff like that who'll do things for free. That's the other thing. I remember when I needed, I desperately needed a root canal. I was in agony. I wasn't sleeping. I was on all sorts of other stuff that my GP had gave, given me because I couldn't afford the dentistry. Um, and they declined me from the dental hospital in Sydney because I wasn't on Centrelink. I was earning too much to qualify for that, but not enough to qualify to be able to pay for it myself. So there should be, like, there, there. I, I would imagine that Brisbane has something similar. And like, I mean, if it is like a dental hospital and it's emergency dentistry, maybe they won't do it until it starts. It starts causing pain or something like that. But, um, you know, something something to look into. Um, the RP I know, right? Be of like 30k probably. Uh, teeth are dumb. Like why they do? Why they do? But man, yeah, it's stupid lumps of bone. Like what are they doing? Some teeth and molded clothing. Very interesting. Yeah, right. Assume or black market. Ah, uh, black market's bullshit. Hard to get anything from. So I wouldn't have suggested that personally. Oh, new dupe. Ah, uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I did something oopsie somewhere uh, and managed to not be able to uh, take the portal from Forge of Souls to Pit of Sauron, so I buggered something up somewhere. Um, and I'm likely going to have the same issue here, I think. I I'm getting the feeling, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, apart from that, doing pretty okay. At least Ozzy has gotten something mildly valuable. Better than the rest of us are doing at this point. This way, we're about to mount an assault on the Scourge Ward's location. I still have that offer to get items for recruiting players. If so, is it for both players or only the inviter? Um, refer a friend usually only gets items for the referrer, but there are benefits for the referee as well. Like the person who starts playing gets um. I think if if the person the new player buys a month you both get 30 days free. well you, you both like I think the new player gets 30 like 30 days free as well but then it's the the person who did the referring that gets like the items and collectibles and stuff but that was the way it always was um there are benefits to referring somebody uh like if you play together like if you actually level with them and stuff there are a whole ton of benefits to make the the game a bit easier and stuff not that it really needs it at this point uh but the items were always for the end game player the one who was doing the referral um. Hey! The bent gold belt is a new one. Why should the Banshee Queen spare your miserable life? God. That's from Ick. Oh, that was the last thing I needed from Ick. Fantastic. 
Your pursuit shall be in vain, intruders, for the Lich King has placed an army of undead at my command. Behold! Oh, that's level 6. Sandstone Drake is cheap, usually 40k. When outside, Raph is a Sandstone Drake. No, there are a couple of others, I'm pretty sure. Frostmon? But I could be wrong. It's been a long time. Never without his blade. If you are lying to me, I swear, I swear it's true. Please don't kill me. It's coming up on Okay. I'd say for DK, non-breath frost is probably the simplest DPS. Blood's a lot more forgiving for all content. Yeah, blood. Like I play my DKs as blood. I know that they're tanks, but they just they survive and they do decent damage, and so I just that's what I go with. You um, will not reach brown riding goat, no residues of skill, Soldiers, talent, subliteration, a fitting talent. end for a traitor. Come, we must free the slaves and see what is within the Lich King's chamber for ourselves. Oh, come on, give me some drops for God's sake, please. Like I'd really very much like it. It looks like Zam's into into halls. They go, fantastic! Such that's such an awesome rundown. Thank you, Ice. Drops in this gonna be. I know, but like, come on! I was like, yeah, this will be great. Three different dungeons, chances for all sorts of fun stuff. There are zone drops in here that I'm pretty sure are BOE. I could be wrong though. It would be like. It would it would be you know just like me to to pick three dungeons that have little literally nothing that drops. So the druid class mount I don't know if that counts. Not from Bali, no. I mean if you had a druid though you could play it because the the flying in in uh, what's it called ZM is account wide. So it'd work. Say so let's have a look see. Yeah, I, I play Blood, but I do also use um, Gnome Sequencer Enhanced to, like, to GSE to do the stuff. So, um... <clears throat> Alas, brave, brave I don't know much about how it plays, but I do know that it stays alive do you hear when played the decently. Bone and steel coming up the tunnel behind you? That is the sound of your Heroes, impending demise. We will hold off the undead as long as we can! Even to our dying breath, deal with the Scourge Lord. Kind of confuses me, to be honest. Really? How? Like, you do this, and then you click import, and you paste the thing from Wow Lazy Macros, and then you click import, and then it makes a button, and then you drag and drop it to your bars and mash the button. Die. It's that simple. And then, like, the numbers here, the talents, you pick those in in your like on row on the first row, you pick one. And then on the fourth row, you pick two. And if it has three, you pick the third one along. It's so straightforward. That's why I use it so much, because it's not hard. Like, it's really straightforward to use. I promise you it's amazing. I got a new thing. Brilliant. I'm so happy. Please, for the love of all that is holy, allow me to use the portal to the next dungeon. I'm going to cry if I can't. Um, just about to say good night. Hope you're having so much fun. Good night, El Ray. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Maybe Tetzler. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's because like I think by this point, Ice, most people who wanted one have already bought one, so there's not as much and not as much demand as they used to be but still a decent amount of supply but yeah sandstone drake is really really easy to get you just need the gold um you just need the gold try right now oh that's surprising interesting i thought he'd never shut okay. up um Sindragosa silenced that i'm glad i could help Kay. i hope that helps like legit champions our objective is I'm, and I'm so sorry if I'm, I came across as like condescending or anything. I promise you it wasn't my intention. I realized after I finished, I'm like, wow, I was just totally talking down to Kay and I didn't mean to. And so I'm very sorry if that's how it came across. But it was just like, look how easy it is. I was excited by like being able to maybe get someone new onto GSE because of how easy it is. It just, yeah, I'm, look, I have been so screwed. Yesterday, yesterday I had a six and a half hour nap. And then, and then had a full night of sleep on top of that. 
something tells me something is wrong. <laughs> I think I might be sick. Shock horror, but like actual like next level sick, you know? And I can't use either of these portals, so I have to run the bloody hell out again. <sighs> God, it's taken me 25 minutes to run two bloody dungeons. This is ridiculous. Look, at least Peter saron has gone from 30% to 45. Like, that's that's nothing to sneeze at. Um, for an alchemist, anyone who's used it for making gold sets can have a pattern. Components that are time locked. Sure, sure. You find okay, good. <sighs> thank you for thank you for the reassurance. Um, but yeah, it's it's super like yeah, it's really good. I tend to go for the um like I obviously when I go on wow lazy macros and then I go to the class and then I go to the spec and I specifically look for anything that says one button because there are a few macros that people write that have multiple buttons, like one's like an opener and then the rest is like maintenance and blah, blah, blah. I, so I tend to look for ones that specifically say one button um, and they're, they're, fa they're fantastic. Um, Lutechi, I think is the person, there's a, there's a user called Lutechi uh, and they're doing a series, they've done a series, I don't know how far along they are, of AIO or all in one macros, where it basically means you can choose whatever talents you like and the macro will just figure out how to use them, uh, which is super good uh, because when you guys, what I'm doing is like, you know, pick pick these talents for for paladin and blah blah. blah. I can pick those, and the all-in-one macro will just do it anyway, uh, which is fantastic. So uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend uh, keeping an eye out for those ones if there is one for the spec that you're playing. Um, but of course, if you want to learn how to play the class, like properly without using a macro then that's awesome as well like i just i just can't not with 36 specs no uh, <laughs> so i choose i choose uh easy um enough's are pretty good not when you're literally spending like almost two-thirds of your day asleep that's there's something not right there um people's playing blood armor into five bench stacks death strike when you get hit and how should the rest CD. I actually did not have that quest done. Had to rerun the pickup quest. Yep. I will rerun on normal after I've done that. Like, I'm gonna go in and do halls, and I can't pick up the quest, but I'll come back to, to Forge, pick up the quests on normal, and do the straight run through of all three. It would just be so much faster that way. And you have to run back through halls anyway. Oh, you must be at least level 30 and complete deliverance from the pit to enter halls of reflection on heroic difficulty. I guess I'm not doing it that way then. Good. Um... God. Ah, oh, I'm doing really well, you guys. Really, really well. In we go to Forge. Uh, for blood. I have no time for games. Yeah, that's the only quest we have. The Argent Crusade and the Knights of the Ebon Blade have assaulted the gates of the Ice Crown Citadel and are preparing um, for a massive attack upon the Scourge. Ah, uh, potentially. Subtle, but equally as Some of them, but if you like, if you don't just the grab the import the code and run, if you actually gate, read the read the post that they've made with the code and stuff, um, they'll usually tell like it'll tell you exactly how to use it. They give people instructions on how to use their macro. Um, it's just one of those cases where you actually do have to read stuff. <laughs> just like assuming you didn't, um, that might be it as well. And find a way to enter the halls of reflection. Um, if there is anything of value to specs, here, no. If it it's something that's valuable halls. to you, then it's not too much time. The dark lady. Uh, Grey running camel. No, Make it's haste. fine. Nothing drops anyway. Ah, oh, but it's like, come on. We're trying to use GSC to see how I like the general gameplay of a class first time to actually learn it. Yeah, that's fair. Totally fair. Great idea. Here we go. So I'm I'm on the quest this time. It's fur trader tomorrow. There you go. And this quest has literally killed both of the bosses, so that's nice and easy. Ah, uh, reinstall it. How? No. I don't know. I don't know the rotation for. Wow, Jack. Well done. Item it sells as yes. Yep. Um, this is why when you're looking for mounts on the auction house, it's usually better to use the non-TSM thing and literally just click down the sides. Like, it's miscellaneous mounts. And then just have a look at what's there. Um. It's 
That's how I always look for mounts on the auction house, just see if there's anything I don't have. Right, onwards. At least I got some transmog. I got something. We got two bits from Pit, which I mean, given that I was at 30%, isn't too bad. Um, what I expect to stick? No, look, you're having fun. If you, it's a video game. If you're having fun, then what's the problem? You know, like. 100%. Uh, vial is spelt V I A L, as in, uh, like, as in a vial that holds some sand rather than um, sands that are gross and icky and disgusting. Um, just so you don't get stuck looking for the wrong thing again. Um. Hello, Matt. How you going? Welcome back. That doesn't count. <laughs> That's okay. We all do typos. Just wanted to make sure that you didn't get stuck in the same thing again. Well, at least look, so the two items that dropped from Bronum that time, both of them were new pieces of transmog. So look, I'm happy with that. It, even though it's obviously it's the wrong dungeon. I'm hoping for pit drops. That's fine. What have we got? 14, 15 minutes to go. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll actually be able to do a run through. I assume that would be unhelpful. It's okay, look. It's all it's all good. We got there in the end. That's what matters. Uh, hello Justin! Welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Did a dungeon with someone else. Ah, uh, oh, brilliant! I hope you enjoyed yourself. Dungeons are a very different type of play, aren't they? It's kind of funky. We did dungeons once before. Um, I would like to do them again, but given how far out I plan my streams and stuff, it kind of gets- Oh! Both of those! Both of those were, um... When new pieces of transmog as well. No zone drops, but I'm pretty we happy with that. Base camp in these chambers. Zone drops in here. Are they? The oh, are they shortly. bloody well are. God Step damn it. When you are ready for your next oh, mission. I have to turn this in. I will meet you on the other side. Um. Have so, done cool fun mount makeup. What are we if not slaves to this? I tent? think so. That sounds like something I've done. I haven't updated my spreadsheet for a little while. Um, there's, there is a spreadsheet available to you guys. If you type exclamation mount makeup, um, it'll show you everything I've done, but it, I haven't updated it for a little while. So there are a few missing, but you can definitely check there. 150 more keys, should I say hoarded? Of course, well done. Well done. All right, so Pit of Sauron, um, inside the entrance. Do I have to, I have to wait for her, don't I? Oh no, yeah, the question mark is like here, but she's not here yet. Intruders have entered the master's domain. There we go. Signal the alarms. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember cool from. Father. Not so mastery. Labor in a quarry. The XP boost. Oh, nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Matt. That's wonderful news. You will be Why can't I? More than mindless undead. Soldiers of the Horde, attack! Your last waking memory will be of agonizing pain. Although I might be imagining that, so do I, but I'm not, I don't quite trust my memory. Um, okay, we can do this. Minions, destroy these interlopers. I don't think they drop loot anyway, so that's fine. Um... It flies, it's in there. It does fly, yeah. Yep. Uh, no. That you come across. 
We will most okay, certainly need really to fly. Yep. In battling Tyrannus. Yeah, he I will gather reinforcements and join you on the other side of the quarry. So even the BOEs wouldn't count um, to the to the leaderboard. Zam, what the hell did you have dropped? Oh, you got a battered hilt. Of course you bloody did. Of course you bloody did. When did that happen? Oh, good lord. Congratulations. But also... Screw you entirely. <laughs> oh, good god. Of course you got a battered hilt. Which, uh, which of the three did it drop in? Zam doing Zam things? I know, right? Zam needs to stop doing Zam things. Zam needs to let Fia do Zam things. <laughs> it's totally fine. I am actually happy for you, but I'm also a little bit salty. Uh, if that's not first decided, we could get another battered hilt. Drop, we still got 10 minutes, 11 minutes. It's gonna be fine. I actually have to click the things to get them to break out tonight. Oops. Strength and honor. So I'm just to share profits of Zam things. Yes, also, also this. Something, something, Fiamali. Come on. I believe in fear. Look, I believe in me too, but um, not that much. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Look, I'm just, I'm honestly, I'm really happy that I got the transmog, which means that there's something else on the list now. Like, something new to, to run. Drop from halls, there you go. How are you today? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing alright. I'm a little bit tired. Uh, and honestly, a little bit anxious, but I know I'll be fine tomorrow. I've got my, my surgeries tomorrow. Um, the, the second and final surgery uh, for my implant is tomorrow, so I'm a little bit nervous, but... Um, Overall, I'm I'm looking forward to getting it, just getting it done and finished. Um, so that'll be nice. But uh, yeah. He's Sam got it. No, and Jesus can be a real jerk. Yeah, look, that's that's okay. A little bit of a little bit of um. Uh, transmog. Two pieces transmog. So you get a brand zone drop. And I did. I'm just doing what you told me. I know. I know. And that's what annoys me a little. It's malicious compliance in a way. Accidental malicious compliance. Best wishes. Thank you, Josh. Uh, well done. One was even upgrade. Fantastic. Congrats. Eleven. Don't 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I have to go kill Garfrost. Grab this and loop it around. I can't handle any more of this. If it leashes, I'm gonna be very upset. I think if it was gonna leash, it would leashed by now. Oh yeah, I did the the solar spyhawk. Is that the one? I saw a lucky mount drop. I'm, I wasn't, um, my brain doesn't quite remember who it was, but if that was you, yes, I did see it. I did. Oh, hello, Mikey. There's more, yeah. There are more. Please. 
Another shall take his place. You waste Go your time. Victory. Evening. Hey, Dunner. Doing well. How are you? This way. We're about to mount an assault on the Scourge Lord's location. Do, 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 do. Oh, they did, those ones did leash. Oh no, wait. No, they didn't, they're just going down and up hills and stuff. Why should the Banshee That's Queen done? spare your miserable life? Very good, thank you. Good to hear. Your pursuit what shall you be in vain. In the master's master's looks like fantastic. I'll jump in. I'll have a look uh, on when we're on our way to the next one because I'm not sure what the next one's going to be just yet. But I'll, I'll take it. I'll check it out. Thanks for letting me know, Room. Appreciate it. It holds the truth. Frostmorn, the Leech King is never without his blade. If you are lying to me, I swear, I swear it's true. But please don't kill me. <sighs> like most intense cause good wearing you. Boy, yeah, the chocolate and biscuit. How could no! you not? Like, instead of waiting for them to talk, I know, right? Soldiers, destroy them. This is not exactly a fun one to do, but hey, look, we got here. A fitting end for a traitor. Come, we must free the slaves and see. I what needed transmog, and so that's what we're doing. Ourselves. Worst bit is I'm not even going to get a chance to finish halls. I don't think. What with all the all the RP. Right, Fang. Trap them within the tunnel. Bury Ooh. them alive. So this plus four. Oh dear. Your oh dear. Has reached its end. Do you hear the clatter of bone and steel <laughs> coming up? If you guys wanted to run it, there you go. K is a, a key to offer. <clears throat> there are so many so many things I could get from uh, v, Zam, Sika, and Apro, congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. I hope you got skins. Tell me who got skins. Who got skins? One new thing. Better than nothing. Um, so we need another archer. Perfect. So there you go, that was, that was, uh, Scourge Lord, and I got a Cloak of the Fallen Cardinal. Actually, no, I didn't. It's a shared appearance. Never mind. Why? I pledge that from this day forth, all will know of your deeds, and the blazing path of light you cut through the shadow of this dark citadel. This day will stand as a testament, not only to your valor, but to the fact that no foe 
Well, ah, Miss Lack said, Slider on the raid, of course! You can jump into the Lack a little bit late if you would like to. Um, there's no, like, prizes for, for placing or anything like that, so it's, um... If you're okay with having a little bit of time missed, I'm more than happy to have you along a little bit later, just FYI. But, yeah, I mean, at this point, it's probably too late to start. Uh, but we'll have the next one up and running in no time. Shut up. At last, Sindragosa silenced that long-winded fool. To the halls of reflection, champions. Our objective is near. I can sense it. It's 15, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. Right. Turn the quest. What joy is there in this curse? <clears throat> I'm going to get through maybe a run of halls. And it will not be on heroic. It's going to be on normal. But that's okay. Technically, I need more from normal anyway. I want it timed. I don't believe it. Frostmorn stands oh, before crap. us, unguarded. The wrong thing. Just as the gnome claimed. Come, heroes. We are the Forsaken. Oh, she's going to do the chatty chatty, isn't she? Anyone who stands in our way. My temple! Yay, Rello! Congrats! Congratulations. Standing this close to the blade that ended my life. And the pain. <clears throat> it is renewed. I dare not touch it. Stand back. Stand back. As I attempt to commune with the blade. Perhaps RP our time. salvation Because you can happen. skip it. Once you've run it once, you can skip her RP. I just forgot you couldn't when it was the first time. And there we go. The timer is up. I'm going to do this run. Careful, and then we're going to see what's next. I've heard talk of that cursed blade saving <laughs> us before. Look around. And see what has been born of frost. Getting failure. Uther. Uther the light Let's check. How? You haven't much time. The Lich King sees what the sword sees. He will be here shortly. The Lich King is here? Then my destiny shall be fulfilled on this day. You cannot defeat the Lich King. Not here. You would be a fool to try. He will kill those that follow you and raise them as powerful soldiers of the Scourge. But for you, Sylvanas, his reward for you would be worse than the last. There must be a way. Perhaps. But know this. There must always be a Lich King. Even if you were to strike down Arthas, another would have to do A15. Or without the control of the Lich King. The What's the bet the battered hill drops like now that the time is over and time is finished? All that they touched. Who could bear such a burden? I do not know, Banshee Queen. I suspect that the piece of Arthas that might be left inside the Lich King is all that holds <clears throat> the scourge from annihilating Azeroth. Alas, the only way to defeat the Lich King is to destroy him at the place where he was created. Uh, the Frozen Throne. Color I don't want. Oh, uh, that's okay. I mean, you could always just wait until the stock is in, or have a hunt around he, different supplies and stuff like he that. Is coming. You, you Silas, and it's an expensive purchase. If it's a if it's a color you don't like. Why spend that kind of money? Like, do you know? It's. So, you wish to commune with the dead. You shall have your wish. And we can just give all this nonsense. Yep. So, Arthur's into loot land. Yes, agreed. Bring their I would like to. Be nice. When you are through. All right, here we go. I finally get to kill stuff. As you wish. But even then, it's like trash that's like. Yep, yeah, okay. Soldiers Dynasty. Rise to meet your master's call. 
You will not escape me that easily, Arthas. I will have my vengeance. Oh, the one over there died to my Consecrate because it was still on the ground. Perfect. Mine got booted from SD. Oh no! Oops, it's up on the sky, so nothing's gonna... Oh no, it actually still does. something from Falric. Now I just need more trash, which is time-gated. And then Marwen! Oh, we're getting there. Oh, I'm starved! <laughs> uh. This is why I haven't updated the data to see what's next yet, because I know that I have to update it again once I'm done. Add it to a 16 spires. Oh, oh no. Oh no. How do I get upgrade my later rank 7 today? I would like to get more gear. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting to upgrade my legendary until I get um a uh, faucet. Cause I it it really it doesn't bother me not having it at 290 or whatever. Like it's functional. I don't I don't really care that much. Um so, yeah, once once I know that it, I'm not going to have to recraft it again, um, then I'll do the thing. And the prices will likely have dropped a touch by then as well, which will be useful. Not a ton, but a, but a bit. Hey, Chaos, doing well? How are you? Uh, is it Wealthy Sunday? No. Uh, it's Transmog Hunting Sunday, but we're just incorporating some loot appraiser challenges into it as well because, hey, might as well get people involved. Because it's fun. But I'm I'm here for the, uh, the Transmog rather than the gold, predominantly. Uh, I don't forget anyway, it was really under level. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That's what we're inspired. Ah, you get there, it'll be okay. Shooting the figures mode, not a problem. Here. Enjoy, have fun. Yes. Hey! Run to Got a piece. Yay! It is for me, yeah. Look, Zam, Zam got a battered hilt, so. Yeah. Zam is having a wealthy Sunday. Those, that wretch king. Uh, shop run. Perfect. We'll see you then. Have fun. Be safe. Hope they have everything in stock that you need. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> no wall can hold 
the Banshee Queen. Keep the undead at bay, heroes. I will tear this barrier down. It really irritates me that the stuff that he summons can't drop loot. Oh, Spies is a pretty good one. Another barrier? There are a lot of different Stand routes, which is interesting. I will bring the wall down. But Spies is one of the smoother ones. Maybe it's just because we ran it so much. Office. Your walls can't stop me. <clears throat> ah, okay, she's on that one. Nothing much you can do about that, really. Except grab it first. You won't impede our escape, fiend. Keep the undead off me while I bring this barrier down. Okay, good on them. Congratulations to them. Dries, welcome back. How you doing? Just happens sometimes. Yeah, especially if people are having like slight issues with lag and stuff like that, it can make a really big difference. Um, if they're trying to be the one doing the spear. Uh, I mean, obviously, the most logical thing is to usually just wait until it moves and then hit it, but some people feel like losing those couple of seconds is worse than losing the more seconds you have to wait oh, to grab another no. spear. But, you know, each each to their end. Not much you can really do about that point. Just grab the spear first. Ah, uh, this isn't good. Major sub 4k. Oh dear. It'd be DPS. Uh, most everyone is sub 4k IO at this point. Prepare yourselves, heroes. For today, we make our final stand. So. <laughs> In fact, I'm not even sure if for KIO is possible. Yeah. What else I might have been learning? That's definitely another thing. Mm. Oh. My last solid meal for a while this evening. Oh. What are we even having for dinner, Jess? Did we defrost something? Fire. We... Oh no, we've still got like steaks and stuff in the fridge, don't we? Yeah. Never mind. Get on board. Now, this whole mountainside could collapse at any moment. We are safe for now. Ah, the I got something. Increased tenfold since awesome. Last battle. I got boots. It will take a mighty army to destroy the Lich King. Brilliant. An army greater than okay. the Horde can rouse. Oh, that's right. And Trailer Style is next week. I'm so salty. So salty. Well done, Zam. On your battered hilt. And Ozzy, on your loots. Uh, I'm going to grab my updated data, stick it in the spreadsheet. Uh oh, why does that not surprise me? Um, I don't think, can we, re can we do, 
can you actually do a lack with Vault of Archivon? I don't think you really can, because there's no real trash drops in there, are there? Uh, no, we don't have chips. Uh, we're mostly AIP at this point. Um, so, I'm going to use the Pally to check who's got control of Winter Grasp at the moment, because it is, Vault of Archivon is Winter Grasp. Uh, but it's the Druid. It's Druid in VOA. So, let's see. What we've got. Uh, next level. It's true. Uh, sweet potato chips still not AIP. All the stuff that's on them and the preservatives and the seasonings and all that kind of crap. It's still not AIP. Um, uh, but no, just veg. <laughs> Vegetables, because, you know, health. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, where are we? Look, I can run, I can run the thing for VOA, but considering I'm going to try and run it on a multiple characters, and let's see. Oh, shit! It's actually happening. Now who's hordes defending? By the looks of it. Okay, so, yeah, horde's defending and there's still 20 minutes left on the battle. So I can jump in on a horde druid and get in there and then we'll see how it goes. Um, um, I don't put a sad face. I don't see a sad face. Beef curry on rice, delicious. That's fair. Yeah, nah. So I don't think VOA is, is lack appropriate, is it? Um, let me think about cross-faction raiding. Yeah, it'll be good. It's not going to happen for a while, um, but it'll be good. It means I can include more people in what we're doing. Like, if, if we go and do an achievement run or something, for example, uh, I can include more people. Which is fantastic. Like any any changes that allow me to play with more of my community is a good thing, in my honest opinion. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I have a very particular viewpoint on that kind of stuff just because I am a content creator and I have people like a large group of people who just like, you know, if if you've got a group of friends, you're probably playing with them because you're all the same faction, same server, maybe even same guild, that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm in a pretty unique place where people kind of discover me as time goes on and they could be from literally anywhere doing anything, any faction, etc, etc. So uh, it's a little trickier for me to actually get into groups with those people. Um, so yeah, anything that allows me to play with more viewers is uh, a check mark. Which is why I like the Ludopraiser Challenges, because Ludopraiser Challenger uses your Battle.net friends list and now that Battle.net friends list is cross uh, cross region uh eu folk from and and because you can do a ludopraiser challenge from any faction as well horde or alliance um so a ludopraiser challenge is faction you know oh i don't really the way it doesn't matter what faction you are doesn't matter what region you are you can still join in uh, which is fantastic that's what we like uh, so yeah i heard they are trying to work cross faction bgs there already is that bloody. It's called mercenary mode. You go and queue up with like you can get a group of you together on horde side, for example. Go to the place in Ouroboros and talk to them, and they make you a mercenary so that when it puts you in a BG, you're playing as alliance with alliance people. That's already a thing. It has been for actually years. <laughs> actually years. Um. 
Uh, so silly question, is it just raining at this stage of retrospection to the best of my knowledge? No, instanced content. Uh, not open world. You can't like fly around doing rares and stuff like that in a group. Um, but you can jump in a group with someone who is alliance and you'll be, you won't be able to like, you know, whatever. And then as soon as you zone into an instance, you'll be, you'll be able to do stuff together. Uh, instances are dungeons or raids. Um, have better raid racials. Uh, depends on the encounter. Uh, at the start of, what's the start of BFA? Or one of the patches for BFA, all of the top guilds transferred to Alliance side. All of them. Because there was a particular encounter where there was a racial that just negated the damage completely. So they all transfer because it would make it so much easier. So they all they all transfer. Uh, they all cross fire. They jump faction. Are you two out? Yep. Yep. Server, join a lack if you want. Fantastic. Um, I don't like. Do you make any gold in in VOA at all? Though that's my only problem. I can't keep with the alliance friends. So what's the point? Well, it's PvP. It is. It's faction v faction. So that's kind of that's what. PvP in, in where I was based upon, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, that's amazing. That's all instance. Yeah. Uh, there are a couple of things where you're not going to be able to do um, cross faction groups for instance content. For example, BFA, uh, uh, Desire Law, is an instant, is, is a factioned instance. Um, Ice Crown Citadel has a boss that is different depending on what faction you are. Etc. So it's so things that have those kind of distinctions between factions will not be able to be done cross faction, uh, but everything, all the other instance content will be. Uh, I don't think so. Very few trashy. Yeah, not much at all. That's okay. We'll just run it and see how we go. How's that sound? And hopefully the next thing that comes up will be a dungeon. Anyway, here we go. And I want it on 25 player. So we get more loot drops. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully the uh, the next thing that comes up will be a dungeon so we can kick off another lack. Enjoy, best of luck. Uh, hello Ventu. Welcome back. Mail, neck, ring, cloth. That's fine. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I've got three horde druids. So if it stays horde. I'll be able to get through all three of them. Otherwise, I can switch and do my two alliance shows and just hope for a drop. Okay, so rogue loot, plate, plate, mail. So one of them was leather, but it was rogue. So I, I can't, I can't get it. Ugh. So many cloaks. At least if nothing drops on any of the druids, I could go through and just clear it on as many tunes as I can, just hoping that the cloaks will drop. <clears throat> oh, 
Look at how much Tara can. Ugh. <sighs> Actual new thing. Actual new thing. Fantastic. Taravon? Go do the last one and just see what my new percentage is. I think it will have knocked VOA out of the first slot, but I'm kind of tempted to run it through on the other druids anyway, see if I can push it up higher so I have to come back later, if that makes sense. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Two new things, really? Yes, that's an actual new thing. That's not, that's a shared appearance. That's okay. All right, where's my new, new data? All right, it's a dungeon. It's a dungeon. If it gets back to Vault of Archivon again, then I'll just come back on a different druid, whatever. But yeah, four bosses, one transmog, four bosses, two transmog. I didn't do too badly. Given how enormous those loot tables are, uh. Okay, so I'm on the rogue and we're going to Iron Docks. That is a Warlords of Draenor dungeon. Going to Iron Docks. Hello, Golds. How are you doing? Welcome back. Oof, I haven't left. Yep, look, I, I am well versed in uh, in foot blisters, and they do suck. They do suck, can confirm. Alrighty. Actually, I might pop this over here and have all the litter process stuff on the other side refresh this a couple times because I know the numbers will be wrong. Burst them on your own? Yep, exactly. Uh, I used to always put like a, a larger band-aid over them as well so that if they did burst through you know just walking around and stuff that any liquid would be absorbed straight away by the, the little pad in the band-aid and it'd also protect it from anything else getting into it. Uh, and the, the little bit of padding there can sometimes help cushion it against owies a little bit. Not much. Not much. But a, a little bit. A little, a little bit. Uh, okay, I don't care about Titanforge stuff because it all looks the same. <clears throat> God. Oh, and it's got Mythic as well. I always forget about this. So we've got three difficulties we can run. Oh no, Mythic, Heroic, and Normal. Alright. Uh, where's the... Challenge? I also had... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And I know I had... Friend request. Ooh, I need to... Give me a second. Go. Okay. 
There we go. Whoa, whoa, 12 invites, holy shit. A lot of people on my friends list now have the, have the thing, amazing. I think that's probably the most I've seen in a little while. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to start on Mythic difficulty and then go to Heroic and then to Normal. It is up to you what difficulties you want to do. It's entirely your call. Uh, but because I'm doing Transmog as well, that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. I took- oh I have sweat marks? I don't really care. Uh, I don't know, it feels, it feels like jelly. Fair. Totally fair. I used to get them on the sides of my feet. So like on the outside of my little toes or on like the, the joint of the big toe, like the, the first big joint of the big toe and stuff like that. So it didn't so much feel like jelly. It just prevented from rubbing on the sides of my shoes and stuff. Um, uh, Koala, Apro, Zam, and Fade, congratulations to you on your bonus shit. Uh, you see is good? Yeah, I'm doing pretty well, thank you. Doing pretty well. Uh, a little bit nervous about tomorrow, um, surgery day, but I'll be good. I'll be fine. I get to go and have mandatory induced sleep, which will be great because <laughs> I could use some sleep. Uh, but no, I'm uh, apart from that, I'm doing well. It's a barbarian, wasn't it? Yep. There we go. Let's place the barbarian. Fantastic. Place your units! Fingers crossed for you. Yeah, look, I, I think it'll be great. Um, the surgeon's fantastic and uh, everything will be fine. It's just like, it'll be done. You know, this is the last surgery I need. Two two surgeries. Uh, this is the second. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to just being done with it and uh, getting on with the rest of the dental stuff, which will be... I can't wait to have everything finished. Like, it'll be really great not having future treatments hanging over my head, you know. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, got home from the expansion, not sure when it'll be out. I like to make gold early this time. Pay for it and make sure pay with gold this time around. Valuable thing from I get from this dungeon? Uh, I actually don't know. I don't remember what the what the bonus drops were like up here. Ah, uh, really vivid dreams and desidation. Do you... Uh, well, it's general anaesthetic, so I'll be completely out. Uh, and I don't I've only ever been under anesthesia twice, and I was just out. I remember doing the countdown, getting like three numbers in, and then waking up in recovery. That's it. So, uh, I don't think so, but it's only ever been twice. So, I, I'm not sure if that's a good data sample. <laughs> Maybe I will this time, I'm not sure. Um, but I I vivid dream usually. like. Like all the time, I like I always have really vivid dreams. So maybe because of the drugs, it makes it different, and it just actually lets me get some proper fucking sleep, uh, which I could really use to be honest. <laughs> but that's super interesting. It's so interesting. I am a teeth fixes here too at some point. Uh, do I have to do iron docks, or I can do any dungeon? No, you need to do iron docks. That's how loot appraisers work is that everyone runs the same dungeon and we all try to get as much gold as we can and see who can get the most gold out of that dungeon. That's how loot appraiser challenges work. Um, and if we hover over everyone on the leaderboard, it'll show us like what percentage of what they like, the, it'll say what dungeon they got it from. So yes, you do need to do the, the same dungeon. Ah, uh, I do read all the time. Tonsils, and those teeth will lead to wackadoodle dreams. Wow, there you go. It's so interesting. The the weird like I had I think the weirdest dream I, I would love to know if you guys are like okay sharing. Obviously, if you're not, you don't have to, but if you guys are okay sharing, I would love to know what is like the weirdest dream that you remember. I um for me, like while you're all typing and stuff, because that's the thing that happens and it takes time. Um for me, uh let me just hit that one more time just to make sure there's no one else. Oh, there we go. Um I at one point, um I don't remember what was going on. I don't remember why. Like, I don't think. I don't think there was anything that made the dream any much 
weirder or whatever. Um, but it was it was a zombie dream. And for anyone who isn't aware, I cannot do zombies. Zombies are like my worst, like absolutely. If there is a zombie apocalypse, people have like survival plans for a zombie apocalypse. Mine is to not survive. Mine is to take myself out as quickly as humanly possible and ensure that the brains are no longer there so I cannot come back because the worst thing I can possibly imagine is my loved ones having to put me down, like put zombie fear down. That would just be horrible. So yeah, no, zombies cannot do. So I had I had a dream and there was zombie, it was a zombie dream. And I was um I I was I was running away from the zombies. Um and I, I, I had, there was this house and it was a house on the beach and uh, I, fa I found this house and it was like, it was shelter and I was like, great. Uh, it was really secluded. It was awesome. Um, and I was trying to, I was shutting the door and I had, you know, those really little flimsy locks that are on like screen doors, but that was the kind of lock that was on the big heavy glass door. And I'm like, and so I was testing it because of course you test it. So I'd shut it and I'd lock it and then I'd pull on it to try to test it. And it would just come straight back open again. And so I'd shut it and I'd do the lock again. I'd pull it and it'd come straight. And I'm like, I'm starting to like, how am I, how am I going to make this? I can't, I can't, the lock won't work. The lock won't stay locked. And then I went, I'm in a dream. I don't have to run away. I can just wake up. And so I did. <laughs> when I say vivid dreams, I'm like, I mean it. Like I have, yeah. <laughs> A <laughs> really, really realistic dream to the point that I know it's a dream. I'm 100% aware, but a lot of the time I just choose to stay because it's kind of fun and nice and I'm spending time with people I enjoy spending time with. And when it's a nightmare, I'm like, I don't want this anymore. Bye. The problem is that when I wake myself up, if I try to go back to sleep, it's almost like I've just paused Netflix and I jump straight back into exactly where I left off. So I can't go back to sleep. If I've, wake it, if I've successfully, very easily woken myself up from a nightmare, I cannot go back to sleep because it goes straight back into just opening up the same at the point I left off kind of thing. So yeah, it's um there you go. <laughs> Great fun. Um uh, no, I don't know, it's a little still remember it. No way! Oh that's incredible. Uh, another person I watch is student I watch I was ever heard of him. Yes, I have. Uh, dream about you and Jess and Boat. I remember you mentioning that. I remember you mentioning that offhand. That is so weird. So my plan is to die quick. Yep. I don't tend to remember my dreams. There you go. There you go. Uh, worst dream was when I got death rolled by a crocodile when I was like six. Oh my goodness. That is not a very nice dream at all. It's weird dreams of years. I'm going to find a 20 year old African American man who was running away from me, chasing me. I seen the fugitive that I had to jump down a waterfall. I was basically running through a rainforest. Jumping yeah, particularly weird as a white female. Yeah, complete gender and ethnicity change. That's trippy. Oh, wow. That's super trippy. Uh, how can you miss somebody that you don't know, try hard? That's a bit strange. But you're here, so you're fine. So vivid. Yeah, I can imagine. Out oh, with raptors, always raptors for some reason. Ooh, do you have like, do you have a, f I mean, regardless of whether it's a fear or a phobia or whatever, you know, like, is, do you, do you have like the heebie jeebies from raptors or anything? Or is it like, or do you really like raptors and so your brain sort of goes there? Really, really, they repeat for nights on end. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I do occasionally get like a recurring dream, but not super often. I haven't had like this one dream that has been repeating since I was 12 or anything like that, which I'm kind of thankful for. Um, not really. Interesting. I did like dinos as a kid. Maybe. Oh, that's, that's super cool. Oh, dreams are weird. Hey. All right. Let's do a ready check. Uh, I'm going to jump on in and do iron docks. Uh, I'm going to zone in while I wait for everyone to... A bit. Everyone's been going on for about five months. Oh wow! Wow, interesting. Everyone's ready. Let's go. If you want to join us at any point, you are you are able to. You are more than able to. Uh, all you need to do uh, is have me on your friends list. Go down to where I am. Right click on me, and down the bottom it'll say send request for invite. Um, and you just need to do that. It'll automatically accept the request. And you'll be in the leaderboards and stuff. Okay, go. Ooh. Rogue is not 
the best. Wait, I have. Isn't there like a fan of knives, or isn't it on? Is it on cooldown? Uh, for one of the. Is it subtlety? Yeah. Ah, there it is. Oh, it just takes energy. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So what are we? Assassination. Let's let's change spec. Cause that'll make this a hell of a lot quicker. In before fan is on my mouse. Oh, it's not. Let's let's put it on my mouse. One shot, one kill. That's the way we like it. Let's see. These are hell to actually round up though, because they're just spaced out enough, and a lot of them aren't linked together as well. Neither of those when you transmog. All the things you could have given me. Arm yourself, Zogash. We will do no such thing. If these weaklings are so eager to die, then we shall One of the problems with Wad Dungeons is that there are a ton of common boss drops. And so the loot tables for these bosses are enormous. So getting the transmog is this Not is actually easy. <laughs> this is Skolak, son of Gruul. The blood of a champion courses through his veins. I'm not concerned with these paltry wealths. Yes, sir. At least it was a little bit worth clearing that area. Um. There's a Russian man in my figure. Actually, jumped in. Great number. Some like heaven arguing about something in Russian and you're like speaking it and you don't even know what you're saying. That's trippy. Oh my god. Brains are weird. Do you hate it when you force your eyes open to wake up? Have you ever done that? Excuse that sentence. Um, why do I need to excuse this sentence? And what do you mean like force your eyes open to wake up? Like, as in, like, holding them open physically, or, like, just telling yourself, like, open your eyes. Because I definitely don't hold them open with my hands or anything. <laughs> I don't, I don't do that. Um, but yeah, sometimes I have to kind of, you know, psych myself up to get out of bed. Um, childhood recurring dream, Christmas Day. Base was on a pink and blue, pink and blue box on the table. Got split. Someone always spilled water at the same time. But spawn gremlins down basement stairs. My child home end up coming out of the building. Some of the doors in a box on top of yeah, yeah. From the movies, that one for it. Wow, it's so strange. Interesting, interesting. Uh, towards it. Yeah, of course. Finding someone still feel annoyed instead of wake up sobbing emotionally impacted for sometimes days. Yeah, I get that stuff too. Absolutely. And you can't explain why you feel that way. You just know you're angry, or you just know you're sad, or like, but you, you can't like. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah, not a good. Not a good feeling. Sleep even when I manage to. Yeah. Especially if, like, drugs make it more vivid. You know? Can't wake up from them. That sucks. Yeah. 
Imagine. I did have one point where, um, uh, like, I'd, ha I'd been having such bad sleep for such a long period of time that my, my doctor at the time prescribed me a pretty powerful sleeping pill. Um, and the first night, it worked beautifully. It was, I had the most stressful sleep I'd had in such a long time. It was fantastic. Um, and then the second night, I, um, took the pill, lay in bed, and I, I was, you know, tossing and turning a bit, having a bit of trouble falling asleep. And I'm like, you know, why... Why am I not falling asleep? Like, this is really strange. I'm, you know, tossing and turning, tossing and turning. Got up, went to the bathroom, you know, had a glass of water, just, just, you know, got up and read a book for a little bit, and then went back to bed and just tried to, you know, all that kind of stuff, and I'm just not, I could not get to sleep. And my partner at the time, I, like, he's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I just, I just can't get any sleep. Like, I just cannot sleep. He's like, well, what's, what, what do you mean? I'm like, you know, I took the pill and it worked really well yesterday and now I just I'm taking it tonight and I, I just doesn't, I cannot seem to get to sleep. It's just, it's horrible. And I've tried, you know, oh, have you tried this and this? And I'm, yeah, I've tried everything. I've tried all the things. He goes, you do realize you've been asleep this whole time, right? I said, what? And then I woke up and it was eight in the morning. Are you sure you want to let that thing out of its cage? And I felt like I had not slept because I hadn't in my head. I never touched those pills again. It was it was horrific. It was just so bad. Yeah, go sleep rarely, but occasionally. Sometimes, yeah. I'll sleep tomorrow because they're gonna put me under. <laughs> Come on, become attackable, please. <clears throat> Okay, this dungeon, no idea, sorry, okay. Uh, hey, Lander. A Lucy one. Um, yeah, that was, that was literally like a decade ago. Over a decade ago. Nothing will stop the Iron Horde, least of all you. Enjoy. It was a very long time ago. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a quick way out. No. Just run back. Um... You're so tired after it. Yeah, I mean that's that's me all the time. But this was very specifically. I felt like I had no sleep, not just bad sleep, or only a little bit of sleep. Literally awake all night, like 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 I had pulled an all nighter. I was in university at the time, so I knew what all nighters felt like in my body, um, and that's exactly what it felt like. I was I was destroyed, like to the point that a couple of my lecturers sort of said to me, "You probably shouldn't be here." Um, so yeah. Gosh, that sounds scary, V. Living literal hours of unpaid work, yep. Yep. Dreams after dreams become reality for some. Oh, for sure. For sure, it's trippy as hell. Like, our brains are so weird. So weird. Oh dear. Certainly, certainly interesting. Uh, right, okay, so I. why does it say heroic? Am I not on mythic? Oh, my dungeon, I set my raid to mythic. Good lord, that's right, I will zone out and I will do it on mythic instead. No wonder the stuff that was dropping was blue. I was very confused. <clears throat> Yeah, honestly, I think I don't think there's a whole lot of point in thinking about 
what happens after death at this point. Unless you're religious, in which case enjoy, have fun, best of luck. Um, but, like, I don't know what happens after we die. There's not enough information in the world to know. We just, we can't know. Uh, and so investing energy in being anxious or worried or thinking about it in general is just, it's a waste of energy. Waste of time, waste of thought, all that kind of stuff. Because there is literally no way to know. Um, something. Hmm. Got over here. Let's go. All of you, come on. What? How are these all in little packs of two and? Really? Like... God, none of these are linked. That's ridiculous. Some night dreams for none tonight. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Not doing well. Right now. Not doing well. Not doing well. We will do no such thing. If these weaklings are so eager to die, then we should oblige. But, sir, this is the last of the Grom that we have. Blackhand will have our hides if we show up empty handed. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Do not question my authority. This isn't just any Grom. This is Skalak, son of Rule. The blood of a champion courses through his veins. I'm not concerned with these paltry whelps. Nothing from that halt. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No swimming, any epics? I have no idea. I get transmog. I'm picking the dungeons and raids based on the transmog that I need. Um, I'm not actually seeking to earn millions of gold or anything like that. The the lack is kind of just for funsies to get people involved and stuff. If they want to, they don't have to. Um, but the uh, the point for me is um, is the transmog. Personally, so on TV dreams your brains were sort of info of the day out, which makes me lol sometimes. The body's amazing. Yeah, look, our bodies are both made of miracles and crap. <laughs> like <laughs> some of the things our bodies do it just seems so counterintuitive and so bloody stupid but at the same time some of the things they do are incredible and amazing like the plasticity of the brain you know you damage a part of it and other parts of the brain pick up the responsibilities of the section that got damaged like that's incredible that is amazing yeah it's uh fun times Um, let's go to my body now. Entering Alpha. Dreams of what we make of today. You know, which is why when you've got something recurring, you know, every single day is different, but you've got a recurring dream that stuck with you for months. It can be, sometimes it can be a sign of something a little problematic going on. Not always, but sometimes. I mean, I'm an advocate of therapy for everybody, personally. Like, everyone could get could benefit from speaking to a therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever uh, floats your boat sort of thing. Um, but particularly with that kind of stuff. Oh, 
But, you know, as with almost anything in life, you only get out what you put in. So if you don't believe in therapy or if it's something that you think is just a bunch of fooey, and so you don't let yourself hand over yourself to, to the, the caretaker kind of thing, uh, then you won't get anything out of it. Pretty simple. Um, can we guess my makeup? No! Nobody has guessed yet. Okay, so this is Grimrail and Forces. Second boss. Awesome. There were a lot of guesses, but none of them were right. Against those who are unworthy of serving in Black Hand's army. Blood and honor, Zogash. That is all that orcs understand. Ah, oh, good thinking, sir. That is what I do, Zogash. I think good. Amber Ardenmoth. No. Uh, so this is a mount that I own. Uh, it is a ground mount. Those were the... Those are the clues that we had. Come back. Nice. Well done. Enjoy. Hope you have fun. Really not a moth then? No. No, I forgot to, I forgot to give you the clue. It's my mistake. Put a muzzle on it. Good idea, sir. I didn't mean the cat. Look, I'm in third place. I'm not doing too badly. But Zam's under me, so uh, I know that at some point Zam's going to grab something ridiculously valuable, so... Probably won't be in third for much longer. Uh, spring for alpaca. No. Armored brown bear. No. Ochre skeletal warhorse. No. Nothing new from Russia. Skullock has like a lot on the, uh, like a lot. I think a lot of them are, um, yeah, common dungeon drops. Most of them are common dungeon drops, in oh, fact. How dare you march into my docks and so brazenly set foot on my ship! Nothing will stop the Iron Horde, least of all you. Enjoy your death, weaklings. Zogash, man the machine turret! Aye, aye, sir! Outlaw. I actually have a chance to drop the first weapon. That seems to be all specs. Zogash! Ready your eyes. This ends. Oh, I got something. Oh, I got the fist weapon. Oh, fantastic. All right. Awesome source. All right. So that's heroic and mythic cleared, which means that I'm moving on to normal. Dun, 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 dun. I know loot spec doesn't really count for much. Because it's legacy loot, but still. It felt good. Um, there is actually a couple of bike mounts, uh, but no, it's not the Mechanius Hog. I don't think there's a ridiculous developer drop in this dungeon. I'm not sure there is either. There were a few uh, WAD world drops, though, I think. Between meet within nine days and SR Hog. Well done! Congratulations, Justin. Swift brown wolf. No. Is that one's still there, I wonder. Everything else is despawned, but that one was still there. <clears throat>
Well, I was at 7 out of 23 for Iron Docks, and I'm now at 16 out of 23. So I think so far so good for this one. That was painful. Timberwolf. No. Never seen anyone break 1 million health on Elitism Helper. As in, like, take a million unnecessary damage. Traveler's Tundra Mammoth. No. That is impressive, Jack. That is impressive. I'm hungry. Hey, Jas, are you hungry or is it just me? Run down about transmogs, it's been a while. Uh, how, how long? Like, how, what do you mean a rundown? What exactly, what do you know about transmogs? That will probably help me know where to start. Uh, Willie Mammoth, no. <clears throat> one boss oh wow that that is impressive that is like actually legitimately impressive Simple explanation, if that's possible. Mm, uh, um, you make your gear look like other gear. End of explanation. It's probably about as simple as I can make it. Um, Bronze Hillicid, no. Oh, the new mounts are so pretty. All the ZM mounts are just freaking gorgeous. Hey, Draz, Rallo, Justin, and Seeker, congratulations on your bonus shit. Uh, and it is boss fight time. Since you came from just from a connection dot on the Spires boss. Carried to 16k, yeah. Yeah. It certainly sounds like it. Uh, I can't place another barbarian. Let's check what I have in. That. That. Good after perfect. Sounds good. Thank you, Jess. Ready. Ah, uh, it's just kill units. So I think I might place my berserker. It's the primary doesn't really kill anything. Um. Oh, how did I miss the boss? <laughs> Oops. Oh! Hey! That one's actually from Flesh Render as well. Fantastic. I think everything else is um, common boss drops, yeah. We will do no such thing. So the common boss drops will come under common dungeon drop instead of under iron docks. Um, so that's why I'm happy to see the actual iron docks number going up. Um, Blackhand will have our hides if we show up empty handed. Gosh, do not yeah, just... question my authority. This isn't just any wrong. Good question. 
Genesis Krola, no. Champion courses through his veins. I'm not concerned with these paltry wealths. Yes, sir. So the, the colors I've got, I've got a, a reddish sort of brown in my crease. I've got a maroon on the outside, like the outer corner. And then on my lid, I have a silver, which seems to have, excuse me, seems to have picked up a little bit of the maroon color from the outside edge, which has made it look really freaking pretty. And I'm very happy with how this looks. I think it's pretty, like really gorgeous. Um, but yeah, it's a silver. So there's, there's silver. There's um, the maroon and then like a reddish brown uh, that I think is looking a little more red than brown <laughs> in my crease. Right, get your butts around here. Let me. There we go. Nice one. It's a big chunk between me and third place though, so I, I'm not going to get there unless I get something really juicy to drop, I don't think. Another incised staff, perhaps. He's wrong with you. Keep firing, you owl. Sir, he's out of ammunition. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. An effable skitterer. No. Don't ever make it past the traps. Back off, carry our front and center. There's some new meat for you to tenderize. That was an insignificant loss. Let them exhaust themselves. Those are list amounts, of course, of course. Against those who are unworthy of serving in Black Army. Makes sense. Since I'm in fifth. Yeah, look. This is what happens when you say shit like that. Good thing. Ah, uh, Jenkins just uh, no. What I do, so gosh, I think good. Captain, they're almost here. What do we do now? Molly, no. Games anymore. Bring in the saber on, and we'll be done with it. Oh. Are you sure you want to let that thing out of its cage? I don't think we've fed it since we found it. Put a muzzle on it. Good idea, sir. I didn't mean the cat. <laughs> I loved these voice lines. Like, back the first time going through and doing this was just so good. Like, I think good. Put a muzzle on it. Good idea, sir. I didn't mean the cat. <sighs> it was so good. Okay, is everyone joining the party? Just like it. Fine. Okay, sure. It's a double trinket. That's not transmog. That's what I want. I want the mace, the mind break scepter. It's an int mace, but I want the transmog. Only drops from Ushia. Uh, and Skullock, I believe, is all so just common. Yeah, is is on drops. Nothing will stop the Iron Horde, least of all you. Coromor, no. Uh, Forge Split Flyer, no. Stallion is amazing. Yeah, no, it's definitely not Rouse Stallion, but yes, very cool. Very cool. Zam, stop it. Oof. Farmer Joe with that. What scale sport is? Well done. Let me confer with my sources. No. I wonder if Visu has. Oh, I don't think Visu has the um the stuff set up. Quite right. Because those are. Pro I'm guessing that those are going to be worth more than one gold. Uh, I know, I can't remember exactly what you need to do in, in Loot Appraiser, but I think it's, you gotta hook it up with TSM or something to get it to be able to grab the appropriate prices. 
Because all, like, all my thing does is collate the scores. So my, my loot appraiser, your loot appraiser sends mine saying, this is what we got to drop. And then mine goes, okay, I'll add it to the board. So if you don't have your TSM prices set up correctly, it will, um, it will be sad. Sad. Farmer Joe's are set up to be far more expensive than mine, possibly. Because they region sale average is only 560. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> uh, it is not the Crimson Tide Stallion. I missed some. Let's see. I can squeeze another run in. Oh, I should have failings of humility. Nope. Stream, I will X. Thank you so much and enjoy your lurk. Yeah, that's it. Enjoy your lurk. My feelings just fly, don't they? Potentially. I don't know. I I've already said that it's a ground mount and stuff, so if, if people guess flying mounts, then. Um. It's on the... One shot, one kill! Under. But we're at the point now where a lot of these are going to be the common drops, and we should pick up anchor and set sail for Talaga. Yep, that's a big ass loot table. Calm yourself, Sogash. We will do no such thing. If these weaklings are so eager to die, then we should oblige. But sir, this is the last of the Grand that we have. Blackhand will have our hides if we show up empty-handed. Sogash. Do not question my authority. This isn't just any Gron. This uh, is Bram Palmino, no. Is this at level? As do I. I'm not concerned with these paltry whelps. Yes, sir. Uh, not the vicious war fox.
a vicious wolf. No. Um, serenade. Nope. Ha! Would you look at that? Maybe I underestimated them. Zogosh! Prepare Skalak. Let them have a taste of what he has to offer. Igniting the cannons! No. Transmog and stuff. Yeah, Transmog and Loot Appraiser Challenge while we're at it for, for shits and giggles. Like, why not, you know? Yeah. Uh, Smoky Die Wolf. Nope. Yeah, see, Zam's Tangle Heart Vest is clocked at 1748, but mine's clocked at 167, so I think my settings might be wrong. Um, after this one, I might check with everyone what settings you're using, just so I can set mine the same. Um, and that way, Visu might be able to as well, because I have a feeling that we've got some discrepancies, and that's why there's such big gaps between rankings. That is all that we can again. By all means. Oh, it's gonna drop eventually. It's gonna be so persistent. That is what I do, so gosh. I think good. Springfield. Oh, oh, hang on. Uh Snowmax Scuttle, uh, not a guess, okay. Uh Breeze Trust Alien, no. Uh Springfield Alpaca, no. Captain, they're almost here. What do we do now? I'm not playing these games anymore. Bring in the saber on and we'll be done with it. God. Are you sure you want to let that thing out of its cage? Right, so far. I don't think we've well done. It since we found it. Put a well muzzle done. on it. Good idea, sir. Run from Barsa? Nope. The cat. <clears throat> One, of course. Of course. That was too stressful for 15. Agreed. Yep. Go for it. Oh, yeah, true. True. I would like to check, though, like, what people are using, just so I can, like, get as close as possible, you know? If my, if my settings are wildly different, then my prices are going to end up being wildly different. So, no harm in asking. But yeah, like my my tangle heart vest going for a tenth of what Zam says. You know, that's that's a little bit um yeah. That's a big difference. Oh, that was actually a new piece as well. A new uh, that's a it's a common boss drop, but it's a new transmog. Fantastic. Um, I don't. I'm not going to fit an entire new run in. The time is going to run out before I finish it, but I am going to give it another go anyway. Um, first boy, nope. 11 proof on synthesis mounts. Well done, Jason. Congrats. Fair. I thought, I thought so. Like, because, yeah, I don't know. Pretty sure I've got mine set to, like, region sale average so that I actually know. Because, you know, I mean, when you do a loot appraiser and stuff, it's like, wow, look, I got a million gold worth of loot. But, it's not going to sell for a million gold. It's going to sell for about 20k. You know what I mean? So that's why I've got mine set to quite conservative prices. I think, I think at least that's the way it was a couple of years back. I'm not sure if it still is. Um, but yeah, because I just, yeah. Um, so I imagine that most people doing loot appraiser, they want to see the big numbers. And so they'll have it set to these wild prices that they'll never actually get for them. Um... Settings is your host, only differences are in regions. Does it actually? I thought it counted your. Because it can't be that though, because Visu is sitting on 32 gold. And their two items that have dropped are worth one gold each. That's not. That's not right. Something's wrong there. Something is actually incorrect there. Based on what you're doing right now. Uh, farming transmog and doing a loot appraiser challenge. Uh, Mechano Hulk, no.
Uh, nope, it's not the Goblin Turbo, turbo Track. Oh, man, looks to be recent sale average. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is there a... Because we're doing this cross-region, is there some kind of, like cross-region average price for TSM. I don't imagine that there would be, because who the hell would even need, have use for that? There wouldn't be a purpose to it outside of Loot Appraiser Challenges. But is there some way that we can find, like, an average between the two regions to try to pull everyone so that you guys... Because that, that reinforced tusk blade that, cra that, that logged at 4k for Farmer Joe would have logged at 22k if it had dropped for me, because the region sale average is 22,000. So, like, is there is there some kind of price that will make it a little more average across everyone, or no? Like, and if the answer is no, then that's fine. It is what it is. I just want to make it as as best I can for everyone. You know, like, it just, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. It has no cross region data. Fair. Understandably, it that makes perfect sense. Ah, well. Ah, well. Ah, uh, Vicious War Turtle. Nope. Uh, region Global Sale Average is the best. Ah, oh, there you go. It's only for your region. Yeah, well, that's what I'm using. Region Sale. Uh, re uh, am I using? Oh, I can't. It's in, I'm in combat. Give me a minute. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm using Region Global Sale Average. But yeah, it is still regional. Oh, well. Look, I think that's going to be about as fair as I can make it for everyone, hey? Sorry, guys. But hey, at least we get some kind of an idea of how much gold you're going to make on your own server. It's a pretty good feeling. Or on your region, I should say. Not your server. Um, but yeah, region sale average is what I'm using. Uh, agree, Riding Yak? No. No. Nice guess, though. Brown Ram? Nope. I'm trying to figure out if I've done a really bad job. Or if it's just such an obscure amount that no one really knows what it is. Uh, Battle Gorgon Salasa? Nope. Give up? Oh no, Seeker! Don't give up. It's alright, if no one guesses it by the end of the stream, I'll just like say it right before I go offline. Just every snail and I'm done. Fair. Fair. I've only got one of the snails. Death Runner. Nope. Explorers. Dune Trigger. Nope. Let's be done for this round. Well done, Kay. Well done. The blood of a champion courses through his veins. I'm not concerned with these paltry wealth. Um, if you are one of the people on the leaderboard whose name doesn't match your Twitch thing, you can change your nickname if you want to. You don't have to. Um, obviously, if you would participate in LAX elsewhere and stuff like that, you're going to have a particular name that people know you by. Um, but you can change it to your Twitch name, even if none of your tunes have the same as your Twitch name, if you want to. But you don't have to. You may just find a little more chat engagement with you if you're like on top or on the bottom or beating Zam or <laughs> but it of course is entirely up to you. If you didn't know that is actually there there is an option um, where you can change your nickname which is why I'm Fiamma even though I'm on Alexia. The transport, yay! So no sitting on a level of price EU and US in the run. At least we can now we can do it. Yeah, exactly. We can we can do the lax together. Even if the the rankings are gonna be a little bit odd, we can still do the runs together, and that's freaking awesome. And because we're not um like I'm not a I'm not a community who does like uh like prizes or anything for placing or, or any of that kind of stuff it doesn't really matter so much it's just like for funsies and to encourage each other and, and all that kind of stuff so I feel like it's less of an issue uh, but yeah the reason I did um, region average though is because obviously if you're on a server that is like RP heavy 
transmogs are going to go for quite a bit more than they will elsewhere. So I get like I, I feel like getting an average across the region is a little more accurate than um, getting just a single server. I underestimated them. Zorgosh, prepare Scala. Let them have a taste of what he has to offer. Yay! No, black or ram, no, bugger all plates, so yay. Good. Wait, I hope that's good. Gravestone battle gargan. No, surrender. No losing, only winning. Everyone wins because everyone makes gold. Yay for us. So way to grind the transmog. Me too, Ozzy. That's exactly what I'm here for as well. But hey, it's nice to know how much gold I could potentially make at the same time. No harm in it. <laughs> no harm in the knowledge. And it does help get other people directly involved as well, rather than just being like, yes, I also am running the same dungeon at the moment. It's actually like it's visible to everyone who's joining in. That's a good feeling. I like it. But yeah, this one is done. I'm just going to finish this run and I'll refresh my ATT data and see where we're headed next. Is it cross faction? Yes. Cross faction and cross region. Anyone, anyone can join. That's why we do them. Uh, you need loot appraiser. You need loot appraiser challenge. You do also need TSM uh, with the just the base data set up properly. You don't need to like set up groups and anything like that. You just need to make sure that you actually have data importing. Otherwise, it can't like prices importing. Otherwise, it can't figure out how much something's supposed to be. Like that there pulls the number from TSM. Uh, and you need to have me on your friends list. Uh, and if you do add me to your friends list, uh, let me know in chat so that I can um, go and remove someone who's been offline for a while and add you in their place. Uh, that way you can get the invites and stuff. Um, next week, it's like a bunch. Oh, fantastic. It's good. Yay. I'm so happy for you. That's wonderful news. Blackboard. No, I meant the mount. Oh, the mount. Oops. I am so sorry. Uh, the mount is horde only. It is a ground mount. I own it. And it is horde only. Versus is over. Uh, I, th I think so. I don't know. I don't do versus usually. Um, it requires too much attention. Like it's something every five minutes rather than every half hour. And we play stream readers very much as a side game here. Um, so it just, it requires too much of my attention. Um, help make a cross faction. Uh, in general, reduce EU prices by 33% to determine real winner. Good. Noted. Ah, uh, good question. Understandable mistake here. Uh, wall is death will. No, good damn it, it's a wall. Wolf? Is it? Which wolf? into my docks and so brazenly set foot on my I do not see all the soulbound stuff I don't have unlocked it's not unlockable in this character yep yeah it is frustrating but that's okay Ooh, actually a new one. Oh no it's shared never mind okay we are done with iron docks uh let me grab my congratulations to farmer joe let me grab my new data and let's see where we're headed. It will not be Iron Docks. Well, it might be on a different tune. Probably not. Oh, really? Oh, uh, really though? Really? Really though? I'm not changing characters. Well of eternity. Um so I'm pretty sure this is a one difficulty dungeon, isn't it? Like it doesn't have different things here, so I'm guessing it is. Which means we're only gonna be able to do one run. So I'll probably set the timer for like 15-20 minutes. Um 
and then once everyone's done, just let us know. You're done. I, I don't know. You can you can DM me in game if you don't want to talk in chat. You can you can send me a ping in game to let me know that you're done. Um, that way, when everyone's done, we'll stop the timer there and and move on. Um, but yeah, it's it's well of eternity. Hmm. Where even is Well of Eternity? It's in, is it in, what's it? Kevin's time, yep. Uh, Grey Wolf, no. Dire Wolf, no. Brown Wolf, no. Swift Brown Wolf, no. Sound Command Horde! <gasps> you did it, Sam. You did it, Tawny Wind Rider. No. It's shiny muzzle. Not a happy face there. No, well's a little bit painful to do. Um, just there's a lot of a lot of um, yeah, mirroring. Alabaster hyena. No. No. Ah. Oh, um. Right. So we're gonna do. I have to cancel, don't I? Yep. Cool. So it's well of eternity. Can only do a single. For the run. alliance. Make that. We'll make it fifteen. Um. Um, Vicious Walk on no, Tim Wolf, no, uh, Rock Krog, no, maybe Cheeses, someone guess the maker, I mean, you could seek her, Shackled Wave Ray, no, I'm having fun, what, pray tell, is a baby cheese, uh, baby Cheeses, have a, think, yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it is clear that I, in fact, cannot. I reckon you can. It just takes that... It, all it takes is that one kind of... Oh, maybe it's blah. It's all it takes. It's all it takes. Uh, Red Prime Raptor, nope. Uh, what is Pillbury Gun Link? Nope. What makes you think I have a Wild Gladiator mount? Uh, it'll be a Wolf or a Kodo, and I can't be able to go through them because I forget all of them. <laughs> Ah, uh, I wasn't trying to remember. Oh, the character's too fantastic! I if you if you're also fascinated by cheeses. I mean, I do like cheese, but in this case, it's it's a, a replacement for the word Jesus. Um, because they sound similar. Ah, uh, Grand Mount Horde. Yep, and I own it. Frostwolf Snarler, no. Swift Red Hawkstrider, no. Uh, Brown Wolf, no. Frostwolf Howler, no. very strange. When I press that button, it's meant to automatically switch. And it did the tick, which meant it had switched, but obviously it didn't. That's super strange. Sorry about that. It's all programmed into one button. It's weird that it did one part of the button, but not the other part of the button. That's wrong. <laughs> like, it shouldn't be able to do that. Uh, Spam, V, Zam, Koala, Apro, Fade, Rallo, Meaty, and Dunno. Congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. It's very odd. Um, for the skin. Uh, 
Um, Brown Wolf, no. Frost Wolf, Howler, no. Die Wolf, no. Orgrimma Wolf, no. Uh, did Ruby Shell Crow Lask already get done? I forget. Me too. I think we did it as one of the, like, the unboxing of a mystery box one, I think, maybe. But it's not the Ruby Shell Crow Lask. Uh, generic Mount Makeup number four. No. Swift Burgundy Wolf. Jack's got it. Full screen LS today, apparently. Apparently. Swift Burgundy Wolf. Number, please. Wow, oh, Jack. <laughs> Savior of my brain. I like that. That's hilarious. Sixty six. Sixty six. You have won the long dark. Congratulations. My Scram Wolf Mount, correct. D100 never rolls that high when I need it to, yeah! <laughs> oh dear. Has she been on today? Uh, not that I've seen. Not that I've seen, but it is a weekend, so, you know. Alright, I'm gonna zone on in. Is this... can I... What does it put me into when I jump into Well of Eternity? I don't think there are multiple difficulties. I think once it's done, it's done. I see you've arrived. This is the eve of the Sundering. When the collapse yeah, of the Well of Eternity fractured the continents of the world. Here we will snatch Hot up dusty. the dragon soul before it is lost to the mists of time. Steak because but pork first, is salty, which is usually good, but I'm gonna need a fucking lords of a what's it? tomorrow. Um, they're gonna put a cannula in, the and the more hydrated I, I am, the easier the cannula is gonna be. Ahead. So uh, less salty is better, I think. And not not like salty, salty. Like isotonic drink tomorrow morning, sure. Salty salt, yeah, I reckon steak. <laughs> Look, a little bit for flavour, but not like, don't make it salty salty. Plus? If I end up with a giant bruise on the back of my hand, it's going to be all your fault. No, it might be slightly smaller. <laughs> Uh, good. Let's check a bunch of stuff in the AH. Yes! Oh, actually, that's a really... Do I have... Oh! Thank you for reminding me to check my bags. Wait, I was already on a mount. Fear? Why? God damn it. I have God damn many, it. many wares. Ah, uh, hi, Just, baby. Just, do, 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 do. Uh, I'm gonna say unblock a pink salt. No! Wrong. Plus, no. I don't want to die tomorrow. I mean, I'm not going to, but like, I'm just. Look, the whole. Uh, of the entire surgery and everything, the part that I'm least looking forward to is the fucking cannula. Um, because getting cannulated sucks. But, um, the, the better I take care of myself, the easier it will be. Um, so I just have to kind of do that. May your feet find good trails. Emptying the bags. Emptying the bags. No, 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 no. Emptying the bags. Um, do I have sort bags? Let's make the most horrible sounds. I swear to God. Alright, cool. I've got enough space to do stuff and things. 
Uh, do we have Jacidin? No, it's on the redemption list though. It has been redeemed. Uh, and I do actually have the sound effect. I've got the sound. Um, I haven't had a chance to play it for Jas to get his consent yet and then upload it. Because uh, it is in fact Jas's voice. Um, but it is it is in progress. Yori has done her bit. I have to do my bit. I am the one who has slacked. Um, so my apologies for that. Uh, just check that we're good. Uh, we're going to do a ready check. Um, white or nice. Canula, yep. Which is just making Holondra sounds. I would, I would cackle. This COVID, of course, of course. Totally fine. Uh, Vu, are you ready? Are you with us? Yeah, so unfortunate. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. You're socially distant hugs, yep. Yeah. Pat you on the shoulder with a stick. Socially distant. Like, <laughs> small break. Okay, no worries. Um, do I do, th does that ban you or does that remove you? I think it just removed you. I hope I didn't accidentally ban you. If I did, I'll fix it later, I promise. We'll find a way to fix it. But there we go. Okay, cool. Let us uh, start the challenge. He is near, lurking in the shadows. I can if I do not get, oh, there's a quest in here that I need stuff from, but I can't do it because I haven't done the previous dungeons yet. Good. If, um, if I don't get any transmog from this run, I'll need to do it on another rogue. So we will do another one of this particular dungeon, but we'll see. Hopefully I get something to drop and I can shuffle things. Over here in the shadows. Excuse me. I think we stand a better chance by we now hide in shadows. Here. Come with me. You'd like to live long enough to see me save this world. Something crazy and I lost it. Ah, oh, bugger. Demons. Fair enough. Ah, uh, you know, daily. You know, sick do partner. Yeah, of course. I will so, hold them back so we can get past. Be ready. Some dropouts. Look. Look, it happens. Excuse me. My magic is fading. I'm going through. I think we stand a better chance fighting alongside one another. Well done, Fear. Good job. Come with me. You'd like to I got impatient. To see <clears throat> save this world. Well, give it to me. I fall in a heap. Not enough time. Oh dear. Yes. Ah. Shit, internet. That's, that's not I a curse. That's just so we can get most of Australia. Be ready. So good. We're having roast turkey. Ooh, that does sound good. We're having steak. My magic is fading. As you all heard. Going through. <laughs> Destroy the crystal so we can move on. <clears throat> We're leaving. Stay close. Look, at least knock on wood. The um, they will get what they deserve. The, the, the time. isn't too too bad. There's just a, there's not much stuff to kill, and a lot of clicking things and like storyline bits, which is which is okay. It's just not super fun. Say all good options. Absolutely. I had sushi for lunch because it was my second last. Solid meal <laughs> for about a week. Stay close. <clears throat> but I have I've got two little tubs of chocolate mousse. 
chocolate mousse. I've got two um, two loaf molds. I've got silicon loaf molds that I bake with. And they're the perfect size for jelly. So we have strawberry jelly and lime jelly. And then I've got a bag of marshmallows. And I have a thing of custard. We got a thing of eggs for, for scrambled eggs. Um, and we've got our our usual lunch, which is an AIP. Ooh! Ooh! I've already got that one too, so I can actually sell it. Um, our our usual lunch is an AIP yellow curry that is super mild. There's like no spice to it at all. Um, it just, it's like turmeric and cinnamon and oh, it's so, like it's warming and delicious, but there's no actual spice to it at all whatsoever. Um, and apart from the chicken, like it's chicken breast, so chicken breast isn't particularly blendable, but all of the other, like the broccoli and cauliflower and yellow squash and all that kind of stuff is really easy to blend. So what we're thinking of doing is serving up Jas's portions with the chicken in it, and then the half that's left with all just soft, squishy veg that's cooked in curry sauce, just stick mixering it. So I get like curry veggie soup. Oh, I'm so excited. And it keeps us within budget. So, <laughs> so that's good. I did also get a little tub of tomato soup and a tub of uh, pumpkin soup, which is not AIP, but that's, that's like, okay. neither's the fucking marshmallows. Um, hey! Oh, good. I got one. Trickster's Edge crossed off, and it's a unique appearance, so that's it done. Um, you did well. So yeah, it's uh, that was Peroth Ann, I think. Peroth Ann, it was good. So yeah, everything is kind of everything's set ready to go. I got two bottles of uh, of Aldi brand Powerade, um, <laughs> so I can. I've got one of them to have on the way to the hospital because uh, I can have. I can't have food in the morning, but I can have clear fluids up until two hours before surgery, which is about when we get in the car. Um, so I have one of them in the morning and Jas is going to bring a cold one. Oh shit, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Um, Jas is going to bring the second one cold uh, when he comes to pick me up um, so that I've got something cold and sweet to, to kind of drink while we head on our way home. Um, yeah, look, I'm I'm all set. I'm kind of a little bit excited about it this time round because I've got all the soft, squishy foods that are all different. But we'll see how I feel about it day three. <laughs> we'll see how I feel day three. Uh, I've also got. I usually have my curry with sweet potato mash, um, so I'm gonna have that as well because sweet potato mash is soft and squishy. So I can kind of mix the curry soup through that a little bit as well, which will be pretty tasty, I think. Yeah, we'll see how we go. You are here to join us um, in the celebration. Uh, steak is also very good. Agreed. Sushi last night. Nando's for lunch today. Yum. Yum. Keepers of eternity. Will you uh, soup awaits. My mouth pain is a lot better. Yay! That's awesome news, K. Some peanut brittle to your PO box. Yep. Yep. Once I've got those two crowns on, you betcha. All the peanut brittle. Maybe I should put some. Hey, do we need to like have a look? I know that there are snacks on Amazon. See if there's some peanut butter brittle, like peanut brittle stuff on um on Amazon AU, and I can add it to the throne wish list. What did I do? I bugged it out. Oh god damn it! How did I do that? Maybe I killed it. I don't know. Um. Gone crystals now. Oh, I, there's there are a few bugs. There are a few bugs there. Be careful about chewing on the other side of my mouth. Yeah, sounds amazing. Could you share the recipe sometime for the curry? Oh, I, I did the other day. Um, we were talking about it on stream before. I think I shared it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I said I was going to try and find it because I I think I've got it as a PDF. Is my problem. Let me see if I can like. Ah, welcome. Um. You are here to join us in the coming celebration? No, a pity. I have no time for such diversions. Keepers of eternity, will you stand for your queen? Oh, I just downloaded it again. That's okay. If I, I show in folder, maybe I can drop it in. Will grant me this honor. Channel as a PDF. It'll come through as a PDF, which I know is a bit annoying, especially on phones and things like that. 
Um, but maybe. Yes! That's, yes, that one. I've got two of the red ones. I've got two of the red ones, Seeker. Uh, there you go. That's, that's the one. Um, the only, the difference is we made it as is the first time. And it wasn't as saucy as I would usually like a curry. Like I want sauce to be able to get in all the rice or whatever you're having it with and stuff. Uh, and so this time we bought an extra can of coconut milk. Because it was, it asks for, I think, like, 15 ounces, which ends up being 900 mil. So it's like two, four, half a... <sighs> oh, and now I'm dead. How did I die? Fifteen minutes, she says. Um, yeah, so, uh, but the cans of coconut milk we get here are only 400, so it ends up being 800 mil instead of 900 mil, and I don't think that should make much of a difference, but it really seemed to. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna add a third one. Bugger it. <laughs> um, that way it might make it, or hopefully it'll make it a bit more saucy, a bit more creamy. Um, Time. and it'll kind of coat whatever we put it with a little better, hopefully, we'll see. Actually, free one no longer. And Discord is the same one. It is, yeah. It is. Our drink poppers were still blended. If you were to be willing to give it a go, I used to blend it a bit in squids, mergy mash things. It didn't feel too gritty. Okay, um, were you using chicken breast or chicken thigh? Because I feel like chicken thigh might blend okay, but breast seems to, because it doesn't have as much fat in it, it might be a little bit too dry. But I'm, hey, if, if, I trust you. I, I genuinely trust you. Uh, and so if you say it works well, then I, I would absolutely give it a try. So I does great now. Shredded chicken could work. We don't have any though. We've, we've just got raw chicken breast that we're going to cook up. Um, are you doing another like after that one? Ah, uh, yeah, we should be doing. We should be. Unless something goes horribly wrong. Welcome on in, Gorilla. Hope you're doing well. Now I want curry. It's a really good one. You're very welcome, Kay. Chicken katsu curry. Chicken katsu is also delicious. Rest some thigh, not cooking fully before mixing cooker sauce. Okay. Oh, for bloody hell, what the hell is going on with this? I managed to kill an extra one that time. Uh, I feel like you said watching a It's just shredded chicken though, true. True. I'd still have to chew the little bits of chicken, like swallowing it whole, it'd, it'd feel kind of weird. Um, I don't know, but we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, cautious undercooked chicken, yeah, we, we are, I, I tend to, I do tend to overcook chicken a little bit more than, like, Welcome. You are um, here to join us in the coming but yeah, it's, no. a pity. kill them one at a time, but I was, that's I the thing. I'm, th I'm killing them with a throw. Throw a poison coated knife. Dealing damage. One. 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 I will not fail you, my queen! Enough. Got it worked that time. That's like the fifth attempt I've had though. But I was killing them one at a time with the with the throne knife. <gasps> Both of them! Both of them were new transmog. That makes me happy. Riders to me. Thank God for that. Um my queen. Chicken Saluki scares me to cook sometimes. Oh, it's not scary. You just gotta make sure you cook it, that's all. Uh, you can dash chicken breast chunks and lemon juice, parsley and butter. Ooh, yum. Lemon juice is probably not worth it, considering you're being compressed further by post-surgical exhaustion. Yeah, look. You're probably not wrong. You're probably not wrong. I do- I did also get- sorry, one of the things I left off my list of stuff that I bought that was squishy. Um, I bought mints. Because you can cook mints and it crumbles up into little bits, which I'm kind of happy to just swallow as is. Um, and we've got tins of cherry tomato in the cupboard already, so we can use that up in like a, a sauce. 
Um, and pasta. Because if you overcook pasta to hell, it's about as chewy as a marshmallow <laughs> or jelly. So I've got that to have later in the week so I can start getting some texture back in. Um, and then have like the soupy soups early on. Can you close the portal, brother? Mm. But no worries, Justin, we'll see you next time. Rest well. That got yo, indeed. Indeed. I would like to not die. <laughs> mince. Oh, mince. Yes, sorry, mince meat. Ground beef. Oh, was I supposed to talk to them? I was, wasn't I? Pasta slush. Yeah, like like overcooked pasta. We were talking about baby pasta uh, last time. Apparently baby pasta like cooks really quickly to, to next to mush or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, that's all well and good, but I don't want to have to pay extra for, like pay more for a smaller box just because it has baby food like written on it. So I just got regular pasta and um, we'll just cook it to shit. <laughs> but that means that the same meal, like Jas and I can have the same meal as well. Um, it just means that he can take his pasta out when it's al dente and then cook mine for longer and then he can still have the sauce with it sort of do you know like it just it makes it a little nicer am i supposed to kill all these is that maybe what's supposed to be going on here there we go all right oh wait um it's chili it's lots of sauce. Yes, Rizzoni, home brand Rizzoni. Um, because we got it from Ali, I don't think, I didn't see that they had Rizzoni, so I ended up going with Spirals. Weak, I was okay with that. But past the soup, tiny little non chewy pieces. Cheap and super soft. Oh, I've got these other sheets. Oh, too much effort. Pasta, water, done. <laughs> Well, good for not well. Exactly. Exactly. And it's still, it's some, it's texture. It's something. It's not just soup. It's not just a, a blended liquid. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking, I'm kind of looking forward to the marshmallows. That'd be fun. What are you doing? The jelly. Oh, two, two packs of jelly. One strawberry, one lime in the fridge awaiting. And because it's cold as well. Oof, yes. And the mousse and the custard. What our people could not. Come on. The time is finished. Enough yammering. So there are enough bugs in here that Will of Eternity takes 20 minutes. Noted. Yes. I ah, I love that my mum brain is going, what did I give the squids when they were babies? That will work for fear. That's so sweet of you, Seeker. That's so sweet of you. <clears throat> Hmm. Nods, yep. All the all the kids stuff. All the little ones. Stuff for the stuff for the babbies. And bubble tea without topping. Or oh, no, we've oh, maybe we've still got popping pearls we can use. Because they don't need to be chewed. I can just press them against the roof of my mouth with my tongue. Children, same thing, right? Bongella? Nah. Drum it all. Nah, um, there shouldn't honestly be that much. Like, last time round, I had no pain, really, at the site. It was all just kind of deeper, sort of, and jaw stuff. Um, so I think that should be... And as long as I had the ice pack on it fairly regularly, it was golden. The pain was not so much, because I I think it was because I treated it so well, though. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. But I do have Bongella, because I um I get uh, ulcers in my mouth occasionally, not super often, but I get them often enough that they that they upset me. <laughs> and so I, I do have a tube of Bongella. The only aniseed flavoured thing that I like. Because it tastes like painkiller. Like <laughs> nothing. Nothing new. Plate and cloth. It says Heroic Well of Eternity, but I don't think there is another one, is there? No, it's just Heroic Well of Eternity. Alright. Cool. So, I'm gonna... Congratulations to me! I won! Well done, Zam and Ozzy, on getting through that. Um... <laughs> Where's the... There's the desk. Let's pop in. The dragon's soul new... is safe once again. 
quickly that has... into the time portal before this world sunders. It's update. <laughs> oh, hello. Would you like to pop some food in? I would. Do we still have popping pearls, or do we run out of those? We can have. I can have bubble tea. <laughs> Here I was thinking I'd get away with it. If it wasn't for those damn meddling popping pearls. Popping pearls. <laughs> yep. Mm. Oh, I caked it in salt. No, you didn't. And then I rubbed some salt off onto my own. <laughs> it's been twisted. Really tasty. Thank you. By too many spells. The fuss we, mm. especially you, made with the portal was too much. Baron hold. The same spell that sent the burning legion back into their foul realm. I'm not going to bother the setting up a lack for Baron and hold. Because there's no trash in it. But if you too need transmog, I highly recommend joining me. Um, it's on the Paladin for me. But I'm going to jump on Fia just to check what faction has control of it. Because she can port straight there. It'd be easier to check. The end, or do you have the rest? That's I the end of Well of Eternity. It, nah. It's a series of dungeons, but that's the end of that dungeon. Manoroth is the final boss of that dungeon. <clears throat> Big Hacken has people food. People food, but blended. Have to make the gravy. Enjoy, okay? Enjoy. Gravy is basically a meat smoothie. It is delicious and amazing. Do you want to think obviously rigged? Obviously. Mm, but I'm going to take rumbles on the inside. No. Um, um, it's not requiring a salt rinse. His gravy is basically 50% salt. It's uh, The other 50% might get in the wound and require a salt rinse. No, I've, I've still got a bottle of Sabacol from last time. So I won't have to do salt rinses this time. I ended up having to buy the Sabacol because I had some other issues going on. Um, so I bought it. I have it. Um, so I can use that instead. But it's, it's, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Okay, who's in control of Tolbarad? Alliance. Perfect. This is why I check. I'm going to jump onto the Alliance Paladin. <clears throat> ah, sniffly. I always get sniffly when I start eating food again. Oh no! Do I have to take a food break? I mean, yeah, I am doing Baron and Hold, which is not really lackable, so. Uh -oh. That's my knife, it's all good. <laughs> but my lowest is 31%, 50.52. That is awesome. When I started this whole challenge, my lowest dungeon was sub 20% completed. Hey, Nutty, how you doing? Welcome back. It's tea. Thank you. With bubbles in it. Sorry? With bubbles in it. Peach?
passion fruit. Yes, it is. Really? Yep. It's not as tangy as usual. Have you tried it? It, good, it tastes good. It's delicious. It just Thumbs wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Thumb flavored. Yeah, look, probably. Mm. I like bubble tea. Mmm. <clears throat> ah, battle. Just a thumbs up saying like a clue. if I get something to drop from Baron and Hold. Do I have... I do. I've got a Aldella. Alright, cool. So I've got two Paladins on Alliance side that I can run on. And if neither of them get a drop, I'm going to have to run some other... Totally all right. Ooh. There we go. Reconnection successful. Chat. Last thing I saw was Seeker saying clearly. Yep. Last thing I saw was Seeker saying clearly. Uh, and then I got booted. Uh, there we go. Alright. Perfect. Uh, Fade, Ice, Stolio, Meaty, Dunno, Booth, and V. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Yeah, I, I knew I was in trouble when I was trying to mount in game. And I just couldn't. So it was an internet to drop out. Again. Which is... Good. It's alright. Um. How are you doing? Welcome back. Can't place a barbarian yet. Um, kill two melee units. All right, I'm gonna let's go with the paladin. Let's <laughs> <clears throat> see how that goes. tomorrow surgery day is tomorrow um my second surgery my last surgery uh i'm getting the implant put into the jawbone uh so yeah that's tomorrow many excites okay i'm glad to hear you're okay um i'm all right a little bit nervous but um you know 
it's pretty normal. I think I'd be a little bit concerned if I wasn't a little bit nervous. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going pretty okay. Good luck, thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> All right, Portel. There you go. <clears throat> Dream free sleeps. Uh, hopefully. Um, we're going. Oh, you want to jump into bed? Not a worry. Not a worry at all. Jack, rest well. See you next way. And uh, next time. Uh, which will be Friday. Probably be up around in Discord before then, but next actual stream will be next Friday. Um, incapacity for There you go! I've taken this whole week off work, so I only work Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, but last surgery was on a Wednesday, so I took Thursday off, and by the next Tuesday I was okay, but that's almost a full week. Um, so given that this is a Monday, I've taken Tuesday and Thursday off work, and I'm also taking Monday and Wednesday off stream. Excuse me, on Friday we're gonna jump on and do... 9.2 storyline stuff and see how I'm going after I knock out the storyline. If if I'm still a bit wobbly, then I'll just cut it off there, short stream, go to bed. Uh, and then on Sunday, similar kind of deal. We're doing Chef Squad. I'm, I'm so excited. I cannot wait for Chef Squad. Um, but same thing goes there. I've picked a game that can run short if I need it to. Um, so we'll just kind of, we'll take it as it is, and I'll, I'll see how I go. Uh, I'm hoping that by next Monday, I'll be back to my proper streaming schedule, full length stream, six hours, my my four days a week, all that kind of jazz. Um, but obviously it, that's gonna heavily depend on what my body decides it wants to do. Um, so I'm just gonna listen to it and, uh, and do my best. Um, but I'm anticipating it should only be like almost a week. <clears throat> Uh, really speedy recovery, I see. Yeah, last time, um, so last surgery was extraction of the tooth and they put a bone graft in. And I, it took me about a week to be able to get out of bed. <laughs> and then, like, and I was doing, I was doing streams towards the end of that, but they were kind of short. Uh, and then kind of just sort of doing what I could. And it took me almost a month to kind of feel like myself again. It took a really, really long time. That being said though, I spoke to my surgeon and I said, How, what can I expect the recovery for this one to be like compared to last time? And he said, oh, miles easier. Last time your body was literally growing a new bone. This time it's healing a wound. Wound healing happens all day, every day. Bone growing doesn't really. Bone growing takes a hell of a lot more energy. So I, I understood that. <laughs> I get that. Um, so fingers crossed this will be a much faster recovery. Uh, but it'll, it, I, again, I'll just kind of listen to my body. And if my body says, bitch, take another day off, I'll take another day off. <laughs> uh, so what exactly is this surgery for? Putting the hunk of titanium into my jaw. So um, the way that an implant works, you have your, you have your jawbone. And then you have a bit that sits inside the jaw that's flush with the bone. And that's like the inverse of a screw. So it's it's a cup like this and it has the screw threads on the inside of it like that. And that bit goes into the bone and the top of it's flush with the bone. That's what I'm getting put in tomorrow, the implant. Then you get what's called a post, which screws into the implant. And that's got, on one end is got the screw bit, like you would expect any screw to look like. And then the other end, it has a little stick part. It's not very, it's about as, you know, about half as tall to two thirds as tall as you would expect a tooth to be. Um, and it's it's just, I, I can't remember if it's like hexagonal or round or whatever, but it's just, it's a little stick that comes up. So if you looked, if you put the post in and then kind of looked at my mouth, You'd see like tooth, 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 metal stick, tooth, 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 <laughs> if that makes sense. And then I go back, so so four months after this surgery tomorrow, I'll go back to the surgeon and he will do some testing on it and then he'll screw the post in and that's his job done. Then I go back to my regular dentist and put a crown on it 
and the crown that goes on it is the same as a crown that would go on any other tooth. It's just going on a hunk of titanium instead of bone, which is kind of cool, right? How funky is that? Like the crown looks exactly the same on the outside. It just has a different thing on the inside that it slots into. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't get any new transmog from Argoloth because Argoloth is a meanie pants. <clears throat> Um, I appear to have run into a viewer while pucking keys. Ah, amazing. There you go. There you go. Uh, Mechano Lego with people. That's just to replace a tooth. And it is. Yeah, it is. So I had a tooth that had a root canal done. Uh, and that root canal failed. And so I had it redone. And then it failed again. And I had it re- And it failed four or five times. I can't- I cannot for the life of me remember how many times it's failed. But every time you have to go and do another filling, they have to prepare the surface of the tooth and that involves filing it back a bit to get a smooth surface and then like roughing it up a bit so that you can attach things to it properly like so it holds on and blah 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 all this kind of stuff uh, and so every time you redo a filling the amount of natural tooth reduces it had got to the point where i had no tooth above the gum line i had the roots of the tooth still in my jaw but no tooth above the the, the root uh no tooth above the gum line uh, which is why they couldn't pull it out in the chair. They had to do it via surgery because they had to like cut my gums and open it to get it out, which of course left a hole in my jaw because there was also some infection in there. So that had eaten away at a little bit of my bone. Um, and so they pack it with, it kind of almost looks like couscous. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding, but that's fake bone basically. It's, it's made of a whole bunch of different types of stuff, but it's basically boils down to fake bone and they pack that into the hole that's left after they've cleaned it out and everything. And then they stitch the gum up over the top of that. So it's all held in tight and then they leave it. And the body uses the, the couscous as, a, as kind of like scaffolding and builds the bone on and around it. Um, and then you've got your solid bone done, ready to do whatever you need to do with it. Like put a hunk of titanium in it. I, I've learned so much about the whole process because, of course, I've asked a million and one questions. I did get something. No, I didn't. Those are both shared appearances. God damn it. Um, God damn it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so I've learned so much about the whole thing. Like, all these processes and stuff are just, oh, my goodness. I love learning and love knowing what's going on inside me and stuff. So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun, that part of it. The rest of it, not so fun. Uh, but... Yeah, I've learned lots. Mm, after all the dentics about the dearest thing in the dentist. Ah, uh, couscous or miniature boba. Ah, uh, a bit smaller than miniature boba. Think uncooked couscous. Even uncooked tapioca, like the bitty bitty ones when you're doing like sago. That's still a little bit bigger. It's like, yeah, uncooked couscous. And it's white. Looks, It looks like bone. And the reason I know that it's white is because some of it came out. Uh, it's meant to. So they, they pack more into the wound than your body is going to need. And so as you're healing and as the stitches dissolve and come out... Um... Oh, thank God. That was an actual new appearance. As the stitches dissolve and come out and the gum sort of shifts a little bit with now that it's not being held together as strongly, a couple of the granules and stuff will sort of shift and come loose and then sometimes work their way out of the, the hole. So I had a couple of pieces come loose uh, and I called the surgeon and I'm like, help! And they're like, no, that's fine. That's perfectly normal. Um, come in, we'll have a look for you. We'll make sure everything's good. But they were really, really happy with it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, so that was fun. Uh, so it looks like I'm at 31.92 now, um, which luckily this character is, uh, the same name as my, as my other pally. So I can, oh, they've that changed like a lot of numbers. That's okay. I'll just sit that for there for now. Oh, but I don't want to. I don't want to. Peter Saron again. Saron again, I don't wanna. 
I'm trying to remember today when taking up a quarter of the bed. Amazing. So it's like a bean bag. It's a boba, but it's a bean bag. Um, root canal treatment is so it's to do with infection, I believe. Um, yeah, so a root canal is like if you need a filling in your tooth because you have a cavity, it's like an extreme cavity. So the 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 infection and the eating away on the top of your tooth has gotten into the the pulp. The pulp is in the middle of like so you got your enamel and then there's I think dentine and then there's the pulp which is soft and squishy. And once the once the pulp gets infected, it burrows down into the because your tooth is like solid but then it's got like the prongs down the bottom um that kind of hold it into your jaw once once the infection gets into there it hits your nerves and it hurts it hurts like you would not believe and so the idea of a root canal treatment is to remove the nerve from the tooth they go into into each root and they they basically cut off and pull out the nerve um, while you are under painkillers and stuff. Like they, they numb the area, anesthetize the area and then remove the nerve from the tooth and then fill it with filling. Um, so like the, the, like, like the stuff that you put in a cavity, but they fill the whole scent, like the whole middle of the tooth with it and then they put a filling on top. The problem is because you've removed the nerve from the tooth, you can't feel if there's any damage to the tooth anymore, which is why they want to put a crown on it because the crown helps protect the whole tooth. It makes it harder, it makes it stronger and more resistant to, to further damage. Um, but crowns are really expensive. They can run anywhere from $1,200 to $1,800 each. Um, and so when I got the original root canal done, I was a uni student. I wasn't earning enough. Uh, I wasn't earning enough that I could afford a crown, but I wasn't earning little enough God damn it. Patient successful. Brilliant. Okay, where do we get to? Uh, right, so they remove the nerve from the tooth and then they fill it up with like the same stuff that they'd use for a filling. Um, the problem with that is that if you damage the tooth in any way, you can't feel it because there's no nerve in that tooth anymore. It's completely, the, the tooth is numb. Excuse me. Excuse me again. You can't feel it. So that's why they want to put a crown on it. Um, but crowns are really 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 expensive uh they can run anywhere from australian dollars anywhere from 1200 to 1800 dollars for, for like one crown and when i originally had this uh root canal done i was in university i was i wasn't earning little enough that i could get it done as an emergency treatment through like social services or uh, centrelink or like the emergency dental hospital and stuff i couldn't get it no cost or low cost because i was earning too much but i wasn't earning enough that i could afford it myself so my only option was to just get the root canal done to prevent the pain. I was in agony. I hadn't slept in weeks. The first time the, when I when I first took a painkiller that actually worked to deaden the tooth, I slept for 18 hours. That is how like, <laughs> and then I woke up for half an hour, had some food and water and then passed out again. Like I was in so much pain. Um, so when they when I got managed to get that rid of that pain, I just I slept because my body was dead, my body was exhausted. Um, so my my options were get rid of the pain and get the root canal, or like don't <laughs> um, the, get the root canal without the crown, or don't get the like be in pain continuously. So I opted to get it and just not get the crown because I couldn't afford to. Like literally, did not have the money to do so. Um, so yeah, and that's why it failed because it didn't have the protection. So obviously I damaged the tooth a few times. I, d I don't know how, there is no way to know. Um, but I damaged it a couple times and so it got bad, it got worse, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, and to the point where I had to get it out, take it out and get an implant put in. Um, but you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, I, I have a few dental issues, genetics and stuff like that. Um, so it, it sucks, but it is what it is. Still trying to make sense of how Australian social security works. Ah, uh, so are we. Don't, don't, don't bother trying. It, it, a lot of the time it doesn't. A lot of the time it doesn't. <clears throat> mm hmm So the next one is Pitisaron. <laughs> I have to go do bloody Pitisaron again and I really don't want to. Um, but I'm not going to run all three, I'm just going to do Pitazaron. Go in, do my loop, get out, go in, do the loop, get out, etc. Hmm. 
<clears throat> yep, trial of style is up. <clears throat> Hello, Berry. How you doing, love? Welcome back. Alright, so I am going to do a Ludipraiser challenge for Pit of Sauron. Whether or not you join is entirely up to you for what I hope are obvious reasons. I'm around, how are you? Yeah, look, I'm getting there. Tomorrow's surgery day, so I'm... I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I just want it to be done with. I, I'm really looking forward to it being over and done with, but I'm, I'm just kind of nervous in the lead up, I think. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Thank you. Appreciate it. How are you? Like, what is up? What are you up to? Uh, being incentivized to earn absolutely nothing so you can afford dental surgery. Ouch. Yeah. Look, um, dental is not super well covered in, in Australia. So um, if you're a kid and your parents earn under this particular cap, um, then your all your dental work as a as a kid is free. Not all of it, that's that's a lie, but like your basic stuff, like your your fillings and your your checkups and all that kind of stuff, that's all free. Um, I'm pretty sure if you need like braces, orthodontics and stuff like that is um like you need to pay for that out of pocket regardless of how old the kid is or regardless of how much the parents earn. Um but then once you're an adult, yeah no, nothing. It, it, you either you either pay for it you either pay for it all completely out of pocket, which is quite expensive. So, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, like like I said, you know, crowns are twelve to eighteen hundred. Um, <clears throat> X-rays are a couple hundred bucks usually, uh, uh, just to check on you know what's going on in the roots and stuff, so they can make a decision on what they actually need to do for treatment. Um, uh, unless you have private health insurance, but not everyone can afford that. Um, uh, you can like there are there are cheaper options of private health out there, but they don't cover much, and you won't end up like <laughs> the the idea. So private health is very much like if <clears throat> if you're a relatively healthy person, you're probably not going to use it. A lot of it is around like hospital admission and all that kind of stuff. So if you don't have an accident, it's you get nothing. You pay hundreds of thousands of dollars over whatever time, and you get nothing. Um, uh, you can do extras and stuff like that, but it's it's just, the, like, looking at my... Even with a fucking autoimmune condition and everything that goes along with it, it is not worth it for me to get public, uh, public uh, private health insurance. It's just not. I would not get back out of it what I'm paying, not even close. Uh, I am much better off saving up for and just paying the, the stuff myself. Uh, but granted, in Australia, most things are... Like, in terms of hospitalizations and stuff, you can... It's, <laughs> we have our public health system, so there might be a longer wait. You might not get to specifically choose exactly which specialist you see, but it's fucking free. So I just don't see the point. Everything I've ever done for my, like everything I've done with my autoimmune stuff has been completely free. The only thing I've paid for is medication. All the physio appointments and neurology appointments, rheumatology appointments, everything was 100% free. All I've ever paid for is my meds. Um, and the meds are heavily subsidized. Uh, so there's just, like, yeah. It's... For some people, sure, it, it might be worth it to them, especially if they have, like, a massive family history of, like, a lot of stuff. Uh, but I don't. Like, my family's pretty fucking healthy, both sides. Um, well, I mean... In terms of genetically speaking, um, every, every, uh, almost every issue, every health issue in my family can be traced back to, like, smoking. Or, you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. Um, or that, those kind of comorbidities. Very, 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 very little uh, of what runs in my family is genetic. Um, the only thing, the only thing that would be life-threatening that has run in my family would have killed me before I was three. And hi, I'm 32, so I'm fine. <laughs> like literally there is zero life expectancy beyond like three or four years of age. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm finally seeing the broken beats payoff. Oh, amazing. I hope you're enjoying it. Poor mom's store just had all his teeth taken out though. Oh no! Oh, Barry, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm really glad you're having fun with Beat Saber, though. 
That's so cool. That's a feeling, a passive feeling again that he, he might hex me. I, how, I don't know how to hex people. That's a bit odd. Let's pick this up. Ah, uh, so the situation. First could be the US, correct. Correct. Honestly, the Australian healthcare system is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, there are, there's like, dental is just like this one hole that's that doesn't seem to be covered by anything. Um, the rest of Australia's healthcare system is great. Absolutely great. It's just dental. Which unfortunately affects so many other aspects of health, but it is what it is. Mm. Ah, Pass, hello! Mm, okay, so um, I think I'm having some issues with my stuff again. I've had a couple of disconnects today, so I think my alerts have done pooped their pants. So, my sincere apologies for that, but hello! Welcome on in! How is your stream? How are you going? Did anyone do a- no, of course they didn't. <clears throat> there we go. Mmm! Has anyone ever died due to not being able to afford dental care in your country? Probably. I mean, the country has existed for over a hundred years. I'm sure that more than one person during that time has probably died due to lack of dental care. But that hasn't stopped places like the US. That people die almost every day because of lack of access. Due to, due to affordability. Like, why would that matter? To anybody. Like, it, it doesn't, it doesn't factor into decision making. Hello, Gita. Welcome in. Um, hello, Bri. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Game Queen is fun. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad. It's great, unless you're not from Australia. Correct. Moving to Australia. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, yeah, you've got to you've got to get residency or citizenship to be able to access Medicare. Uh, beyond that, you need like overseas health insurance and stuff, and it's um, it's expensive. I had a lot of uh, international student friends when I was in uni. And the healthcare that is required for them to have, for them to be able to study here, is bloody expensive. <clears throat> Drop as we do indeed. Hello, Lucky! Healthy blankets and ice packs, brilliant, love it. Uh, Red Alert's broke, everything broke. Everything broke, headset died about half an hour ago, we're in acapella, fantastic! <laughs> oh, purse. Oh, fingers crossed it's just a charging issue. Um, hello Connor, welcome back. This is finally at 60. Ah, oh, congrats Seeker, well done! Mission cover isn't bad. Lucky business cover. Well, I mean, like 10 years ago when my friends were the ones having the overseas student cover. I mean, I couldn't fucking afford it. <laughs> Don't know about you, but I, I couldn't afford it. It's It was ridiculous. Maybe things have changed in a decade. Hmm. Very distracting. A lot of low level quests! Yeah, but they're fun, Seeker. You're having fun. Okay. Um. Where is this? I totally understand if no one wants to join me. Uh, because it is Pit of fucking Saron. Um, so if you would like to. Oh, number lock is on. Not 145. Good lord, no. Um, if you'd like to join us for a loot appraiser, I'm doing this primarily for Transmog. We're not trying to make money, uh, but might as well while we're at it, right? <laughs> might as well give it a go and see how much we're getting from greens anyway. Uh, feel free to, to jump on in. Uh, you can exclamation add me if you want to add me to your battle net list. Uh, let me know if you have because I won't get a, like an audible ping for it because I've got those turned off. Uh, and I can go and find someone who hasn't been online for a while to boot so I can add you to the friends list uh, and resend the invite. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, again, it, this is, I'm not choosing this dungeon because it's profitable. I'm choosing the dungeon because this is where I need the most transmog out of all of the dungeons and raids up to and including Legion across all 12 classes. Um, I guess as I need a new battery, less we need to be 10 to 12, now it's like 6 to 8. Ooh, bugger. I pass myself tonight, nobody joined me either. I'm totally, I understand. I understand. Um, 
refugees, what kind of care coverage do they get? No idea. I don't know enough about that. Neb, there's only so much knowledge I have about my country, I'm sorry. Uh, you could probably do some research online though. Uh, you know, Refugee Healthcare Cover Australia might do a Google search. I would have had a bad on that account. True. True, you do need a WoW account. But it is cross-faction and cross-region. So anyone from anywhere can join as long as, of course, they have a WoW account. Not the bad at hell. Oh, well done, Bess. Well done. Mm -hmm. Zam got one earlier today. We were all quite angry. Mm, it does. It works cross Legion now. I didn't realize either because right when the change was made, I added Zam to my list and tested it and it didn't work and we were kind of sad. So then we just kind of left it. Um, and then, I can't remember, it might have been in Purse's stream, but it was somewhere and we were notified that it does now work cross Legion. We were very excited, so I started doing them again. So earlier this week, everyone quickly. Absolutely, Purse. Well done. Well done. <clears throat> okay. Doesn't look like anyone is interested. That's okay. Where am I? This one. Oh! Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, we'll start with her. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mage Level 50. Well done, Koala. Good job. I'll let you participate manually boot up my EU account to get them in. Mm. It's so good you don't have to anymore. Like, that's so good. As soon as I saw it on the on the like the shared region Battle.net friends list thing, I was like, yes! But obviously it takes a little bit of extra coding to make sure it works properly and, and all that, so I'm glad they managed to figure it out. It's great news. Okay. Let's do this. There's no love anymore. <laughs> mm. The intruders have entered the master's domain. Signal the alarms. <laughs> Father, not even fit to labor in a quarry. Relish these final moments, for soon you will be nothing more than mindless undead. Soldiers of the Horde, attack! Your last waking memory will be of agonizing pain. Pathetic weaklings. Minions, destroy these <clears throat> interlopers. Oh my god, the lag when I get the, uh, uh, what's it from these? Rep is gonna be redonkulous. Now wait for to reconnect. <laughs> Is this print? Can I actually play with you? Like, oh, I do. I absolutely do. I remove people who haven't been online for a month, and then add people who are playing. Because playing. Like, you playing, you like, doing lax is playing with me. Like, that's, that's the thing. Doing a lack is playing with me and with the community. Uh, Sand, Apro, Ice, Draz, Fade, Fairy, and Pia. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Bang. When I press this button. <clears throat> uh, Varian. Nice. Um, 
Right. Literally nothing out of all those packs. <laughs> Literally nothing. Maybe other plans. You can! Go. Thank you for letting me know you needed them. Ah, uh, the lockup. Tries to calculate the slab of ex uh, the slab of uh, reputation. Okay, Plus can has gear. Hey, I got one. I got one, and that was actually new. Garfrost's two-ton hammer. You waste your time. <clears throat> I've just realized because of the stuff I got in the pallet earlier, I probably actually don't need to be in here. That's fine. That's totally okay. I'm gonna have to get used to updating my data every time I switch. I suppose you don't want to run. <laughs> Look, I mean, I have a feeling people have like bad memories from um, doing it in time walking. Because it was well, like the tuning was just screwed. Um, so it was a really difficult run and I think people are kind of a little bit scarred by it. <laughs> so it, look, it makes sense to me. It makes sense to me that um, people don't want to run it. Okay, so the ambushes leash. Got something. It's just worth next to nothing. <laughs> Let's go grab these bats. Uh, I don't know if drops in wrath. Is it curious where it's at? I would imagine so. But I don't think people do. I don't think people want to. They just, they would rather not. But it hilt, I know, Rosam. Didn't you get yours from Halls, not from Poss? Okay, the gargoyle's leash as well. Half of them do and half of them don't, and it confuses me. I don't need anything from Nick. Queen spare your miserable life. What's the difference? Yeah, look. There's not a whole lot. What you seek is in the master's lair, but you must destroy Tyrannus to gain entry. Now, within the halls of reflection, you will find Frostmorn. It. Uh, it holds the truth. Your pursuit shall be in vain. Frostmorn? <clears throat> For the Lich King, the Lich King has is never without his blade. If command. you are lying to me. Behold. I swear. I swear it's true. Please don't kill me. Red. <laughs> A fitting end for a traitor. Come, Persistent we must free the slaves melts. and see what is within the you Lich King's chamber for ourselves. You will not reach the entrance of my lord's lair. Soldiers, destroy them! <clears throat> it's really having trouble with these rep gains, hey? It doesn't usually have this much trouble, it's kind of funny. Rhyme Fang, trap them within the tunnel! Bury them alive! <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, Scream. Oh, yeah, I'm doing all right. Not too early. How are you? Not that long. Only in January. Mid January. Not that long at all. Alas, brave, brave adventurers, <clears throat> your meddling has reached its end. Do you hear the clatter of bone and steel coming up the tunnel behind you? Mm. That is the sound of your impending demise. Hey, V, have you got TSM installed? Deal with the Scourge Lord! <laughs> Such an amusing gesture from the rabble. This is much better. Oh, fantastic. With you. I'm so Thy glad to hear it. Blade will feast you seem to really hurt your frames. Your it's not AoEs. It's, um, because AoE is fine on fear. Totally fine. Everything just falls over. Oh, wow. Both of those. Oh, no. That's a shared appearance. That's a new one, though. Um... On fear, gathering up an entire dungeon and doing one arcane explosion is fine. Everything just falls over. The issue is when it's calculating rep gains. When every piece, when every piece of trash gives me like five, ten, or twenty rep, it has a proper issue trying to figure out how much rep to give me. I've, I've noticed the pattern. It's really interesting. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if you've got it not quite set up right because. The, the items that you're getting to drop, like, for example, the Ulduar Greaves, God's sake. Um, the Ulduar Greaves that are on here, um, you can't, you can see here it says zero copper, and you've only got, like, three gold up here, right? But those should be, like, region sale average is 15 gold, so that should be at I least 15 gold. Um, last. rather than, yeah, so I'm, I'm a little bit confused as to why it's having, and ev to every time you've joined one, it's been really, really low, so I'm thinking it's a TSM issue. The calculations, I know, right? It's the worstest. See, so yeah, I have a feeling maybe your loot appraiser isn't connected to TSM, or it's outdated uh, data, or something like that. Uh, so yeah, those, those numbers just don't look right at all. Yeah, I'm I'm not a hundred like I set up my loot appraiser such a long time ago that I don't recall exactly what the deal's meant to be. Um uh, but yeah, having like that shouldn't affect anything because that you should be using my um you should be using my uh, what I dictate as the so like it's got here region global sale average so that's but you need to be able to have access to the region global sale average for it to be able to give it that data if that makes sense um yeah I wonder if maybe your TSM desktop app isn't set up to grab price information properly or something. <clears throat> oh, there's still one up over there. <clears throat> oh gosh, I'm very sniffle. I get to that one anyway. Okay. Bags are fine. 
Let's continue. <clears throat> Intruders have entered the master's domain. Signal the alarms. <laughs> Father, not even fit to labor in a quarry. Relish these final moments, for soon you will be nothing more than mindless undead. Soldiers of the Horde, attack! Your last waking memory will be of agonizing pain. Pathetic weaklings. Please! Minions! Ooh. Destroy these interlopers. You will have to battle your way through this cesspit on your own. Free any horde slaves that you come across. We will most certainly need their assistance in battling Tyrannus. I will gather reinforcements and join you on the other side of the quarry. It's fun. And now we wait. I feel like Jack. <laughs> Pulling a whole massive. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So grab this out. This is going to, uh, <laughs> give it a second. Um, this is stream. Thank you, Donna, and thank you so much for the well wishes. I'll see you next time, which will be Friday, next Friday. I wonder if I killed so much it actually is going to DC me. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There's the greens. Oh, and a blue titanium lockbox. <clears throat> Still none of them worth over gold. Why is it a ping? Go. <clears throat> Three bits left from Garfrost. Tiny creatures oh, under feet, giant rats, carved from something good to eat. Not one of them. <laughs> Wonderful. Another shall take his place. You waste your time. I actually cross Pit of Sauron off for a, an armor type. How amazing would that be? Good God. I really should have double checked though, because this is uh, I wouldn't be here if I had re like re upped my my daughter. Ugh, that's okay. It's fine. Nothing from Ick. <clears throat> Wait, the stuff. Uh, don't kill me, please. I'll tell you everything. Why should the Banshee Queen spare your miserable life? 
Your pursuit shall be in vain, intruders. What you for the All right. Placed an army of undead at my command. I rather see the king entry. Now, within the halls of reflection, you will find Frostmorn. It, ah, uh, it holds the truth. Really like his own drop. That'd be nice. Frostmorn? Just cross it off. Not have to deal with it. The king is never without his blade. If you are lying to me. I swear it's true! Please don't kill me! Um, no. It was 75 gold. We're get, look, we're getting there. You will not reach the entrance getting of my there. lord's lair. Soldiers, destroy them! A fitting end for a traitor. Come. We must free the slaves and see what is within the Lich King's chamber for ourselves. Well, at least they can drop in any of the three. Like, it could be worse. The it means that if I get everything from the bosses and all that's left is the zone drops, I can farm them in the other instances. But, like, if I can get all the boss drops from all three instances and I still need zone drops, I'm gonna cry. I, I will cry. It always seems to be the way that my luck goes, unfortunately. <laughs> At least if they were BOEs and they were the last ones on the list, I could just go buy them. And wait for them to come up on the auction house and, and just purchase them. But, ugh. I can't, because they're bought. Ooh, well. Deal with the issue when I get there, I think. I'm still a ways off that, I think. <laughs> Alas, brave, brave adventurers, your meddling has reached its end. Do you hear the clatter of bone and steel coming up the tunnel behind you? That is the sound of your impending Heroes, demise. We will hold off the undead as long as we can, even to our dying breath. Deal with the Scourge Lord! <laughs> Such an amusing gesture from the rabble. When I have finished with you, my master's blade will feast upon your souls. Die. Impossible. Right bang. No Born. new transmog. Here's a uh big Brave table. Champions, we owe you our lives, our freedom. Though it be a tiny gesture in the face of this enormous debt, I pledge that from this day forth, all will know of your deeds and the blazing path of light you cut through the shadow of this dark citadel. This day will stand as a testament not only to your valor, but to the fact that no foe, not even the Lich King himself, can stand when a lion Take cover and behind me set quickly. Aside their differences and. I thought he'd never shut up. At last, Sindragosa silenced that long-winded fool. <clears throat> to the halls of reflection, champions. Our objective is near. I can sense it. Might have time on the clock for another couple of runs, actually. I've made for Pit though. Oh, excuse me.
run out, reset, and do it again. I haven't seen a single way. Oh, no, that's a lie. I'd had a zone drop from the Well of Eternity. I don't have very good luck with zone drops. Hmm, <laughs> boss to check, eh? Couple of hydrates in queue. Where's the button? There's a the button. Here we go. <clears throat> and off we go again. The intruders have entered the master's domain. Signal the alarms. <laughs> Wait, Father, I have a quest. Not even fit to labor in a quarry. Relish these final no moments. Time for, games. for soon you will be nothing more than mindless. How objects. did I not realize I had that quest? <laughs> oh gosh. Hello, Jeremy. Welcome on in. Your last waking memory will be of agonizing pain. Pathetic weaklings. Minions, destroy these interlopers. This one. This one. Back to Taz. I mean, you could join me in Pitta's Aron, Jess. You will have to battle your way through this. Knowing your luck, you probably walk in, grab a battered hilt, walk straight back out again. Any horde slaves that you come across, we will most certainly need their assistance in battling Tyrannus. I will gather reinforcements and join you on the other side of the quarry. Dicking on it is, yeah, twice now. I don't know if it should, like, we should both be fine to play World of Goddamn Warcraft. Like, that, that is not. Yeah, I don't know. I might have a chat to Dad once I'm uh, able to speak again after surgery. Just give him a call and say, look, this is what's happening. Can you recommend a program to, to track our internet connection or something like anything that can get us some data to see what's actually happening rather than just internet dropout um, to see if it is a router or if it's the internet or, you know, because like if the network is fine, if the actual network is staying consistent, but the internet's dropping out, then that's not the router. <laughs> You know, that's, yeah, that's the internet, that's the ISP, uh, and then we can go to them and say, excuse me. Uh, but I feel like we need more data to be able to do that. 3k hit, oh wow. Not in spare ribs, lord. Okay, come on, Garfrost. Beating up Finland. Well done. Tiny creatures under feet. You bring Garfrost something oh, Garfrost. good. Nothing new from Garfrost. Save Boss Great Shape for full length. Another shall take his place. Yeah, what you is dead may never die, time. but rises again harder and stronger. This way. We're about to mount an assault on the Scourge Lord's location. Extra 120k. Oh, goodness gracious. Not bad at all there, eh? Where is he having now? Uh, none? 
I have, uh, I have, uh, dis like, my Lua error's display. If I have an error, it comes up and shows me that I've had a Lua error. Um, so that I can provide feedback to the, um, add-on creators. Uh, so I can help them fix it, because I'm, you know, my, my mantra is feedback, feedback, feedback. If they don't know that it's broken, they can't fix it. Um, so I'm having no Lua errors. Zero. Because they would be showing up if I did. Um, Hey, Murray, how are you going? You must not be interrupted. Ick, Welcome take care back. of them. Wait, stop. Don't kill me, please. I'll tell you everything. Why should Aye. the Banshee Queen spare your miserable life? Your Sway. pursuit shall be in vain, intruders. Still oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, I hydrate. I need that. gain entry. Now, within the halls of reflection, you Back to bubble tea. find Frostmorn. It, uh, mm -hmm. it holds the truth. Well, I hope you had a lovely time. The Leech King is never without his Welcome blade. back. If you are lying to me. I, swear, I, swear I hope your coffee is delicious and all that you need it to be. Wonderful time. Oh, good. That's so good to hear. You will not reach the entrance. Uh, have you been? Yeah, not too bad. So not too bad. Um, there's been a lot of prep work this weekend. Um, we did a fair bit of cleaning and grocery shopping and meal planning and stuff. Uh, because I have surgery on Monday. Uh, my dental surgery to get the implant into the jawbone. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be much help in terms of housework and stuff for, for a week or so. So uh, we did all the cleaning and, and uh, got all the food and all that kind of stuff for the week so that um, Jas doesn't have to like carry too much of the weight if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, no, it was it was good. We've got a very clean house or clean apartment at the moment I should say, uh, which is fantastic. It feels really nice to like, it's just clean. <laughs> Not quite like inspection levels of clean, but close to it. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, we've got a fridge full of food and, and soups and soft squishy things. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it being done. Like, uh, I'm not, obviously I'm not looking forward to the, to the surgery. It's a little bit, I'm a bit nervous, uh, but I think that's normal. I think if I wasn't nervous, I'd be a bit concerned, but, um, I'm really looking forward because this is the second one and the last one. So I don't no no more surgery after this one. So it'll be really good to just um to be done. It'll be good to be done. Looking forward to that. That is the sound of your Ah, do paladins drink bubble tea? If I am a paladin, as you all seem to think that I am, then yes. Because <laughs> I certainly drink it. I do see the joke you're making with bubble because the bubble yeah, good. Brilliant. Ah oh, dear. Uh, because well, me too. I'm sure it will. Um, my my surgeon is very very I'm not good. Paladin, uh... Um, and it, like yeah, everything went really smoothly last. Hey, awesome! Another one off the list. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm confident that it'll go great. Um, I'm just not looking forward to the cannula because I hate needles. Uh, I am, however, looking forward to the enforced sleep. Pump stuff in my arm, I pass out. And that's it. <laughs> All we know of your deeds and the blazing oh, path of light. You cut through the shadow of this darkness. <laughs> yeah. So I said, no, if I am, as you lot seem to believe. I said, if I am. No foe, not even the Lich King himself, can stand. Take cover behind me quickly. Set aside their differences and. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, so V is flagged as AFK, um, in the Loot Appraiser, and I've done a fair few runs of this. I think I might be done with him for today. I know there's still 12 minutes on the timer, but I'm just, I'm over it. So, I think I might, I might see that all. Let me grab my data and see what the next thing will be. The next thing's worse, maybe I'll stay here.
Okay. Ah. Uh. So I need to zone out and see who has Winter Grasp at the moment. Because the next thing on my list is back to Druid in VOA. I knew I should have run all the Druids. Uh, Stoll, Koala, Bjorn, Draz, Fairy, Meaty, and Spam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. What's they do it? Bowers, their bubble. Paladin, Spy Mages both turn into ball of blinding stuff. I mean, look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Ah, uh, tablets is weird at the moment. It seems to double certain pieces of text. Oh, that is strange. That is strange. I found lately when I do, you know when you do like Windows full stop, how it brings up the like emoji thing in like wherever you're typing. Um, so when I do that in Discord and I click one to drop it into, it doubles it only in Discord though. It's really strange. What am I, what do I actually need to do? Cause I've done a few quests. <clears throat> Lang, well done. Something buffer for life. Oh, wait, hang on. Did you just get it then, Jack? I could have sworn you were flying around with me at some point. That's hilarious. I need to kill armored units. Okay, so I think... down a burb. No, okay. <laughs> okay. If you insist, give me a minute. I have to turn it on. Everyone can blame Murray for this. Activated. Uh, it's the the high pitched squeaky ones tend to. There's a couple of people who I'm I'm not sure if it's just like a, an audible thing or whatever, but that's the time. <laughs> but there you go. No fear. Okay, what happened to you guys? Hi Sam. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, every, every time I turn the mic on, we always end up with someone coming in like, what's wrong with your voice? What happened to your voice? What's, what's with your microphone? And it's like, yeah, well. I have a blue microphone, the Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition microphone, and part of the World of Warcraft Edition bit of it, um, apart from a couple of things on the outside of the microphone, which are just beautiful in terms of just art, um, it comes preloaded with a bunch of Warcraft voice modulator effect things. Uh, and one of them is this one, which is Gnome. There's also Gnome Extreme and Blingtron, which is like Gnome Extreme on crack. Uh, <laughs> but it is a lot of fun. It's super cute, especially like if you're uh, if you have someone who plays D and D and you're like a DM um, who you know likes to do different voices for for different characters and stuff like that. It kind of it can help expand your repertoire to voices that you can't produce physically. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It is a fantastic microphone as well. Just like as is, without all the fancy stuff as well. It's a great mic. Really, really good. Um, no B. What do you mean? This is my normal voice. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Headphones just had one wonky out. <laughs> Hello, Icy Lemons. Welcome on in. How are you today? Oh gosh, how do I always manage to zone in when something's actually happening? Uh, Alright, let's land and I'll land a hearth, and it's still horde defending, so I'm gonna. Oh, we're good. Uh... There we go. Fixed. Oh, we're gonna hop on a druid. Stick with the fear voice much later. Oh, God. Oh. 
I mean, I don't, I don't like the sound of my own voice normally, but I, I don't know how I'd feel if I sounded like that. Like, zero offense meant to anyone who has a, a different voice than I do, but I just, I'm not sure I could do it. Good lord. That's, um, hmm. Fun times. Uh, okay, so, where's my, there we go. There's another druid, because I'm already locked on my original druid. Oh dear. Oh, I have no add-ons on on this one. It's been a while since I've been on it. Whew. I've gotten so much sleep over the last few days. Like, so much ridiculous sleep, but like, somehow I'm still exhausted. I guess my body just needs it. Maybe I'm like really, really, really sick. Maybe I'm having a flare up. It's a scary thought. A flare up while I'm recovering from surgery sounds terrifying. Well, oh, hopefully. Hopefully I'm okay. Only one way to find out. It's to keep on keeping on. Two hours in the last 48. Um, I had a full night's sleep last night, and then a full night's sleep the night before. Like, I, it, do, it didn't feel- like, I'm still tired, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm still exhausted. Uh, but I also had like a six and a half hour nap yesterday, and like, I just- I can't seem- I, I cannot get energy. I just cannot seem to get any energy whatsoever. Uh, which is kind of, honestly, pretty scary, especially considering I'm about to go into surgery recovery. <laughs> like, I'm... I, I don't... I don't want to, like... Oh, anyway. Can't really do much about it now. I just have to kind of hope for the best. But... Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, I'm, I'm not well can't figure out what type of not well I am. There are so many different types and I'm really sick of trying to figure out which one it is. <sighs> I'll figure it out eventually. I'm sure someone listening hasn't already considered following Fear on socials. Yes, do. Please do. Thank you so much, Seeker, for your support. I appreciate you very, very much. Uh, what kind of surgery? I'm having a dental implant put in. Uh, it's my second surgery. I had the first one was uh, to take out the dead tooth because it was all below the gum line. So it was a complex extraction. At least that's what it said on my bill. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they had to do a bone graft because they were like, you know, to make sure there was enough bone there for the implant to be held onto properly. Um, so, yeah, um, that was five-ish months ago now uh, and now so I'm going in for the second one for them to actually put the titanium implant into the jaw um, so it's not it's not open heart surgery it's not brain so it's not like a major surgery but it's still enough that it's gonna throw my body you know does does that make sense I hope I hope it does um, it's still gonna I'm still going to have to recover and it's still gonna feel like crap <laughs> No, too far. Go back. What are you? No. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's tomorrow. Um, I am both looking forward and not looking forward to it. But I'm sure that makes sense. Um, I'm looking forward to it being done and having the work finished and having, you know, functional mouth and all that kind of stuff is going to be great. Uh, but I'm also not really looking forward to surgery. <laughs> Uh, I go to costume yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'll be alright. Sometimes and feel free to make an effort. I don't want to invalidate anything in the stream. See anybody knows it's gonna undergo a trauma. So it stocks up on us beforehand. I've had it happen to my surgeries in the past. No, really? Huh? Okay. Um, because see, this is the thing. I've only had 
Like, I, I haven't had much surgery at all in my life. Knocking on wood because I haven't needed it and I don't really want to in the future. You know, the, the fewer surgeries I have in a lifetime, probably the better. Um, but yeah, I've never really... Like, I've, I've had wind up to to knowing I'm going to hurt or whatever. Like, when um, doing the autoimmune meds was, like, EpiPen format. Like, stab in the thigh and it did the medication and then you pull it away and toss it sort of thing. Um, and I'm definitely afraid of needles. Like, no, absolutely not. So doing that was... Whew, that was hell. Um... And so I'd get, but but instead of like stocking up on rest, because of course it's only like a, you know, it only, the actual act lasts maybe 10 to 15 seconds and then it hurts for a little bit, but not very long. So the whole experience is probably only 10, 15 minutes total. Whereas this is like a proper surgery. So maybe my body's coping with it differently. Um, I know it certainly wasn't like this up before my first one, but I'd never had a surgery like that before. So maybe now, and I, and I know that after the last surgery, it took a full month, a full four weeks to, for me to feel, to me, for me to even begin to feel anything like myself. I felt like hell for a full four weeks. Um, I, I clawed myself out of bed and I, I got what I needed to get done, done, but I just felt like shit for a full month. Um, so maybe, yeah, maybe it does know that that's coming. And so it like quite potentially, I hadn't actually thought of that. Um, but of course our body knows what's coming because we know and we are our body. So, huh. I hadn't actually thought of it that way. Maybe. Um, but my surgeon did say that from the reports from his patients they've all like he said it's pretty much like 99% of them say that recovery from the second one is a lot easier like a lot easier and faster um, than recovery from the first one so I am excuse me I am really hoping really 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 hoping uh, that that's how we go because I can't afford to be screwed from up <laughs> that's a really interesting perspective it makes sense like it makes logical sense oh dear oh we're stocking up on soup must be time for surgery <laughs> uh, see you in a week yeah so my next planned stream is on friday so i'm taking uh tomorrow off because tomorrow is usually a stream day but it's surgery day so no um here and then I'm taking Wednesday off as well, just to give myself, you know, time to rest and stuff, rather than having to sit up for however long. Um, on Friday, we're going to do the 9.2 story because the next chapter is releasing on Wednesday, but I'm taking Wednesday off. So I'm going to do it on Friday. So I'm doing it with you guys anyway. Um, that stream will probably not, because I usually stream for six hours. Um, that stream probably won't be a six hour stream. Um, I'm going to do the 9.2 story. That's what I'm committing to. I'm going to do the story. And then we're gonna, ooh. Hey, actually something new. Look. Oh my goodness. Uh, and then if I'm feeling up to it, I might continue on for a little bit. I'm not, like, we'll just, we'll see how I go. Uh, I'm just gonna listen to my body and, and do what it tells me to. Uh, and then on Sunday, so this day, like today, but in a week, um, we're going to do some Chef Squad. Uh, because we had a lot of fun last time we did that, but it definitely seemed to lend itself to a shorter stream rather than a longer one. Uh, so we're going to do that and we're just, again, I'm just going to see how I go. I'm going to stick around for as long as I feel comfortable doing so. And when I start to get a bit sore or a bit tired or whatever, I'm going to cut her off there. Um, I'm hoping that by the 28th, come Mount Farm Monday, I'm hoping that I'll be back to my six hours, but I'll just, I'll see how I go. Um, if I have learned anything through having an autoimmune condition, it is listen to your goddamn body. She knows what she's doing. Like, <laughs> um, like if you notice something a little bit hinky, listen. Uh, but yeah, so that's um, that's kind of how I'm gonna roll it. Hundred percent. It's nerve-wracking. A few sessions in the past. Currently, about four or five in the last ten years. Because you know how much experience your body's adapting to worst-case scenarios. I can imagine. 
Is it actually a thing? <gasps> it was a new one! Ah, uh, I'm- ooh. Ooh, and it's currency as well. So I need to hold on to that one. Where's that one? Sanctified la Lasher Weave Leg Plates. Oh, that's the one. So they're the normal ones and then I can get like the heroic version with the upgrade piece from um, Person Person. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to those. Oh my god, I got the mount. I'm so sorry. I'm like, what is this in my bags? Why does that look like a mount? It is a mount. I got the mount. I already have the mount. Uh, sorry to those who don't. Uh, <laughs> oops. Um, it's the first you mentioned the last surgery was traumatic accessibly. So yeah, everybody's in panic mode and stocking up. Yeah, fair. Fair point. Fair point. Do I invalidate anything? No, 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 of course not. Of course. Out of curiosity, because I'm kind of sitting here like, what could you possibly be invalidating? Like, you're telling me this might be why you're feeling the way you are, not you aren't feeling that way. Although, like, that's, that's kind of, to me, invalidating is you're worried about nothing. It's fine. You shouldn't be worrying about this. Whereas you're saying you are experiencing what you're experiencing. It is valid. And this might be why so how do you think it might be invalidating just to help me learn other people's perspectives not because I'm like what are you talking about it's like I'm, I'm trying to learn <laughs> and that was a new piece of transmog as well holy shit I did really well that run <laughs> I did really well so just for yes that's so soon I know it's actually um about 12 hours away about uh, around 12 hours from now is my admission time, which means it's when they take me into the back room and, and plug me into the, the needles and put me in a hairnet and uh, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. I had to ask for an extra blanket last time because I was freezing. Um, but yeah. Um, boom, thank you, Salt Ink from chat. Ah, uh, so you have the mammoth mouth. Was that drop irrelevant? I love it, Nab. That makes me so happy. That is a fantastic. Yeah. Yes, it was irrelevant. Correct. The hell was that? Uh, okay. Um, how did I go with? Uh, the only issue with this data importation thing is I need to jump back to Phelan to get the correct datas. Um, uh, plug me into the needles. Yeah, I know. Look, but it's like, plug me in, to me, sounds a whole lot better than stab me, personally. Just a, just a personal feeling. Um. <laughs> oh, it might be invalidating because you have an understanding of your symptoms better than mine. That would imply you were worried for nothing. Oh, okay, people do a lot to me when I talk about being worried about my symptoms or chronic pain. Oh, okay. I understand. Thank you for the explanation, Lucky. I appreciate that. But no, not at all. I, like, honestly, like, so there are definitely, like, bits and pieces like, with my autoimmune and stuff like that that I, I, know what you're, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Um, like, you know, when I'm, when I'm talking about, oh, I, I have this concern because I have this weird thing here and it's like, oh, you know, that's just part of getting older, honey. You're going to get some aches and pains. I'm like, yes, but I have autoimmune arthritis and ache and pain might be my autoimmune condition advancing. Or it might just be me getting older, or I might have pulled a muscle. Like, I, I don't know. I would like to find out. <laughs> um, so I, I totally understand where you're coming from. But no, I think what you what you explained and how you explained it was incredibly well put. Uh, and no, it absolutely made sense. And you you've, were very careful to frame it as this is how I've had experiences from my surgeries specifically. And so, do you know what I mean? Like, it... it it helped connect those points for me. So no, I think you did a really great job at, at, um, at, I'm trying to think of like the, the, the reverse of invalid, like uninvalidated. And then I'm like, no bitch, it's just validated. Like <laughs> you just take off the in, you numpty. So yeah, look, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Shush. Uh <laughs> oh God. So remember how I was saying that thing about how I needed sleep? <laughs> I'm gonna drag you away. Yep. 
This is my anxiety, yeah, of course. No, absolutely. I need to take many, many, many selfies before, while, and after the surgery. Turn that suffering into content. I mean, I have to get Jas to take some photos. I asked him the other day. I said, when you, when you picked me up from hospital last time, I remember being really chatty. But, like... I, because I'm usually, I'm usually quite chatty. I'm usually quite vocal. And Jas and I have really great conversations. But I distinctly, re I don't remember what we were talking about because I very rarely remember anything like that. Like it's not, that's nothing new. It's not because of the drugs. It's just my brain. Um, but I don't really remember. I, what, what I do, what sticks out in my mind was that the conversation was very one-sided. I remember talking a lot. Not necessarily quickly, like I usually do, but I remember talking like a lot. And I was like, so was I like, I was really chatty last time, wasn't he? He was like, yes. I said, did I do hilarious things? And he was like, <laughs> I'm like, good, wonderful. I don't remember any of it. I do not remember any of it. Um, uh, not be, again, not because I was on drugs, um, but because I, I just don't remember little details like that, unless it's like I'm trying to plan something. Speaking of which, sorry, I need, I'm so excited. You have no idea. <sighs> um, but yeah, so I, I'm expecting that I will probably be a little yammery this time as well, unless somehow I just get completely knocked out. I might get that cross stitch somewhere in bitch. It's just validating. Yeah, <laughs> go for it, go for it. I had a bad reaction to the green whistle once to the point I don't allow myself to use Discord until the painkillers are out of my system. Otherwise, every Discord I'm in gets to know exactly how I feel about them. Usually, it's happy heart filming. Oh, embarrass normal me. Yeah, look, I I didn't really do so. I did have a bit of trouble focusing on my phone. Um, I do remember kind of going to do something and being like, I think it was like I was going to go text mum to let her know I was alive or something. Do you know what I mean? Like to let her know I was out of surgery. And I kind of went, oh, um, I'm not great with phones in cars anyway. I get motion sick, like a lot, um, like really quickly too, like really quickly. Uh, so there was already that, but then I was kind of a bit sort of as well, if you know, if you know what I mean. So I, I ended up like when we got home, um, I, I think I did it then, but yeah, no, it was, uh, I, I don't think I'd be a actually capable in any way, shape or form of, of using Discord. Um, but I didn't have, um, I've never had a green whistle. I've never had a green whistle, uh, which is good. I guess it's a good thing because I've never needed one, right? That's a good thing. So thing that I'm really, 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 really excited about. Um, there's a concert that's been announced. And uh, a while back, like we, I've I've had conversations because you know Jas and I we live together we're best mates and I have lots of conversations with Jas and one of the things that I'd learned about him over the years was that he's never been to a a music thing a live music event uh, no concerts no festivals nothing like that um, so I was like okay right well I said if like my the I've been to a few. I've, I've been to a few, not not loads, like it's not a big part of my life like it is for some people, which I, I totally understand though, because it's great. Um, but live music is amazing in a lot of different ways. Uh, and one of the best concerts I've ever been to, um, Amber asked him to take me back for an ice cream on the way to the hospital and then critiqued his driving. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Um, something new I'm learning about Jas. Um, so one of the, like, so during this conversation where I discovered that he, he had never been to, to anything live music, I said, one of the best concerts I have ever attended, like I've been to Soundwave. Um, I've done, uh, Soundwave a couple of times. I did, fu not future. Oh yeah, I did future music. Um, they were like, I, I did a few things back when I was in uni. I went to a few different uh, festivals and stuff because the group of people I was uh, friends with, um, all of them, all of them were very much into music. It was a core part of their being was the music that they, they identified with and stuff. And so they would go to these festivals and hell yeah, I'd go because it was part of the friendship thing. And, you know, I, I could afford to. And it was great fun. I absolutely loved it. But one of the best shows I have ever 
been to is Ed Sheeran. 2018, I think it was. He is ridiculous. I, I will never forget um, the two, because they had two pre-show, two opening supporting acts. Um, one of them was Missy Higgins, and she announced that she was pregnant, and the whole stadium went wild, and it was fantastic. Uh, and I don't remember, it was like a group of people, a group of younger people was the, like, the first supporting act. I didn't get to see them, because the person who I was with, um, and who had the tickets didn't get there until Missy was on stage. Um, but, like, it was just so good. <laughs> like, you know, you have the band, and the supporting acts, and all that kind of stuff, and then it's Ed, and it's just Ed. It's Ed, it's guitar, it's microphone, and it's loop pedal, and that's it. And he's just the most talented, like, it's, it should be illegal how talented this kid is. Well, I don't think he's a kid anymore. He's married with a child, uh, which just blows my mind. But yeah, so, um, the other day, <laughs> I was browsing the interwebs. I knew, I knew, I knew he was going to be coming out at some point for his new album prequels and I was I was searching something else and it's like people also search for Ed Sheeran I'm like why is he so up on so far up on the recommended at the moment oh shit he had COVID right has something happened he, he had co he was COVID positive a little while ago I just remember seeing it somewhere um and I because I'm on like the mailing list and stuff because I'm like if he ever came back out here I want to see him He's got his Australian dates up. So I'm taking Jazz to see Ed Sheeran. <laughs> and it's not till next February and I don't care. Um, I am just so unbelievably excited. And guess when the tickets go on sale? While I'm in surgery. <laughs> um, uh, the pre-sale, the, the, the pre-sale goes up while I am in the theater being operated on. So uh, I have shown Jess how to make the, like this is, you know, we made him an account so he can place the order. Um, and and I've shown him the map of Suncorp and like, this is where I'd prefer to sit and this is how much it's all gonna cost and blah, 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 blah. So he's gonna buy the tickets. And so I'm gonna come out of surgery and I'm gonna have Ed Sheeran tickets. So <laughs> I am so excited. I'm so keen. So keen. Um, I thought that would be amusing to them. Yes, I used to copying abuse of a really smiley giggle story. Yep. And what a dinger story. But he knew you were going to say Ed Sheeran. Of course he did, because you know me well, Seeker. You know me well. Ah, uh, yes, Ed Sheeran. Love the new song. Which one? <laughs> Which one? His whole, his whole, uh... What's it? His whole new album came out just a little, a few months back. Uh, I hope so flowers next week to apologize, but they were out, yeah. Oh dear, only the coolest kids get the panini, apparently. This would be a cracker, is he playing Suncorp? Suncorp's the only place in Brisbane big enough to hold him. Not only is he playing Suncorp, not only is he playing Suncorp, he's playing Suncorp in the fucking round. That's how many tickets they need. I hope it's as good as you're hoping. It will be. It it will be. I guarantee. So last time I saw him, back 2018, this was the Divide Tour. And I think it was the Divide Tour. I'm pretty sure. I've got the ticket somewhere. <laughs> like I've got the, the physical ticket somewhere around here. Um, and he obviously did Shape of You. Um, because it was the hit uh, of, of the thing. Um, but the way, because Ed plays pretty much, his whole thing is him. Uh, and it's just with a loop pedal. So he he makes some percussive sound with part of his guitar. Like he taps on the, the body of it in, in a rhythm and then he hits his loop pedal and then it plays whatever he's done as the tappy thing over it, like on repeat. And that's his bass line kind of. So he builds on his own stuff like that. And so what would happen is while he's on stage, he'd start tapping out a rhythm and then he'd hit his loop pedal and then he'd start doing something else or he'd lean over into the mic and, and hum a few bars and then tap the loop pedal again. And, and, and so he layers and layers and layers and layers this song and about two thirds of the way through you go, oh, I know what this is. And then he starts singing and the whole stadium joins him because they know exactly what song it is because he's been adding it, he's been building the song. So Shape of You, he, he did the whole thing. And as he was supposed to be going into the bridge, um, 
you know, come on, be my baby, come on, that, that bit, the, the bridgey bit. As he's meant to be going into that, and the whole stadium kind of starts, he ad-libs a whole goddamn verse. And we're all just sitting there like, what is this? Where has this come from? <laughs> and it just, like, obviously everyone went wild, but like, it was, it, he's a creator. He's, he's, and I mean, and no shade to anyone who produces any kind of music, but it's not like someone has written something and given it to him and he's played the riff and then given the voice and then everyone else has kind of mixed it for him. As he does the whole bloody thing himself. And that's just, that is a talent that I'm not sure. Like there's obviously there are skills in there. You know, you learn to play guitar. Singing is a skill you can train. Even if you are absolutely trash at singing, you can train your voice. It is a skill, but there are some things that are just talent that you can't teach. And I don't know what they're called, but I reckon he's got a couple of them somewhere because it, ju it, it just, it's different. You know, of all the bands and all the solo artists and all that kind of stuff that I've seen through all these different uh, festivals and stuff like that, there's, there was just something different about his concert. It was just him and his fans and the music. It wasn't this big showy, I don't know. It, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, the show is sometimes phenomenal. I mean, goddamn, look at some of the Britney stuff or Pink. Holy cow, the show is part of it. But for, it, it's, there's something different. I don't know, there's something just a little bit different, which is why I think I, I love his music so much. Um, but yeah, it's, he's just, he's very, very talented and very, very skilled. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, are the tickets nominal or can they be scalped and resold? No, they can't be scalped or resold. Uh, they can be resold, they can't be scalped. How come you always go to the really negative stuff, Nab? Like, instead of, like, what did you like about the concert, or, you know, what, when is it, or even how much of the ticket, how come you've gone straight to, like, can people do shitty stuff? Like, why have you gone straight for negative? Um... Concert... Which wife told me? Not be a single. They were wrong. Um, it's, a, it's so cool. It was very cool. Genius to it. I enjoy most, I think. It's, that, yeah, there's just something real special about... I mean, listening to the music is one thing, but watching it be recreated live in front of you... Like, literally... Literally nothing. Silence. Tapping out a drum beat on a guitar, and then strumming a riff to to lay that down, and then a different guitar tune to put on top of that, and then leaning over and humming for a different part of the track, and then singing like you know you know when you hear music and it's one it's one artist but there's like a high bit and a low bit, so leaning over and singing the high bit, and then when that high bit has to come in in the song stepping over and tapping on that particular pedal to make it play so that he can sing the low bit under it and then tapping it off again when he knows it needs to for the song. Like, it, there's just like, that's, that's knowing your work inside and out, you know? It's not just knowing your part and then to stop playing here and let someone else do their drum solo. It, it, it just, there's, there's something about that. And so once, you know, once you see that happen live, now when I hear his music, I'm trying to pick the different layers and figure, like, you know, figure out how he's done each bit and stuff. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's really, it's a, it's a really interesting way of making music, honestly. Uh, Fade, Zem, Koala, V, Dunno, Bjorn, and Seeker. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Well done. Oh, skin chest. It's not the first battle of the day now. Good. Hopefully we can knock it over and get you guys some skins. Uh, that's okay, so I still need to kill stuff. So let's drop that down and see if that helps. Cool. Um, Mystic 
person and you aren't the only person to wonder that. Always imagining the worst. Um, it might be a good idea to, like, even if you do imagine the worst, going and finding it out for yourself rather than asking a super negative question or, or expressing the pessimist opinion when someone's clearly really goddamn excited about something. Just a, a thought. Because, like, I don't know, being, like, so excited, like, this thing is going to happen and I can't wait for it to happen. It's been, it'll, it'll be, like, five years since I've been to this thing and blah, 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 blah. Oh, can people do shitty things with the tickets? Well, thank you so much for knocking the wind out of my sails. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, but no, if you Google pretty much any venue in Australia, it's nothing's, it's all digital tickets now. If you want a paper ticket, like a collectible thing, you have to pay for it. You have to pay extra. Everything's digital. So you cannot scalp because it's connected to your Ticket Tech account to try to give that ticket to somebody. You have to give them your, your Ticket Tech password. It's just, it's impossible. If you Google that, like, you know, Australia ticket reselling or something like that, you'll, you'll see that pretty quick. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just a thought to have, you know. Intimate musical experience, less big stadium, more small pub, which was Ed Sheeran's roots. Of course, of course. I mean, it is still a bloody big stadium, <laughs> like for realsies. Um, but it's yeah, I am I am just so excited. I knew he was coming, and I'm on the bloody mailing list. I don't know why I didn't get the email. I'm kind of salty about that, um, but I noticed in time, and uh, and Jas is kind enough to, to to set everything up and actually make purchase of the tickets uh, while I'm under, which is really really great of him, uh, and I'm I'm so keen, I'm so excited. Honestly, if you like, if you enjoy his type of music, because I know not everyone does, I get that that's totally okay. But if you enjoy his music, uh, and you have the cash and you're like, it, not gonna lie, the tickets are expensive. They're not cheap. Um, Mum gave me some money for my birthday, uh, and so I and she specifically said you are not allowed to spend this on your dentistry or on groceries or rent. Or <laughs> uh, and so that's what I'm spending on the tickets. Um, I'm I'm buying them as my my birthday present. I just can't use them until after my next birthday, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, so that's, that's where that's coming from. But yeah, if, if you have the money and you can justify spending that kind of money, the, the cheapest tickets are 89.90, uh, Australian, but they're like, <laughs> they're, they're so far away. Um, and then there's a tier that's 119.90, um, which is not bad. Uh, and then there's a tier which is 149.90. And then of course your, your A reserve. 189.90 and so we're going for B reserve which is the 150 ones um because it's it's close enough well and truly close enough um three times in a night
Yeah, it's, um... This is the problem with streaming. Like, a lot of it won't come through. So, basically, you're going to be getting... It'll either be stuck on 400, like, 480p, or you'll have buffering every half a second, or it'll just splat. Um, my, my stream, like, Twitch says my stream is unstable. Like, it's red. Big red bar that says unstable. 700 bit, uh, 700 bit rate. 2100. 2300. 1500. 1400. 1900. 600. 2200. 900. That's how unstable my bit rate is. I, like, I'm reading that off as it's updating. It's fucked. It's got nothing to do with flood damage this year. We don't have flood damage here. If we had of, I would have been having this issue constantly since the floods. Come on. It's not flood damage. Um, yeah, the only- the unfortunate thing with restarting is because I'm- because I'm, uh, recording things to put on YouTube, when I stop- it records- it records an MKV. And when I stop recording, it starts remuxing it to MP4 so that I can edit it and put it up on YouTube properly. The moment I hit stop streaming, it'll stop the recording and start remuxing. It may, automatically. I can't stop that from happening. Which means that if I try to start stream back up again, it's going to be trying to remux a fucking video in the background while while streaming. It's not going to work. It'll, it'll turn everything to shit. Um... Uh, it's got nothing to do with Jazz, Invan. Um, it, it has nothing to do with Jazz. We have an NBN connection. He he plays constantly while I'm playing, while I'm streaming. It doesn't matter. It it shouldn't matter. It's got nothing to do with that. Wow, is perfectly fine. It's at the moment it's just OBS. It's dropping frames like crazy. 80% dropped frames currently. Uh, and it, it just can't, it can't anything. Uh, WoW is perfectly fine. It's, it's like the internet dropped, but it can't figure out how to reconnect it properly. Uh. Yeah, it's just really fucking frustrating. still counting. It's still, the, the drop frames are still being ridiculous. Um. I've had an idea. It's going to disconnect. I'll be right back. <laughs> I fixed it. I really need to pee. I'm gonna be back and then I'll explain what I did.
Boogie Town. Want some of my jungle love? Stay a while and listen. Yes, listen to Fia's story time. So, when I said it was like it had disconnected from the internet um, and then reconnected, but OBS had kind of, oh, excuse me, missed the reconnection somewhat. Like it couldn't figure out exactly what it was doing. And so I had a trash connection. Um, I don't want to reset, like, what, what do you do when the internet's broken? You restart the router. Um, but I didn't want to restart the router, and I couldn't restart because Jas is using the internet as well. That's not fair. Um, he's in the middle of stuff as well, and uh, I can't restart OBS because the it'll screw with the recording and all that kind of stuff. So I unplugged my own PC from the router. Just just my cable. Internet's fine. Wireless is fine. Just unplugged my PC. Counted to ten. Stuck it back in again. OBS disconnected. Attempted to reconnect. Did it successfully. Bam! We're back in track. Um, the odd thing is, you know, the, the, st the standard is you count to 10, right? And I did that, and OBS disconnected. WoW didn't. <laughs> WoW kept me logged in. WoW must have, like, a really good tolerance for a disconnect. Like, it, it kind of, unless you're mid-combat, obviously. <laughs> Um, but it must have a really good kind of, it gives you a minute before it screws you over kind of thing. I'm pretty impressed with that. Not gonna lie. Uh, so I have to do VOA again, uh, but this time on the Paladin. So I'm hoping that I can, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah. This one. Just switch it. It's just OBS. You need to watch videos. Mess around. Switch it. Is it like a disconnection? Gives you time to come back. I don't know what bouncing a router does. This one's not made of rubber. Um, I, <laughs> I'm not that good. I'm okay. I'm pretty good with computers, but I'm not. I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm not a network engineer. Uh, basically, <laughs> uh, I just yanked the cable and, and put it back in again. Uh, count to ten, as per always. Um, but yeah, that, that seemed to work just fine. Um, but yeah, it's not Twitch, it was OBS specifically. Because WoW was working fine, and Twitch only gives me the unstable thing because OBS is sending it an unstable stream of data. So all Twitch knows is what's it be, what it's being given by OBS. So OBS had the connection issue. The problem with that is that if I tried to restart OBS, it would cause graphic issues when I tried to boot it back up again for the rest of stream. Um, because of the remuxing and, and whatnot. So, yeah, but yeah, yanking the cable from the router, my cable from the router sound uh, seemed to work pretty well. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely going to be uh, letting Dad know that this is still happening because this is his this is his router, um, or his old one, I should say, uh, that he gave me when my other one started dying. So um, hopefully he'll be able to direct me towards something that might indicate whether or not it is the router or if it's actually the internet having the dropouts, like the ISP. Uh, but yeah, if anyone's gonna know how to figure that out, it'll be my father, because he's freaking awesome, and he's been who I go to with this stuff forever. Um, got bitten by an ant on my pinky toe later. Oh no, dupe! I'm so sorry to hear that. That sucks. Did you fix it? Yep, cable yank. Patient's reset. Oh no! Oh, green ant bullet. Oof, yowch. Howie. Uh, well done, Jazz. It's pretty decent. Right? It's pretty awesome. Must have a long time out. That's what I was thinking, Duster, and welcome on in. Lovely to have you here. Um, that's what I was thinking. It must have a pretty decent time out, unless you're in the middle of combat, in which case you have to have that split second time, and so it can recognize that you need 
or what's it. But yeah, it, it didn't DC me. Uh, which honestly makes sense because when I'm sitting here talking to you guys, I won't know that OBS is gone because it doesn't make a sound or anything like that. It just disconnects. Um, and I'm assuming that's because if it made a sound, it'd be captured on the recording, which would be a problem and da 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 da. So um, what ends up happening is I'm sitting here talking to you and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I've disconnected from WoW. And then I look over and as I look over, OBS reconnects itself. Like that's how long it's been out. So WoW does have a pretty lengthy, um, uh, what's it? A, a timeout. Yeah, it's got a pretty lengthy timeout. Um, should we be back anyway. No need. Did DC her? Yeah, look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's been nice ones. Blizz is amazing, honestly. They're, they've been really, really kind to us as a community. Um, yeah. <laughs> They've been incredibly generous with us, so. Yep. Um. Just in WoW, well, let's fair play WoW without internet connection. No, I feel like if I had tried to cast anything or do anything, it would have locked up. Um, but I was just standing there, so it, it wasn't doing anything. Um, bouncing normally means rebooting. Ah, so bouncing normally just means turning it off and on again. Right. Um, so picked it up from him. Yeah, so the reason I didn't want to turn the router off is because Jas is using it too. He's playing WoW. He's in a dungeon. I don't want to kick him out of a dungeon and risk him being booted from a group because I'm having an issue. That was why I was like, what else can I do? I'm like, oh, I can disconnect just me. That's how that works. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's that's what I ended up doing. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to restart it because I knew that if he had a connection, if he was running, then the, the router itself was fine. It's just my OBS cracking the shits. Uh, so I'm like, how can I affect just me? Yank my cable. And I have a different colored cable in the back of the router. They're all blue and mine's black. So I can just like pull the black cable out. I know it's just me. Uh, hello, Sean. Welcome back. Uh, this one's a guild run. Still, regardless, like I didn't know that. And I, I still didn't want to affect what you were doing. You know, it's consideration or something or being considerate. There we go. Oh no, of course, of course, and I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I just sometimes, I guess, it, it works better if I can explain, because then maybe if someone else is having an issue that's similar, um, I don't know, maybe I will have potentially been able to help somehow. Um, look. <laughs> Who knows? I'm entirely too tired. Um, mm hmm. Perfect. All right, so we're going Wrath. This is VOA, and it's on 25 player. Good. Let's go in and try to get some Transmog. Is Fear entirely too tired? Right. Consider it to jazz in this economy. Oh God, I try to be. I try to be. Like at the end of the day, if something's going absolutely haywire, this is my job. Whereas this is his leisure. So, like, after a discussion, my shit's gonna come first. It, it, it has to. Um, but, uh, you know, if there is a possibility that both of us get to do something, then absolutely, like, why not try to figure that out? Um, but if it got to the point where, yeah, the, the router was malfunctioning so seriously that there was extremely limited bandwidth, he gets that he would just have to find a non-internet game to play tonight or something. Um, but, like, I'm gonna try everything I can to let it not get to that point. Ah, uh, it's gracious. I need to pull the router, Jess, that's fine. Yeah, basically. Basically, nah, he's got, he's got quite a few, like, um, there are a few bits and pieces that he has that are not internet based. Um, but yeah, it's a. Uh, it's still a sucky decision to have to make. Ooh! Hey! Actual transmog. Thank you, Coralon. Eh. I'm clearly joking. You're waiting for a stop in the rain. <laughs> clearly joking. Jazz would never know. But it's still funny to think about. The problem be not with the router, but with the connection in your PC, like it's just a faulty connection. Um, unfortunately, no. Uh, we know that it's not just my PC, because when the dropouts happen, it affects both of us. 
both Jess and I, we lose, we both lose connection. Like I lose OBS, I disconnect from WoW and he disconnects from WoW as well. Um, so we know that it's apartment based, not individual. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, with this, this, this uh, situation in isolation, absolutely, that's, that's a me problem. You are 100% correct. Um, but with the previous DCs we've had as well, unfortunately it is a it is an all of us problem so it's either the router or the cables uh or the isp but yeah it's unfortunately not a uh no i wish it was a me problem that'd be a much easier fix just buy a new well okay depending on the piece it could be a really difficult fix depending on how expensive it'd be but um yeah unfortunately it is both of us um, I had, so I, the router we had before, um, I thought it was a router thing because it happened, it, it started happening, uh, it was happening every f like three or four days, then it started happening every two days, and then it was happening every day, and then it started happening multiple times a day. So it was a slow onset thing, and this was well before the floods, so it's absolutely not flood damage. This is, this has been going on for months, um, and I thought, well, hang on, I've had this router for about seven years now maybe the router's coming to the end of its life. Like, that makes sense, right? Tech has an expiry date. And seven years is a long while, uh, especially for a piece of tech. So I thought, okay, maybe that's the issue. So I asked Dad, I said, you know, do you have any recommendations for an NBN-capable router? Because this is an issue I've been having. And he said, well, I've got a router that I've just replaced. It's not, it's not old, um, but it is, it is used, but I've replaced it because I needed something that worked differently. Not something that worked better, something that worked differently. And so he boxed it up, found the power supply, he boxed it up, and he sent it to me. Uh, which was incredibly generous of him. Um, and so we plugged that in, and it's worked perfectly ever since. Until about three days ago. Um, in the last few days... We've started having more disconnects again, and it's gone, it's instead of happening every few days like, and then ramping up again, it's gone straight back to multiple times a stream. Um, so I don't, like, it could still be the router because it is a used router. It is older, it's a, it's a few years old. So it could still be that. But it could also be the ISP. Um, so my thinking is, if I talk to Dad again, he might be able to tell me something I can download for free somewhere from the internet that can take a log of the internet connection, but also the network connection. Because, um, you know, for, for those of you who have uh, set up home networks and stuff, you'll know that a network connection isn't necessarily an internet connection. Like if your net dies, like if there's an ISP uh, fault or there's an ISP like maintenance thing or something like that, you'll lose internet connection, but your computers can still talk to each other. You could still have a LAN party, you just couldn't play online, right? So what I'm hoping for is some kind of tracking program log what's it um, that can tell me what is breaking. Is it the internet dropping out or are both dropping out? Uh, and that way I'll have data that I can take to the ISP and say, hey, my router's perfectly fine. I've got this log here that shows perfect connection, but halfway through, the net's dropping out. What what gives? Um, but, I mean, I'm sure obviously they'd need to then go and run their own tests, but I don't really want to have to open a ticket with them unless I know it's their problem because of all the hoop jumping and, and stuff like that that it would require, especially considering while I'm doing this, I'm probably also going to be recovering from surgery. So, <laughs> so you know. Hmm... Enough when you pull the knowledge of spent, you think I know more given how much my family is involved in. Yeah, but I mean, it's just, it, that's your family though, it's not you, and you don't have to retain all this information because it's not your job, you know? So don't stress at all about that. Um, I've I've picked up a few, a fair few bits and pieces from my dad over the years, uh, as I assume that you have as well. Just not all of it though. <laughs> and honestly, I feel like maybe part of that's on purpose, right? Like they want to be able to be relied upon by, by the family. And so they don't give us all the info. I'm kidding. Um, I'm sure Dad would teach me everything he knew if I if I wanted him to, uh, and if I could retain it. Uh, good night, Gita. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, I am going to run through a couple of extra paladins just because, like, well, a and and paladin, um, because I want to try to get as much as possible before I move on. This one's the worst for AD support. Ah, uh, look, I mean. I had my first computer when I was two. 
I've I grew up with this stuff. Like we we have a home VHS tape, a home video on VHS, literally of me teaching my mother how to use MS DOS at two. Even if I didn't, even if I never ended up having an interest in computers, this stuff is in my blood. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't. Um, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm level one, may, maybe level two tech support. Maybe when my Google Foo allows me to be level two tech support. Um, but no, like, when, when mum's having issues, I, I will never, never forget. I, I'm, when I moved out of home, I moved straight to Sydney. Um, my parents live in Victoria. Um, they're, se they're separated since I was very, very young, uh, divorced. But um, so I lived with mum growing up and spent time with dad. Uh, and then when I moved out of mum's home in Victoria, I moved straight to Sydney. And uh, the first time I came home was three or four months after that. And I got home. Um, I'd been, because what, what would end up happening is, because uh, it'd be easier for, because dad lived closer to the airport. He'd pick me up from the airport and I'd stay with him for a few days. And then he'd drive me down to mum and I'd stay with her for a few days and then, you know what I mean? Um, so I, I, I got home and mum came out the door. She, she heard the car pulling up, so she came out the front door and she, arms out, Missy Moo, that's what they call me. Um, and she gave me a big hug and she said, I missed you, I love you. Can you put new music on my iPod? I kid you not. The exact three sentences in order with no pausing whilst hugging me the first time she'd seen me since I moved out of home. <laughs> because um, I had always been the one to put new music on her iPod. She had an iPod shuffle that she'd take to the gym with her. Um, and I, I'd always been the one to, to put new music on there. I wrote her a little guide on how to do it um, before I moved out, um, but she couldn't figure it out. And she'd asked my brother to, because he's younger. Um, and he was just like, no, uh, she gave you the things on how to do it. Just go do it yourself. And she just couldn't figure it out. And then she kind of got, I guess she kind of got fed up with it. And it was just like, oh, I give up, you know, um, like frustration from the older generation when they're dealing with tech. Yep. That. And so she had had, she's like, I've had the same music on for like three months and I want new music. I'm like, yep. Okay. Good Lord. Let me sit down. <laughs> Uh, Zam, Totti, Zem, Seeker, Bjorn, Thrug, Fade, and Spam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Oh dear. Um. Uh, my parent, I tell science, psychology, research, ran away from the tech stuff because math. I got over that because I now work in statistics. Young me was easily intimidated. Fair. Excuse me. Totally fair. No, I, um, I, I work in accounting. My day job is accounts, money, math, lots of math, but I speak numbers better than I speak English, so I'm fine with that. Husband is extremely professionally experienced in IT, will frequently, instead of helping me, send me a link to a let me Google that for you page, so I help myself before asking. Yeah. Yep. You provide all my level one and two support before escalating to, yep, yep. And that's, that's the big thing I find. Like, if you can go to somebody and say, this is what I have done, and run through a list of troubleshooting that you've done yourself, I feel like they're so much more likely to want to help. Because, I mean, especially, like, my, my experience with IT professionals is that they, like me, like puzzles. And so, if it's just, yeah, okay, I'll reset your password. Done. But if it's actually something tricksy where none of the usual tricks have worked, then it's kind of like, how, how do we fix this? Like it becomes a puzzle, you know, it's something, like something doesn't fit here. How do we make it fit? So, um, yeah, no, I, uh, I do my absolute best. Usually, usually what, how, how, a, uh, an IT help desk call goes with me is, hi, this is the issue that I'm having. I have done this, I have done this, I have done this, I have tried that, I found this when I did my Googling, I tried to do what that told me to do, but it needs an administrator password. Can you please put the admin password in so I can fix my own issue? And they're kind of like, 
yes. <laughs> like, so, and then they, you know, open up the, the team viewer thing and they pop in the thing and then they kind of watch me fix it. And they're like, okay, you didn't screw with anything you shouldn't have. And the problem is now solved. Good. I'm going to close that. Like, <laughs> I just, the, most of the issues I come across when I'm trying to figure out stuff with my work PC is I can't fix this myself because I don't have admin access. If it's at home, I can, I can do anything. I just have to, you know, it's the, it's the Google foo. It's the Google foo. Uh, biggest thing I picked up from the family was the term picnic. Problem in chair, not computer. The other one is, uh, what is it, pebcac? Problem exists between keyboard and chair. Yeah, I think that's it. Or chair and keyboard, depending on which way around you spell it. Uh, but yes, it's, uh, yeah, otherwise known as user error. Uh, at least user error is, like, really easy to kind of fix. <laughs> you just find an instruction manual and hand it off sort of thing. Oh, for God's sake. No, and it's doing the drop frames thing again. One last thing that I can try. Oh, camera's going weird as well. Uh, one last thing I can imagine trying before getting into contact with Dad. Um, but obviously I won't be able to test the consistent connectivity. Because uh, I just, I did the same thing then and I didn't DC either uh, from WoW again. So, um, but streaming, Twitch, is very touchy about, um, I'm in the wrong place. Okay, good. Um, Twitch is very touchy about a connection, but WoW isn't, so I won't be able to test my theory until, um, next Friday, but that's okay. I'm, I'm happy to, to do that, but I will still ask Dad if he knows of any programs to, to track that, because this is just, this is unacceptable. This is, this is my business. I need to be professional, and, uh, I, I don't. You bring me intense joy. I'm so pleased, Lucky. I'm so pleased. Oh! Oh, it's battle time again. Oops. That's okay. At least I'm still defending, so I can still go in and do VOA. And hopefully VOA is not the next thing on the list again. Only one way to find that out, though. Um, we're gonna have new decoration for chair. Chair's gonna have some new accessories soon.
that's which one. What's coming up in... Oh, handbag. <laughs> What's coming up in April, Zam? What world event might occur in in April? Children's stuff? No, that's May. Children's Week's in May. Noble Garden. Easter. I have some Noble Garden lights to put up. Dragon wings either side of it. It might be a little... So, the only issue with really big things like that is, um, like, actually storing the stuff and and because this is my bedroom this is this is where i work like my day job and all that kind of stuff so being able to move the chair around relatively easily is still kind of important unfortunately um but no i have so for lovers in the air we had a string of, of heart-shaped pink led lights um that we that i draped over chair to you know for the season excuse me and i've got ones that are Little bunnies and carrots for Noble Garden. Noble Garden! Yep. Egg shape. No, they're, yeah, bunnies and carrots. Super cute. They are adorable. And these ones are a bit different. The lights themselves are a bit smaller and there's more of them. But, um... The, with the heart-shaped ones, the wire between them was, is really soft and pliable and it's just kind of like floppy and whatever. But the Noble Garden ones, it's actually like wire that's like formable into shapes and stuff. So I'm like, I'm trying to think, I mean, obviously the weight of the lights means I'm not going to be able to do anything supremely extravagant. Um, but I'm, I'm very much looking forward to, to having a play with that. Hey! I got it a new one. Oh, as cool as big wings would be, I was imagining the tiny ones either side of the headrest. That would be cute. If you can find anything that might work on Amazon AU, drop it as a, a drop it as a gift suggestion on Throne, and I'll take a look. Maybe stick it on the wish list. Deary me. Amazing. Symbol and add to chair from behind. There is a there is a hat that has bunny ears attached that's on the wish list. Um and I'm feeling like the way that it'd work is that I'd be able to like strap it across and down here and then like attach it here so that the ears would, but I'm not sure that you'd actually be able to see the ears anyway. I'd have to tilt the camera quite a bit up. Um, and you know, having the camera cut off about here so you can see all of Cher's ears might be a little bit silly. I do have ears myself as well, although I'm not sure how they're gonna work with the headset. Maybe I have to use the other headset. <clears throat> Nothing from that one. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna hop on to Desi just to grab the appropriate data and update and see where we're going next. I'm willing to bet it's probably VOA on the shaman. <laughs> but we'll see. 
actually no. Hmm. This could be interesting, actually. I think it might be LBS. L LBRS. But we don't really have enough time to run another lack. It's okay. Go in and do a single run and see what I can get to drop. Blah. Hi. You need a drink? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. You alright? Yeah. How's your internet? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm thinking being down there might be a problem because like it's about twice that underneath and because it sits like that on the ground right that's right yeah. i'm reckoning that might be it but it's also got these babies maybe we get some books and actually hang it no, sticky 3m hooks not drill in the wall hooks <clears throat> right, I'm just grabbing data from this one. There's some weird stuff I regret every day. <laughs> oh lord, Amazon AU, Amazon.com.au is what you should be looking at. Um, they don't have as much stuff, but there's certainly still some weird stuff. Baby but hey, people need da, stuff. Da, 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 da. People need stuff. No judgments here. The names of things is what gets me. Um, okay, so what we do... Is we test one. Not only does fit... Do that and not now. <laughs> Sorry. After streams. Good call. Good call. I'm in Sydney, it's my default. Ah, gotcha. Nail hammer fixed rental. Nail hammer problem. Nail hammer in trouble. Yep, we're going to LBRS on the hunter. Um, you didn't like romance novel. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lord, having kids dragon wings should not bring up lingerie. Put it in in quotations. Cause it's searching for each of the individual words as well. That might be the problem. Maybe if you put it in quotes, it'll work better. Yeah, look, algorithm the search algorithms are weird. They're weird. Super weird. Stretch. Did I do that? I don't remember. I'll do it again anyway. Search Dragon Wings with a lot of shirtless guys and some book. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Ugh. <clears throat> Can I get to LBRS before the twelve minute time the, the thirteen minute timer for the battle is up? Can can we can we can we? <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe Search thinks you want to make some baby track. Oh no. Oh no. That's hilarious. Oh, far out. 
Um. That's just me. <laughs> Dragons. Ooh! Suggested gifts. Alright, it's down again. Uh, Nomragon. Nomragon. That's gonna get me killed. Turn. That's what that was. All right, let me have a look. Let me have a squiz. Be cool to have like a redemption that you know, share changes costume. They're cute. I will have I will have a better look later and see like because um so obviously there's the aesthetic which is fine I can see a photo that's cool it is a little photo so I'd like to see a bigger one but we'll do that later um then there's like what kind of attachments they have so that I can figure out like how would I attach them to chair will they be wide enough. To be seen beyond chair, all that kind of stuff. So I'll take some measurements and things like that. But I'll do that off stream because obvious things. And ah, I see. Thank you so much for the cheer. So generous of you. Thank you. Ah, uh, do you want some really pretty steampunk ones? Do more of my willpower not to buy than I thought it would look fair. Fair. I don't blame you for that at all. Oh, no, I should have to shoot now. You're in the middle of the show. Of course, of course. But just, I thought I'd let you know, like, the kind of process I go through. Because some people find it interesting, some don't, and that's totally fine. I, I respect that. Um, but yeah, I want to forget I have memory problems at the moment. No, I, I, yes, I feel you. I feel you wholeheartedly on that. Um, I do not think that I'm going to make it down, all the way down here, before that timer is up. I don't think I'm gonna get to zone into LBRS, but we will we'll see. We we will see. Really appreciate it. Of course, of course. Let's see if I can land at the next flight point and then just fly down like as the bird flies, or as the crow flies, like straight. Um So this is where I want to, that's where I want to go. Where's the next flat path that I'm going to set down at? Is it this one? Oh, but I don't have that one, so maybe I can't sit down there. <laughs> can't sit down there because I don't actually know the flight point. Perfect. 
It's going to cut across to here, maybe? Or... I do... Oh, this music is so nostalgic for me, though. My first character was a blood elf. Um... Uh, what's it? Blood Elf Mage. But then, like, I've leveled gnomes. And, like, my, my, so my first character was a Blood Elf Mage. I leveled her to 70. Uh, and then quite quickly after that, I switched to Alliance, but I you couldn't, like, transfer back then. You had to re-roll. And so I leveled as a gnome, but, like, going through, like, wetlands and all that kind of stuff, it just, yeah, I'm sure that a lot of you know the feeling. It's, um, it's certainly something. I don't have any of these flight points either. Thorium point might actually be the next one that I know. Oh no. That's right. Oh no, it's my main resin history. It's just kid stuff now because there's some really cool stuff on there. So we question my level of adulthood and nah, ask you that. Screw that. Kids get cool stuff. Kids get cool stuff to, like, inspire their imaginations and all this kind of stuff. Like, we have imaginations too, they're just repressed. <laughs> because we need to stop imagining and get to work and all that kind of bullcrap. I think it's a pretty special skill to be able to connect with your imagination without totally regressing to childhood, you know? Like, being able to be an adult, a functional contributing member to society and all that kind of stuff, while also being able to appreciate the imagination exploration that happens as a kid. At least in my opinion. I could be wrong. That's fine. Did you mention, did you see that we had two Lego streams? Like, is that a thing? Like, <laughs> I enjoyed them both very much. Very much, in fact. Very, very, very much. Try the style time. It is indeed. I'm a little bit salty that I'm missing because it only happens like every six months or so, right? Um, I'm a little bit salty that this is happening while I'm in a bee in recovery. Because apparently there are tokens that you win and you can exchange them for transmog, which I don't care about the transmog. What I care about is the completion. Um, so the next time Trial of Style rolls around, we're going to have to group up and we're going to have to, like, you know, jump in as as community groups to to check out what's going on and... Did see the Lego stream. Fantastic. Lego, look here. The Wicked Steampunk brace is nice. Awesome. Alright, let's fly straight and hope that it's faster. Twice a year? Yeah. Yup. That's okay. Um, next time it comes around, we'll, we'll have a trial of style stream or two. Because remember that this year is the year of the event. Um, I'm trying to clear out all the collectibles from all the events as they come along. And Trial of Style has collectibles and it's an event, so I want to get it knocked over, but I can't this round because I'm going to be, I'm going to be recovering. Should have if I listen to it. It's so important, of course, of course. Everything they do at home. Brilliant. I wish they'd add it to Dark Moon Fair. Oh, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. I guess it's supposed to be a little more exclusive than that. They do something for more farmers to care about as rewards. They do though, don't they? Like the reward is tokens that you can use to exchange for transmog. So if you're a mog farmer, you're going to be interested in transmog, surely. Is that not, like, I feel like that's an appropriate reward. Just like how, you know, pet battle world quests give you pet battle stones and bandages and yeah. Ah, uh, what was your map makeup was too worked out and had to see- Ah, oh, Swift Burgundy Wolf. I think it was what it was called. The one from Ice Crown. So I have two minutes to do an LBRS run. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's gonna happen. Oh, it's a BOE. I was like, why? It's not on account mode. Why is it showing me a cloth pattern? I'm not a ta Oh, I am a tailor. Never mind. That's why. Right this way. My god, go in the hole. There we go. I'm going down to the right, okay. Look! There's a person. Mmm, speed run. Woo! Yeah, look, I don't think I'm gonna make it, but we're gonna try. Three years. I guess, well, three years is only six trials of style. Like, you know, that that's not that much. Gotta let people who care about transmog who haven't had a chance to do them to catch up, sort of thing. Yeah, there are some of these mobs that you're supposed to let spawn them their ads and then their ads have a chance to drop something but i re i'm i really can't be bothered tonight um <laughs> tomorrow is surgery i'm gonna be in surgery in like 12 hours so i can't really afford to have like a super super late night tonight but running a little bit over time i think is gonna be slightly okay i don't know we'll see i just i have to be careful which i'm sure you guys can understand last thing you want to do is wake up late like sleep through your alarm <laughs> when you've got a really important like really important appointment at least with the aoe spell i might be able to clear out the way really quick Panics about waking up. Well, given that I've had, like, I've been so exhausted the last few days. Like, I had a full night's sleep last night, a six and a half hour nap yesterday, and a full night's sleep the night before. Like, something's wrong. I'm not well. Something is wrong. I feel like I'm actually probably maybe gonna get some sleep tonight, which is a kind of weird thing to think about. Excuse me, but, um, look, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. The surgery? Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll make sure that Jas lets you all know once I'm out alive. Um, I'm not gonna, like, he's not gonna give, you know, super nitpicky personal details and stuff, like, updates and stuff like that, because that's, you know, it, it is, it's personal. Um, but I'm sure that he can jump on Discord and, and let you know that I'm alive. Um, and that it was a success and all that kind of stuff. Uh, ooh, I just got a bop trash drop, except it's a ring. God damn it. Uh, woof, Martin, Reaper, Draz, Zem, Fade, Seeker, and Ice. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, we are not going to do any more battles for this evening. That's gonna be it. Um, I'm gonna see if I can do, like, a little bit more. Uh, retrieve a roughshod pike. Where's this? Oh, I must be up and around, isn't it? Um, damn, I'm sorry to hear that. Really, it really sucks. Look, I'm normally the same, honestly. I get all panicky and, and what's it, but, um, Fucker it, we'll just skip it. Ah. 
What? Oh, I am so lost. So I'm supposed to go down here? Yeah, I think... I think I am. I should honestly put on my, my loot appraiser when I'm doing solo stuff as well, just for, for the dings. God, this place is a labyrinth and I always get so lost. That's Shadow Hunter, so that's what I was supposed to be doing. Nothing. Ah, bugger this. I'll do it next time. Alright, uh, let's go find some love. It's easy to look at that. Oh, thank you, Lucky. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, for well, the brain juices, I know, right? Like even just like the thong, you know, when when you get the yeah, it's nice. I have no idea with my lack too to see important items. Yes. Yes. Um. Honestly, I think we had a pretty successful day today. We got some stuff. We got some stuff. I'm gonna miss you guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna be gone for as long as I was with the floods, but like I was gone for a full week, four streams, with, and I'm only gonna be gone for two streams this time around, but it still feels weird to be not streaming electively. You know, like it's just, it's odd. I feel like I'm not doing as much as I should, but I'm also getting bloody surgery and I need to recover. I understand that this is the right decision. It still just feels weird. So there's no judge. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not looking forward to soup. I am looking forward to rest. I'm not looking forward to pain. I am looking forward to chocolate mousse and marshmallows. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Friday the new chapter of 9-2 story. It's going to be kind of like doing it two days late is going to be really strange. Um, but I want to, I don't want to do it off stream. Um, but I also want to give myself the time I need to get okay before I start to stream again, you know? So yeah, it's, I, this is the right choice. This is the correct choice. It's just strange. Um, but I hope, I hope that you'll all be okay. <laughs> God, I'm putting way too much value on myself in your lives. Um, there will be plenty of other people who are streaming who can entertain you. Uh, there are VODs that are actually going up on YouTube at the moment. I've got another one uploading currently. As soon as it's finished uploading, it will be made public. Uh, the most recent one that was made public was the Star Wars Lego build, the the um, Grogu Logu. Um, so I'm dead. I'm go they're going up in order. They're going up in the order that we actually streamed them. Um, I've got, once I stop stream here, I've got, so the, the, the 4th is up, the 6th is currently up, 6th of February is currently uploading, and I have the 7th of February edited ready to go. Um, so as soon as this all turns off and my my stream has remuxed, uh, I'll be hitting go on that rendering and going to bed. Uh, and once that finishes rendering, I will put up another one to, to start rendering. I'm gonna try to use this downtime because I can't render while I'm streaming because it just takes too much processing power. Um, but I can do other bits. Like I can play WoW while it's rendering. It just makes the render take longer. Um, and because I'm gonna be sleeping, what I'm hoping is that I'll kind of, uh, every time I kind of wake up every so often, I can sort of check the PC and see where it's at. And if a render's finished, I can queue up another one. So hopefully I'll have them uploading for the next few days. So definitely check that out. Um, it's just, it's just old VODs. There's nothing super fancy about them or anything. So nothing too exciting, but it's something, you know, it's, it's a backlog. Oh, it, it's a, it's a record of us this year, which is really super cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, you'll come easy for everything. Thank you. So hopefully less than a week. Yes. 
She too streams a great source of comfort. I oh, hope you get the rest in peace you deserve. Thank you, Lucky. He sleeps in good rest. Thank you. Uh, if you have safe surgery tomorrow, thank you. And hello, Jackie. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you, Chaos, for the for the well wishes. Um, what are we doing? We're doing this. So to keep you in a loop, tomorrow is the 21st. Um, no stream. Surgery. 23rd is recovery. No stream. 25th, 9.2 story. Probably not a full length stream, but we'll see how I go. I'm just going to take it easy and go uh, for as much as I can and then log off. Sunday. I really hope you'll be there Sunday. So it's a week from today. It's next Sunday. We're going to play Chef Squad. And Chef Squad requires viewers viewer viewer participation you don't need to buy anything you don't need to install anything the entire game is played by you guys via chat it's all played by you you are the you are the players and you're doing it via chat so um yes please i hope you'll be there i hope we'll have an absolute blast um then mount farm monday and then on Wednesday the 30th, I'm playing Mario Party with the duo uh, formerly known as Married with Pets uh, with Yori and Jared. I'm, I'm super excited for that. It's going to be it's going to be some fun times. And I, I do, as you can probably tell, like all of that is stuff that can be played shorter if I need to. Like if I can't go the full six hours, I can knock it off a bit early. Um, just so I can give myself the recovery I need. And then, of course, it's April. What the hell? Um, but we had uh, the Mage Tower goal is done. Uh, Dark Moon Festival stream is the goal next week. Of course, we've only got two streams out of four. That means that the goal will be smaller as well. Like, I'm not an asshole. I try not to be. So it'll have a, short, a smaller goal for a shorter week. Um, and same thing for the secret finding one. Um, shorter, because there's only a 28th and 30th. Smaller, smaller goal for a, a shorter week. Um, they could be safe yet. Yeah, and Ed Sheeran tickets? Exactly. I'm going to be awake and I'm going to have Ed Sheeran tickets. And Jas is not going to incur my wrath by not booking them correctly. It is pre-sale. Monday, pre Monday and Tuesday are pre-sale for Frontier Touring. If you're interested in getting tickets yourself, you can go and make a free account with Frontier Touring. Um, and then they send every individual person is going to get a unique code that allows them access to Ticketek or Ticketmaster, depending on your city because they're all handled differently, uh, which allows you to buy the tickets. Um, and then if you don't have a unique code because you're not a Frontier Touring member, then you get to buy them on Wednesday. Wednesday is when they go on sale for the general public. But uh, no, I am no. Wrong, no. I'm not missing out on this. I'm not, I don't want shitty seats. Not that any of the seats are going to be shitty. I just, I want, I want what I want. <laughs> Chef's Squad, I'll be there. I love that game. It's so We've only played it once and I loved it so much. Should we have DD that day? If to make an appearance, that would be awesome, Lucky. It is great fun. Hello, Neil. Welcome in. Welcome back. Right, okay, I need to go because I need to sleep. I need to prepare my body for surgery tomorrow. Um, I'll be fine. It's not, it's not like open heart surgery. I'm having an implant put in my jaw. It's fine. Uh, but I will see you. I'll be in Discord, no doubt, uh, and Jas will give you some some general updates. Um, but I will see you here next Friday. Um, let's pop this in. Grab your copy paste. Uh, if you do not have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not a sub or because you have not unlocked it using your channel points, your embers, that doesn't matter. You can still copy and paste the entire message. Delete the word, uh, the, the Fiamma hype bit and replace it with your own happy hypey celebratory emote and drop it into Barry's chat. When we get there, Barry is playing uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And there seems to be lots of storyline, which I really like. I love watching people play stories because they read it to us and it's nice. Although I think this is a, like this is quite voiced. Um, but that's okay. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Join Discord if you want any kind of update from us, us being Jas and I, because he'll probably be speaking on my behalf for a few days. Uh, if you want any sort of updates on on my health and well-being, um, Discord is the place to get it. Uh, otherwise, I will see you back here next Friday. See you then. All the love. Mwah.
Bye bye. Oh, hey, Saren. Sorry. Goodbye. We're finishing up today. We'll see you next time. Bye.